Hi guys, this is the full 100 day supercut of my Louisville series with one and only office worker Peter Gibbons. Now this series was a lot of fun to record so hopefully you enjoy watching it as much as I did recording it. But first, are you bored of mowing down hundreds of undead Knox residents all alone? Well with today's sponsor Indifferent Broccoli, hosting a Project Zomboid server hasn't been easier. All you need to do is click the link in the description or pinned in the comments below, select how many players you want and you're ready to go. There's no confusing settings and all servers come with at least 128 gig of RAM. So if you're thinking about setting up a project Zomboid server, give Indifferent Broccoli a go. They even offer a completely free two day trial with no credit card details required. Don't believe me? See for yourselves by clicking the link below. Now let's get on with the video. Okay guys, so we have spawned in, in the heart of Louisville by the looks of it. We are, okay, so this is not too bad. We're a bit out of the way. We're very close to the center. So, yeah, it's going to be uh, it's gonna be interesting to say the least. I don't really know. There's no real main goal. It's literally just surviving for 100 days on this one. It's going to be a fairly chilled one, hopefully, but we are in Louisville. So, who knows? We are playing as, of course, Peter Gibbons. We do start with a briefcase. Oh, with some stuff in it, actually. Uh, cheese sandwich, yeah, we'll take that. Thank you very much. Because we are playing with Raw's professions again as well. So we are just the average office worker. Peter Gibbons. These are the traits there. You know what? You know the ones we go for normally. I've got handy this time. The usual ones, I'll leave them up there for you to have a look at while we're playing. But the first first job, I suppose, is uh, securing the house. All right, we've got a very, very uh, small house by the looks of it. But that's fine. Let's just make sure we are safe. Let's try and find some kind of weapon. We have got a bourbon bottle with water, so at least we're not going to uh, die of dehydration. Oh, and carpentry. We'll have a look at that. Oh, beta blockers. That's nice. That is nice. We are playing with vanilla fire and expansion. It's a different one I normally play f play with, so we do have some new guns, which is going to be nice. They are law friendly. So it's not going to break anything, which is good, but it just, just mixes it up a little bit. There's more guns and the normal vanilla firearms we play with we got some more guns there which is quite nice we are also playing with extremely rare loot as well because we are in louisville so there's probably going to be loads of places to loot so before we drop it down one and we'll see how we get on really well we've gone through the house there is no real weapons here <laughs> i mean there's guns but they are they're not going to be any use to us at the minute all right let's have a look outside see what we're dealing with nothing too crazy a couple of zombies all right, first zombie down. All right, so we really need a weapon. That is the main, uh, the main focus today. Oh, what we got is bloody guns. We don't need guns. Oh, we got some rain boots. We got a jacket. We got some gloves. That'll, uh, that's something at least. Oh, Jesus Christ! Right, there's a lot of banging going on out here. So let's let's get out and. Maybe we go to these uh, commercial locations, actually. That might be the best bet for a weapon. It's probably going to be busy over there, but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, okay. We, we got some we got some ready to tango here. Oh, okay. Well, that was, uh, that was okay, to be fair. All right, let's go up here. Let's have a look in this house. See, the thing is with Louisville, there's so many, uh, so many bloody zombies. <laughs> Uh, we do have respawn off as well, so that should help us a little bit. I mean, I'd take a bloody frying pan at this point. So we do start with one in carpentry and one in maintenance. The maintenance is going to be really handy, actually. All right, we've got some desert boots. We'll put them on. We'll also put the leather jacket on as well. But wear it open, because why not? Well, I suppose I'd have to take the umbrella as a uh, as a weapon. <laughs> All mods will be linked in the description. We've got some um, the usuals on here, but then also some a little bit. Oh, pipe wrench. Yes, thank you very much. Also some new ones as well. I kind of go through them as we're, as we're playing. So we do have one where we can wear jackets open, which is quite nice. Uh, I think we get the pipe wrench out, to be honest. And also where we can wear trousers tucked in, which looks really cool, especially with uh, normal trousers on. This zombie's still not through this bloody door yet. All right, this zombie did have a satchel, which is nice. We're going to get that on straight away. So we do have some kind of backpack now. Zombies are coming in through the back here. We will take them scissors and, bait and antidepressants as well. We just clear the initial area out. I will feel a little bit better. All right, well, them doors are locked, so we're gonna we're gonna leave them be for the time being. Let's try and get a little bit of food. Yeah, but high calorie food is good because we are, of course, underweight. Ooh, sewing kit. We'll take the needle. Thank you. Let's 
eat some peanut butter, try and get some calories going. Actually, let's eat the mac and cheese. It's always a little bit tense on the first few days, I won't lie. All right, let's go next door. Maybe a how to use generator? No. Matches we will take and a hand torch, thank you. And a screwdriver, actually. Let's put that on our belt, why not? Yeah, it's been a it's been a while since I've been been to Louisville. Um, the last couple of times was when um, I was fairly early on in the YouTube uh, project onward YouTube uh, career, if you like, um, and they didn't end too well. But hopefully this time we uh, will have better luck. Hopefully, but as always with Project onward, you never really know. All right, so still nothing really of uh, any use. We could do some more short blunt, maybe. Maybe we go short blunt. I don't know. We'll see where we'll see how it plays out. Let's try and finish this house on the end here. Maybe get a duffel bag or something. Maybe a how to use generators. No, we're we're not that lucky. I mean, we will take the saucepan as a as a weapon if if need be. <laughs> All right, well, there's nothing really in here. To be fair, so let's start. Maybe we look at these green buildings to our east. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, let's have a little peek. Also check this van as well. Oh, we got a metal pipe. That is nice. Let's pop that on our back. Very nice. Have we got any smokes in here? Does have fuel. Oh, and a key. Fuel and a key. Okay, so that is an option. I mean, do we wear the cowboy hat? Let's put it on. Let's put it on. Oh, yes. Look at this. I love it. I love it. All right, let's, let's survey the area a little bit. Just see what we're dealing with. Try and get these zombies that are fairly close to us dealt with. Oh, wow, that's boarded up. I've never seen a shop boarded up. Is that a thing? Is that a survivor shop or a survivor house? I, I don't know. All right, let's let's go home. It's it's half past four. So, this yeah, let's let's head home for the night. Just secure the house a little bit more. Oh, we got some, uh, we got some visitors. Okay, so it looks like this area is fairly clear, I would say. There's still zombies banging around in houses somewhere, but... All right, we're home and safe. Let's just dump this stuff off for the time being. Okay, that's done. So what my plan was potentially is to head over, drive down and head over to these houses as they are quite, uh, you know, out the way, nice and big, but ah, we are really out the way. We may look at doing that later on. And if things go south up here, but for the time being, I think, you know, I think we do stay here. We're going to go have a look at these shops, I think, tomorrow. And we also need some smokes. All right, so it's 20 past 11, the end of day one. We've done, we've done okay. It was a bit touch and go by not having a weapon. Let's get some lovely high calorie food in us. And then hopefully we might gain a bit of weight overnight. Um, so yeah, we're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're going to look at them shops. I also need more sheets for the windows upstairs because... We don't want that helicopter seeing us. No way. Uh, but we will uh, see you in the morning. All right, day two. <laughs> wow. I'm feeling nervous about this one. We are in the heart of it, aren't we? We bloody are. But um, yeah, the 100 days, we're just going to try and explore Louisville. We're just, well, basically just going to try and survive. We haven't got no crazy end goals or anything like that. We're just going to try and survive, see the sights, see how we get on. We could go up to this industrial area. That might be the better shout, actually. Let's go and see what shops we've got here, actually, first, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. I do need two sheets, and I'm gonna get them before before I forget. All right, we got our sheets. Let's go drop them back at home because we are. Let's close these doors as well because that is going to be a line of defence for us. And old Peter Gibbons, and let me know if you uh, know the Peter Gibbons reference. Um, he is an office worker. And that's a very big clue. Let me know. Let me know. But all right, let's uh, we drop them off. Uh, I mean, we don't really need the plunger anymore, do we? All the saucepan. We'll keep them out of hand just in case. All right, let's go and have a look what shops we're dealing with down here. Maybe in a like an off license to get some cigarettes, maybe or a hardware store would be amazing. I can't actually remember what. What's down here? I played a little bit of LV, um, not loads, a lot in multiplayer a while ago, but as I said, that was a while ago, so it's all, uh, we're going to be a little bit fresh for me. Oh, and of course, Major OP, which, uh, rip in peace. I still have the save. I may bring him back for a special, but the last episode, uh, if you've seen the community post, we it didn't record too well, so we had to end it. But he is alive, and he has, he did get to his end goal. Oh, look at all of these down here. All right, let's get to it. So it looks like we do have, like, a... Zippy Mart here, we can hopefully get some cigarettes. Fairly clear on this high street, which is nice. Oh jeez, is that the police station there? Oh wow, okay. Oh, he has cigarettes. Yeah, we'll have a smoke, happy days. I do like these simple moodlets. 
I believe it's plain moodlets, sorry, the mods call. I do like them. They look a lot nicer than the vanilla ones. We're actually using that instead of the status bar as well, just to change things up a little bit. I will take, drink this orange soda and use the bottle. That will be nice. So the main thing we're actually wanting in here is, of course, cigarettes. Yes, 40 of them. We'll take it. 60 of them. We'll take it. 20 of them. We'll take it. Another 40. And a lighter. Yes. Do you have a bookstore up there as well? Let's go get some books for the tide is over until the helicopter goes. Thing is, even with LV with the respawn off, there's so many bloody zombies. I can't remember how many, but there's definitely a hell of a lot. Oh, we may have uh, bitten off more than we can chew here. Well, let's take some baities. Yeah, we've got a, a few too many here, I think. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we gotta... Let's get out of here. Let's go back to the the base. If any stragglers come, we can deal with them. Retreat, retreat. All right, they're starting to come, which is fine. If they stay single file like this, we'll be fine. I like the look of Peter. He's, uh, I like the cowboy hat. I like the open jacket, the tie. He looks really good, I think. All right, what are we on already? 64 kills, bloody hell. Oh, we'll check the back of these trucks as well. These could have some metal pipes or a hammer, something like that. Also the boot of this. You never know, you never know. Wrench we'll take. Um, we'll take the gas can, why not? Duct tape, yeah, we'll take. Oh no, we set the car alarm off. We gotta go, we gotta go. We gotta go, we gotta get the hell out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh dear, look at this, look at this. This is not good, this is not good. Oh dear, oh dear. That's not good, that's not good. Oh, but we do have a nomad. That is good. We will take your backpack, sir. You don't really have anything else of use on you, though. Oh, we got a leveling short blunt at least. That's uh, that's something. My God, let's sort our inventory out now. Oh, we still have our cheese sandwich as well. Let's eat that. All right. Well, it looks like we've taken care of a lot of them. See if we can get this lady out of here. <sighs> okay. Well, yeah, wow. Let's go and have a little look, shall we? This could be could be a bad idea, but I feel we need to assess the situation. That level in short blunt though is really, really Oh, okay, okay, okay. I feel we should definitely rest before we go back down there. Alright, we're nice and rested. Let's go and have a little uh, a little look. Let's favourite this lighter and the matches. This is fine. You can come one or two at a time. That's fine. I can handle that. So if there's any more of you bastards, that's the problem. Mm, there's a few there. We can we can kite and take oh, let's deal with these up here. Oh, a maintenance up. Nice. That's because we took handy. So that's gaining a 75% a boost plus fast learn and all that kind of jazz. So that is very nice. Uh, we should probably go and deal with these as well. So the settings are apocalypse. The only difference is, of course, we have the map as usual, mini map and all known. Corpse despawn I've set to 80 hours just to save on the lag because I feel there's, uh, again, as always, because I think there's going to be a lot of corpses uh in this one as there is already extremely rare loot settings and i think that's about it for the changes if anything else comes to mind i'll be sure to let you know okay let's kite a few of them over not too many though mm, they're wandering a bit i don't like that Whew, okay okay oh there's more there's more oh there's a few more let's let's move out a little bit so with the office worker profession, it's um, the only thing you get extra, I believe, is organized. That is a trait that has to come with it, which is pretty good. So it means we've got extra space in our inventory and stuff like that, which is which is always nice. All right, let's go and uh, clear out some more zombies, I think. Yeah, maybe the car alarm has helped us because it's actually brought all the zombies around to us. So, I mean, you know, you got to look at the positives. Oh, 
I think uh, I think that's enough excitement for one day. All right, so it is 10 to 5. We're not going to leave the base, I don't think, for the rest of the day. Let's sort our windows out while we can. Well, while I remember, actually. All right, the windows are secured, which is nice. All right, it is half past 11. We're going to go to bed. Tomorrow, I think we're going to abandon the high street and actually go for the industrial area just so we can get some weapons. But, uh, yeah, an eventful couple of days, but uh, I'm sure it'll be the same tomorrow. We'll see you then. All right, day three, we've survived the night. A slight change of plan. We're not going to get weapons today. We're going to the bookstore because I want to stock up for when the helicopter does come. We may as well be getting a our experience game because we, don't, we have carpentry at the minute. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go the back way, though, I think, today. Oh, 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 okay. Over the fence, over the fence. <laughs> um, yeah, not such the, the greatest of ideas. Let's wait for them to come around and deal with them as they come. Okay, here they come. We can always hop back over the fence if needs be. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, let's go up this way, I think. Away from where the alarm went off. The wrench has taken a beating, but she's holding strong. She's holding strong for us. Oh, I hear zombies. Let's run, let's run, let's run, let's do it. Okay, we're right this side. There's a fair few up there, but that's fine. Oh, we got a few over here. Let's kite them. Let's kite. Slow going the first few days on this one, but we are in Louisville, to be fair. And it is, uh, it is busy. It is busy. <sighs> okay. Wow. Well, it looks like they all came over in the end anyway. It is uh, increasing our short blunt skill, which, which is good. Oh, okay, okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. All right, looks like we got them all. Let's get in here. Oh, we got a how to use generator. Amazing, we'll take all of that. That is perfect. <laughs> all right, so we got a good old haul from the bookstore. Don't really want to push our luck today, so we'll go back and then clear out some Zeds around, uh, around our area, I think. Like all of these. Maybe we might get a little bit lucky and find a, a metal bar in here in one of these bins, maybe? Uh, no. Okay, that's fine. All right, so we're at 75 weight, so that should go. We should lose underweight on the next tick uh, when we get a 76, so that's good. Let's have a look outside. Hmm, a lot of dead zombies. The day is still fairly early, so I can hear banging. Let's just go and scope it out a little bit. Oh, wow, okay, we got a few down here. <laughs> All right, the pipe wrench has taken an absolute beating, so we're just going to go to the uh, to the wrench for the time being. We need weapons. Oh god, okay. Oh, okay. The wrench is not the best, but it's all we've got. All right, it's twenty to twelve. We're going to get a bed tomorrow. We're going to try and push up to the industrial area. Um, so we'll see you then. All right, day four. We're uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. All right. It's been a, it has been a rough start. I won't lie, but we knew it was going to be an LV. Let's get some food in us. How's our weight? Have we lost any weight yet? Nice, nice, nice. We got three bags of chips on us. That should uh, well, it's not going to do a lot, is it? Let's let's take the cereal as well. Uh, let's eat it and open it. There we go. But what our plan today is, we are going up here. Could be busy. I don't know. It's not too far. Just that road, there may be a hell of a lot of zombies, but actually, I don't know if it's wiser to go to that place. That one might be better. Yeah, let's try and do that, I think. This poor bass has been trying to break that door down for days. See you later, sucker. Oh, do we take the riding helmet? It could potentially save our lives, so I think we're going to. As much as I love the cowboy hat. At least until we get a bit more, uh, a bit more secured. Oh, God. Look at this. Look at this. Let's go slowly, slowly. Let's kite some over. Yeah, and it looks like we got an auto repair store, which is pretty good. We might be able to get some some pipes in there. Yeah, I feel uh, short blunt may be the way to go on this. We're going to be killing so many zombies and tearing through the uh, durability, and they're so common. And a few levels with our high strength, you know, we'll be smashing one shot kills, hopefully quite easily. It's what we're on now. We're on. Oh, we're nearly at level two. 
All right, looks like we've got a lot of them. There's going to be, yeah, there's a few behind. That's fine. But we got two industrial buildings, which could be good. There's also this construction. <gasps> Metal pipes down there. Let's get them. Let's get them. But we got these zombies here. Let's see if we can... Oh, let's deal with this guy first. Oh, there's a lot here. We're going to need beta blockers. God damn it, where the hell do all these dance magazines keep coming from? It's the same with uh, St. Paolo's with this mod. They just give them to you. <sighs> okay, that's them dealt with. Alright, we got a pipe. We got a pipe. This is good. This is good. Alright, so we managed to get four pipes, which is really good. We are still going to try and push over here, I think, a little bit, though. Oh, we got a petrol station here as well. This is a good location. Busy, but we got a lot of good stuff around us. Oh, this policeman's got a baton as well. We will take that for short blunt. Nice, nice, nice. Things are looking up. Oh, what happened in here? Dust mask. I think that might... That might help us with the uh, the corpse sickness, possibly. Hand fork, yeah, we need one. Jerry can. They hold a lot of uh, a lot of gas, so we'll take that. A few wrenches, nothing too amazing, but it will all help. All right, should we clear? Should we clear this fuel station out a little bit? I think. And of course, because it's a hundred days, we have set the peak population back to the normal twenty-eight days on this play as well. Handcrafted wallet. What the hell use is that? Alright, nearly at level 2 short blunt. That's good. We've got weapons. Let's head home just because I want to make sure it's as clear as possible at our base area. Let's actually go and put this guy out of his bloody misery. Oh, it's a lady now. Okay. Well, I don't think we're going to run out of um, zombies or clothes to turn into Fred to get our tailor in up, are we? <laughs> Okay, let's try and kite some of these. Just a couple, not too many now. Oh, God. There's pe one's coming from over there. Ah, short blunder, though. Thank you very much. I can already tell the bloody difference. Let's not get too cocky, though. <laughs> so, Peter, before the apocalypse, had a dead end office job. You know, he wasn't even middle management. He was nothing. He was, you know, entry level. The apocalypse happened, and maybe this is where he's going to shine. Who knows? Maybe killing zombies is going to be his calling. Oh, empty camping canteen. Yes, please. We will take that. And that's two of them. Oh, amazing. <laughs> oh, okay. We're looking, we're looking good. We've got a nice laundrette down here as well to um, work on our metalworking skill. When we find a blowtorch and a mask, of course. Okay, back on the high street. We got some zombies. We should be able to... Oh, okay. Let's go back up this way. Oh, wow. I didn't see them there. Okay, let's go. Oh no, the metal pipe is gone. Right, on to the next. Alright, we are getting a little bit exerted, so let's head back, I think, today. Let's not push it. Well, day four, and we've already killed um, 298 zombies. Wow. You know what, actually? Let's take the Nomad boots. Ah, oh, maintenance up. Nice. Actually, let's take the Nomad boots off because they don't look the best. <laughs> I do like the Desert Combat boots anyway, though. Alright, we picked up a few leather jackets so we can rip up for leather when we do do bag modifications and also wash them up while we still have water. Alright, it's 20 past 11. We're going to have some... Uh, where the hell even is all our food? I don't think we have a lot, to be honest. Do we have enough to last as the, uh, the big hibernation for the helicopter? I think we should do, but we're going to, uh, we're going to eat that. We're going to have a smoke. We're going to get a bed. And then tomorrow the hibernation does start. We'll read all of them books, get that all done. So yeah, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day five. Whew, helicopter could come. Right, we're going to go around the house, make sure the windows are closed. Well, all the curtains anyway. 
and all the doors just in case. Yep, that's got one. 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 The door's got one. This door out here. Yep, that's got one. Okay, let the reading commence. All right, we've just finished carpentry one. We went for that one first. Then we're probably going to do... Let's do electronics, actually, I think. All right, it's 12 o'clock. We didn't quite finish electronics, but that's fine. What food have we got in the house? I don't think we actually have a lot of food. Didn't really plan this one out, did we? We're going to have to ration it. Oh, God, we got... We got three. Oh, we got some kidney beans and stuff. That's fine. That should do it. So let's have, um, let's just have some chips actually to start with. We are going to have to ration though. As long as we don't start starving, we should be fine. But we're going to go to bed and we'll uh, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day six. Back to hitting the books, I think. Let's just crack right on. All right, it's 10 to 12. Our moodlets are not looking too good. We've read quite a few books and some magazines. We've read Electricity One, um, these magazines, How Do You Generator, Lanes, tailoring one we've done as well herbalist so looking good looking good now i can hear zombies outside which is why i'm going fairly slow how's our weight looking so we've leveled off at 78 so i think if we eat some peanut butter let's eat half of this and then we'll head to bed i think okay day seven day seven back to the books because knowledge is power oh so we are starting to starve so we better eat some food See all of that, that's fine. We have finished metalworking and we're probably, well, just started mechanics. So let's get rid of metalworking. All right, it's 10 past 12. We didn't quite finish mechanics, but we're nearly there. So tomorrow we'll uh, we'll round that off and then we'll deal with the, uh, you know, the stuff we're probably not going to use, like your fishing, forage. You may use foraging, I don't know yet, but we'll see. And, uh, well, we'll see in the morning. All right, day eight. We're looking good, we're looking good. Just carrying on. Back to hitting them books. We are uh, extremely bored, so we're probably going to get depression, but we got antidepressants anyway. We better have a smoke as well while we're at it. All right, that's mechanics done. Let's have a look what else we got over here, though. Um, mm, yeah, it's going to have to be, I don't know, maybe foraging. Yeah, let's do foraging. That's probably the next useful one in there. Oh, and we are starving again. Um, okay, let's see. So let's see one fourth of these kidney beans. Again, it's high on calories. We do be putting some weight on a little bit, um, but it is going to make us sad. But I mean, we're, we're going to be sad anyway. All right, so it's 20 past 12. We are starving, and I've just realized we are out of shape. So I don't know if that's with Office Worker, because I don't... I, I mean, look at that, full stammer. This is going to be... Uh, I mean, we've been all right so far, to be honest, though, which is surprising, but... Uh, yeah, that's that's not good. I I would argue fitness is a you know the most needed stat over um, strength, but well, it is what it is, I suppose. Yeah, not not good. <laughs> but oh well, maybe we look at at least getting it to level five. We probably could have been doing some exercise while we've been waiting for the helicopter. But oh well, what books did we read today? We uh, we started fishing and we finished foraging. So off to bed and we'll see you in the morning. All right, day nine, back at them books. I mean, I've been thinking about it overnight. Uh, and out of shape, you know, it kind of makes sense for an office worker. And to the role play. I mean, you just sat at a desk. And as I said, old Peter, he was, you know, he lost all his motivation. He, he didn't know what to do with himself, really. So it kind of makes sense. We'll, we'll go with it. We'll go, well, we can't change it now. Well, we finished fishing. The only one left is... First aid, that's actually going to give us a bonus, so let's uh, crack on. Oh, and we are starving again. Let's eat some of this. Okay, and that's made us feel a little bit sad, but that's fine, that's fine. We got the antidepressant. All right, first aid has been read. The only problem is still no helicopter at the end of day nine. That's that's worrying. That is worrying. Let's eat some more kidney beans. All right, 10 past 12. Time to get out of bed. We got no more skill books to read. That's fine. We may do a little bit of exercise, but... uh. Yeah, we're going to go to bed. We'll see you in the morning for day 10. All right, day 10. Still no bloody helicopter. Hmm, okay. This is, uh, I suppose... Oh, trapping. Yeah, let's read trapping. <laughs> we may do a bit of trapping, catch some rats. I don't know. Okay, so we got the helicopter at 20 past 2 on day 10. So this is, uh, this is nervy. I have got the mod... Uh, we can move while we're reading books. I hear zombies banging somewhere. This is this is very um, worrying, to be fair. I'm gonna. Fa I feel he's here. He's got to be here, hasn't he? Oh, that's not good. I'm gonna hide upstairs. 
in my uh, in my bedroom. So I was fast forwarding. Something has smashed downstairs. I don't know what. The helicopter is doing flyovers, so it hasn't spotted us, even though the wind has smashed. I don't know if that's a thing. It's ten past five. It's still going on out up there. It is doing flyovers still, so I think we're fine. So it sounds like it has actually gone away. Good. We're going to fast forward a little bit more. Yeah, it's eight o'clock. It has definitely gone. All right, let's pop some anti uh, antidepressants. Okay, we look fairly clear out here. Nice. That is nice. It's the bodies of despawned, which again is extremely nice. You can hear something banging. Let's. Uh, didn't look like there was a zombie at our window though, which is good. Let's take some more antidepressants. Go and have a little look around. This guy's still banging on this door. Sorry, buddy. Oh, we got some zombies here. Let's let's deal with them. Okay, I think to round off this day, let's go get ourselves some food if we can. All right, so it's 10 past 10. We are getting tired. We have looted our neighbors across the road there. We got a few bits, nothing amazing, but enough to do us for the time being. We're still very, very depressed. Um, so we're going to need to take more antidepressants. Are we only nice food that'll uh, make us happy? Maybe some canned features. Actually, let's not waste it. How are we looking behind here? Okay, I suppose. Let's deal with that zombie over there. It also gets us out to take away our uh, boredom. All right, so it's 20 to 12, day 10. We've made it to uh, the first 10 days. It was touch and go for a while there. It's been a tough one, but I feel we're, we're in a good place now. Next 10 days, I think we're going to be working on our skills. Go over to the industrial area, get some better weaponry and things like that. Okay, guys, day 11. We've got a lot to do over the next 10 days. I think the main thing we're going to do now that the, uh, the helicopter's gone, we're going to push over into this industrial estate and maybe look at these shops here because we could do with more weapons. So that is... Uh, that is the main objective for today um, and probably for the week. But let's get rid of all this junk we've got on us. Oh, and it looks like water has gone out. So that's not good. Um, we could probably do with finding a VHS store. But yeah, that's uh, that's another thing we, we got to do. Let's get rid of these books as well, I think. All right, let's go and have a little extra. I can hear zombies out here, I think. Yeah, we got a lady straight away. Uh, we'll actually put our uh, dump all our trash on her as well. Thanks, lady. All right, let's. Uh, oh, we didn't take any food. How is our weight looking? Uh, 81 and rising, so we should be okay. We'll, we'll duck in one of these houses and grab some food, I think. Oh, we got a lot of zombies already. <laughs> we'll also rip some clothes as we go as well to try and get that tailor in too. I don't know why that window just smashed. <laughs> Taylor and one. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, we still don't have a hammer either. Alright, so we are getting there. We've gained another half a level, so it shouldn't take us too long to uh, actually get to Taylor in level two. And then we can add on the uh, get old backpack attachments, which I do love. Oh, and we got a hammer. Nice. We will take that. Thank you very much. Oh, do we take the motorcycle helmet? Let's wear it. Let's wear it. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, no. The metal bar. The metal bar. Let's get the old baton out. All right. We are actually low on water, but we are so close to getting that tailoring. So maybe we have a look in here, get some water and see if there's a, some clothes or, or just a zombie in here for us. All right, that zombie didn't quite do it, but it's very close. Let's get rid of these bloody dance cards. Oh, yeah, we got there. We got there. Okay, let's get rid of all this junk on us. Let's, um, 430, yeah, let's head back. We didn't quite get to where we wanted to, but getting that extra level in tailoring is, is massive, actually. It's been a successful day. I can sleep easy tonight. All right, we are home. Uh, why do we have... Okay, that's a weapon. That's fine. Let's put this on our back. Got a bit of sorting to do. We've got a bit of sorting. We're going to add the tailoring stuff to us as well. All right, we have done it. We have a flashlight spot. we got the two side spots for our camping canteens. We have got a weapon slot. We are good. Where did I put my torch? Let's just put that on on us like that oh we are we've come a long way we've come a long way all right it's 10 past uh, 11 at night we've uh 
we survived another day. We didn't quite get over to our uh, to the industrial area, but I think tomorrow we kind of I kind of messed around doing the tailoring. But I'm glad we did now that we got tailoring too. But I think tomorrow, um, yeah, we can definitely push up there. I think. Uh, but I think tonight it's time for bed, and uh, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day twelve. Let's uh, let's have some food, and then let's crack on back and try and get into that industrial area. I think we could probably do with more food as well. Maybe when we come back, we go in some houses and try and take a few bits. We're not looking good. I mean, we do have the supermarket and everything, so we're okay for the time being. Oh, I don't like this fog, not one bit. But let's uh, let's try it anyway. We'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Famous last words, I know. <laughs> Let's not risk it, actually. Let's just go around these houses near our base and just try and get ourselves a bit of food, I think. All right, so we got ourselves quite a nice bit of food just from them top houses there. That, I mean, that's the good thing about Louisville. You've got all these houses everywhere. We're probably going to be fine for food, but I just want some in the house just in case, you know, so it's there, ready to go, really. Okay, so the fog has cleared, so maybe we just go and have a look around on the high street for the rest of the day. Not go too far, but see if there's anything worth uh, worth looking into over there. I think this might be a survivor house up top, you know, because it's boarded. I don't normally see that. Let's uh, let's go check it out. A nice machete would be good. <laughs> Oh, yes, it is. We got a mache. We got a mache. So I do have bushcraft gear on, but it's only the tools, not the special weapons. But looks like we got a we got a mache, though. <laughs> okay, let's equip this. And let's use it, you know. Why the hell not? So it must it was a survivor house then. Yeah, nice. Now, I've added, I've added the bushcraft because I was thinking about doing vanilla weapons, but there's not, you know, there's not that many of them. You kind of get bored of them. So I thought, you know what, I'll add a, add a bit of spice. Oh, and we've got a civilian bulletproof vest as well. Let us put that back bad boy on oh yeah we look the part we're clipping through a little bit but yeah, i like it i like it oh and uh just from dismantling that bed with our xp boost and reading the carpentry we have gained a level <laughs> that's pretty nice that's pretty nice i'm not gonna lie okay so we've been we've been through the house there was literally just that one machete and a few bits of food i'm not gonna complain but i'd say the loot is turned down a little bit um, just because there is so much in Louisville, I thought, you know what, we won't have any trouble finding stuff. So we got a machete, I'm happy with that. I'm actually thinking we saved the machete for when things get a little bit tasty, I think. I think I want to go short blunt anyway, because they're so common, and they are powerful. Once you get a few levels in there with a high strength, whew. What is this blue building? Is this a police station? Maybe. Let's have a little peek inside. Oh, okay. Oh, there is that water, uh, the water collector. Water dispenser, even. I kind of want that. Don't see any police officers, so I don't think it is a police station. All right, we've got the water dispenser. Let's get out of here. Let's try and get home. Okay, we've made it home. There's one zombie here. We should be fine. We're overweight and tired, so it's never a... Uh never good but all right the water collector the water dispenser is down which is good let's rest in case some zombies have followed us back all right it's 20 past 10 we've had another very successful day we got a machete um we got a bloody water dispenser we've gained a level in carpentry very successful but we're gonna get a bed tomorrow is gonna be a base day we're gonna read tailoring well definitely carpentry first and then depending on the time hopefully tailoring um but yeah we'll uh we'll see you in the morning all right, day 13, up and Adam. Let's get in the, is it them books? We're gonna have a little snack, I think. Uh, actually, how is our weight looking? 82, so that's fine. Maybe we don't eat for today. <laughs> um, just to drop it down to 80, because we are very getting closer to that 85, which would, of course, put us overweight, which I do not want. But let's read Carpentry. I'm probably gonna read it outside so we don't get bored. All right, so it's 20 to, uh, 20 to 9. We've finished reading Carpentry 2, so that is nice. I could see some zombies mooching around down here, so let's go and uh, deal with them, I think. We don't want any nasty surprises coming in while we're sleeping, do we? All right, it's 11 o'clock. Off to bed tomorrow. Ooh, tomorrow, we're going to the industrial area. All right, day 14. 82 weight and level, so we're going to wait till it drops a little bit. we got a granola bar to... Uh, well, keep us going a little bit. Only half of it as well, I think. We did eat a, eat a little bit of it yesterday. But up to the industrial area. We need we need more weapons. We need more weapons. That is the goal. Okay, so it's just up here by the looks of it. We got a few zombies. Nothing too crazy. Enough we can't handle with a good old-fashioned pipe to the head. 
Oh, and look at this. We'll, we'll, we'll take the bandolier uh, and also uh, the pipe with this, uh, which this raider or bandit or whatever you'd call him has on him. Okay, so there's industrial, something industrial over there. So we will go check that out. Hmm, industrial there as well. And the only problem with the motorcycle helmet is it is making us hot. So I think we're going to go back to the mask and riding helmet when we get home. All right, what is this place then? What is this place? Okay, looks like a warehouse. This is good. This is good. And all we're finding so far is just bloody barbed wire. Um, this is not so good. Yeah, just wire. I'm guessing it's a, a wire factory or something then. Let's have a look upstairs. Nope. Just a wire factory, <laughs> so let's mark that off as done, I think. Yep, yeah, uh, let's make that a little bit smaller. Yep, yeah, there we go, that's done. Um, maybe we go over here, maybe we try down here, actually. A bloody wire factory, wow. <laughs> Completely useless. Oh, ah, now a lot of people, have, a few people have mentioned in the comments to make a note of the emergency broadcast frequency. So it's, what is it, 107.4? So let's do that. Oh, we put that on our map. 107.4. 107.4. Okay, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, it's there. Actually, why don't we just take this bloody, take this radio with us, you know? Yeah, there we go. Let's just take it with us. So short blunt, it's getting there, it's getting to level three. It's gonna be nice when it does get there. What are we got in the back of this truck here? Um we'll take one of these jerry cans because they do hold a lot. And that gas can has gas in it, so we'll take that as well. Alright, so we're in the other industrial bit. Let's let's hop this fence, I think. Oh wow. Okay. Okay, what we got in here then? Uh, I think this is a bit of everything. Wow. Mm. So we're about halfway through. We found a couple of hammers. Not a lot, though, to be honest. There's a lot of random old junk in here, actually. Propane torch we'll take. We just need a welding mask now. Hand axe we'll take, because we don't actually have an axe. So there's loads of different... Like, this one's got wine in it. That one had food. So I'm guessing they're, like, different shop types on the uh, on the shelves here, and they kind of get sent out to the shops. That's pretty cool. Uh, we've we found a few bits. We, oh, oh, oh. That is the winner right there, cabbage seeds. Thank you. We've got a lot, a fair few metal bars and stuff. We've got a couple of axes. It's all good stuff. Ah, that's what I was looking for, the welding mask. Let's pop that on. All right, so being as we're here, we've got a blowtorch and a welding mask. What we're actually going to do is dismantle some of these, the ones that are empty, because we can get the metal bars, and it will increase our metal working skill, which is nice. Nice, got a level, got a level. We might start getting some bars now. We've got level one. Ah, we're out of fuel. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's um, let's get out of here. We've it's another successful day. We've got a good old haul. I'm happy with it. We're gonna put that there to show that there's good loot there that we still haven't done. So yeah, let's head back. Yeah, I don't think we actually should have come down this way to be honest because oh, I don't know. We should be okay. Want to try and rest in one of these uh, one of these houses because we are tired. Let's get the machete out. Okay, maybe we might. Yeah, I think we'll go in here just to rest. That's all we want to do. Don't mind us. Just rest in here. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, we've made it home. What I am going to do before I forget is I keep uh, forgetting where our bloody base is. So let's pop that on there. Uh, ooh, we don't need it that big. All right, but we are home, which is good. Let's put some of these guns away. I think we should probably have. A cupboard for dedicated weaponry now. Let's put this motorcycle helmet um, there, just so we know we've got it. Also, the bandolier, when we do inevitably increase our shotgun skill, uh, we will use that as well. Uh, sorry, our aiming skill, we will use that. Okay, we've got the radio going. Let's uh, turn it on. I think it's every hour, is it? Okay, so yeah, we got a, we got a broadcast coming today. Average temperature is going to tell us what it is tomorrow, though. Okay, so tomorrow, average temperature is 25 minimum, maximum humidity. Uh, mild wind from northeast, maximum 60, sorry, 36 kilometers. Period of weather predicted to start in the morning, expecting showers and heavy rain. Okay, 
That's good. We know we got rain tomorrow. Don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but very good at the minute because we don't have a rain collector. I think tomorrow we're going to do a bit carpentry. But yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I feel like we have, you know, a nice area secured. We've got our gun, uh, our weaponry. Old Peter Gibbons, he's, his skills are okay. A nice uh, another level in short blunt would be amazing. The maintenance is really helping. Yeah, we got a, we still got a lot to do, but I'm, I'm feeling positive. Not confident, because you can never be overconfident in Project Zombie, because it doesn't end well. But I'm feeling feeling positive. Probably get some rain rain collector up on here somewhere. All right, so it's 10 past 11. We are starving, <laughs> so we better get some food in. As we are dropping in calories, though, which is good. That's what we wanted. Let's have some carrots. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're going to go around the houses, dismantle some beds. So busy, busy day. So we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 15 up and Adam. We got any uh we got any double beds in here? Yes, we do. Okay, let's uh let's start here then. Bloody hell, look at that. <laughs> Nearly a whole level. <laughs> Probably take some food with us as well because got a feeling we are going to starve. Uh, actually, let's just eat it now. Let's have some pineapple. Let's go uh let's go get dismantling. Nice. That's a level already after two beds. Boom, there we go. Another level. <laughs> Yeah, that 75% XP boost is uh, is really nice. Oh, what we got in here? here? Nah, we don't need it. We don't need no rifle. We'll take a shotgun, but... Right, we better go home and read the other carpentry book, haven't we? Yeah, that's what we got to do. That's what we got to do. All right, so we've uh, been reading carpentry outside. We've just finished it. We managed to get it done today, which is nice. So tomorrow, we are... We're back dismantling, I think, just to get it done, just to get that carp up. All right, but it's 10 to, uh, 10 to 12. We're going to go to bed, hit the hay, and tomorrow... We're getting another couple of levels of carpentry. We'll see you then. All right, 7 o'clock, day 16. Rain is still pouring outside. It's a bit annoying because if we had a rain collector, this could have all been going in it, which would have been very nice. Uh, but we don't, so we just we just crack on. So let's, let's do across the road here, I think, today for dismantling beds. Oh, yeah, another level in carp. Okay, okay, okay. So we need one more level to be able to build stairs. We should hopefully be able to get that today. Wee, easy there, fella. All right, there we go. Let's take some of these planks. Look at that, level six already, wow. That is good, that's good going, that's good going. All right, so I've dismantled them chairs in our uh, kitchen there. We're gonna do the stairs around here. Let's just dump off some of these planks. And then, yeah, we're gonna go along here, but then we're gonna dismantle some flooring so the zombies can't get up until we can get a sledgehammer to dismantle the actual stairs. But we're gonna need planks, so. All right, so we got nine planks on us. I think this is gonna be enough to uh, to get the stairs going, possibly even a rain collector as well. But let's have a look, shall we? All right, we got stairs, we got stairs, baby. All right, looks like we need a few more planks. I think we're gonna put the rain collector here. Plumb it in and get rid of this plank here. We'll see how that works out. All right, so we got four planks. That should do us. How are we looking for nails? We got 20. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's go get our garbage bags. Okay, that's there. Let's see if we can plumb it in where it is. Hopefully. We do need another level, which we'll probably get to try and do the better rain collector. Yeah, we can plumb it. So we need a pipe wrench and plumb that. Plumb that bastard in. There we go. Look at that. Very, very successful day, I would say, if we got a rain collector plumbed in. Do want some more flooring up there, though. Let's see if we can get a few more planks. All right, so we've done some alterations. We can get out of this window. We have safe a place to get out of. Now, let's try. We can't dismantle that. Uh, floor is at the top of staircase. Okay, but we should be able to dismantle this. Yep, okay, thank you. Good old PZ uh, physics. Uh, there are none. <laughs> that is, no, oh, I nearly fell off then. <laughs> but we'll also, um, when we get more more bloody uh, wooden planks, put some fences around as well so we can uh, shimmy on down. All right, that'll do for now anyway. What what rain we got in here? We got 40. Eh, it's some at least. And we managed to get it up as it stops. Oh, no, it's raining again. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, let's... Let's build some more floor in here. Maybe one more. Nope, we're out of planks. That's fine, though. That's fine. Doesn't matter. All right, but it's 20 past 11. We're going to get to bed tomorrow. I think we push back onto the high street. We'll see. We'll see how we feel. But again, another productive day. And we'll, uh, we'll see you in the morning. 
All right, day 17. Rain has been going all night, which is bloody good because it's filling our rain collector up. Let's go and uh, let's go and have some water out of it, being as it is raining, because it'll just get filled back up. Now, I did want to put the uh, the helmet on the uh, the bike in the uh, riding helmet, but I can't remember where the hell we put it. Did we just dump it somewhere? That's a bit annoying, but oh well, can't be helped, I suppose. Actually, let's fill this giant water bottle up as well that we got here. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go. Oh, we are starving. <laughs> we better eat something. There's some canned peaches, why not? All right, so today I think we're going to uh, we're going to go onto the high street. Let's take a look at our car as well. VHS store would be nice, and also propane torch, uh, tank or fuel we need. Let's see what kind of condition this uh, this car's in. We got the keys for it, but I mean, if it's no good, then eh, it's not the best. It's not the best, but it's something at least. I've also got another four garbage bags. We can get another rain collector up upstairs, I think, until we can build a better one. We do also need to read carpentry. We got a lot to do. We got a lot to do. Well, this is definitely the police station. So maybe we look at going in there and try and find ourselves a shotgun, possibly. Oh, we got SWAT team in here. We got military as well. This could be good. This could be good. Looks like there's a lot in there. Maybe we get the machete out for this one, I think. Right, well that's them dealt with oh we got we got some few a few bits here that look pretty interesting we'll have a look in a minute oh and we got a shotgun as well oh okay okay tactical police vest actually uh is better than the civilian one so we're gonna pop that on oh bike defense is better on the woodland let's take it let's wear that i'd prefer bike defense to be honest Okay, so we can't wear welding masks with these helmets. Some you can. I think it's just a military helmet, which is a bit of a shame, but it is what it is. We will take this shotgun. Thank you. Oh, the riot helmet is better. It doesn't offer bullet defense, but you know what? It doesn't really matter. Maybe we can wear the welding mask. No, we can't. Okay. Oh, there's still a fair few of them down here. All right, so we got a few bits. I, I think our vest actually has holes in, so we're going to get rid of that. We're going to wear the police tactical. To hell with it. We also got an M16, which is in really good condition, so we'll have that. Another nightstick, yes, please. Okay, okay, good. A uh, successful haul so far. Oh, maybe we take them black tactical pants as well. Oh, we got a stalker. We got a stalker. All right, what condition are our clothes in? All right, we're going to wear them. We're going to wear them. Okay, so we take the top and we'll have this guy's tactical black pants, I think. We're going to take, uh, we're taking off our, uh, our office attire. But, you know, it is, it is what it is, really. We've got to adapt and overcome. Yeah, we got the stalker boots on as well. I like the look of them. Oh, okay. We are, we're getting through them. Okay, another shotgun. I'm getting all these shotguns because the ones we keep finding don't really have a lot of uh, durability left on them. Oh, tactical gloves are actually better than the gloves we're wearing. Ah, but they have got a hole in them. Or the stalker gloves, maybe they're better. Have they got a hole in? Yeah, they do. Okay, let's just get our normal gloves. What about any of these dead guys? Tactical gloves. Ah, oh, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I see you behind me, you bastard. Oh, this shotgun's in good condition. Yeah, we'll have that. Thank you. So long blades actually gaining levels, which is noise. Oh, okay. Right, we killed a rider. Let's see if we can actually wear these with the welding masks. If we can, that's what we're wearing. No, we can't. Mm, that's annoying. All right, so it looks like we've cleared a lot of it out. Not all of it, I doubt, but some of it, which is nice. We're probably going to head back because it is... Uh, and it's getting late. We're probably going to get tired soon, I think. All right, we are home. Let's dump off these uh, all these guns we've got. My God. Three, sh four shotguns and an M16. Nice. All right, we got the weather on tomorrow. We got 18 degrees. Yeah, maximum 21. Mild winds. Expect clear skies. Okay, so no rain tomorrow. That's fine. Do you want to build another rain collector? So let's go look for some wood and planks today. All right, so we got four planks. We should be able to build another rain collector. Do we have the bags with us? Yes, we do. Let's go and do that now. There we go. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Right, it's 20 past 11. We're going to hit the hay tomorrow. We're going to read the carpentry, the next carpentry book. It's going to be a base day, but it's something that needs to be done because I want to get you know, the next hour, then we can build a big old rain collector. But I uh, will see you in the morning. All right, day 18. We are hitting them books today. Oh, we need a generator and everything like that. We need to get some 
uh, crops planted. All right, so let's get on and read the next carpentry. Where are you? There you are. And now that we've got our little uh, balcony, if you like, uh, we can actually read out there with out any danger or fear of zombies because then that way we're not going to get bored so let's do that just thinking i don't know if this uh i can't remember what it is does it do we need to plumb it in if we had a new one or because that one's plumbed in we don't um and i don't know if that's too far away so what is it one two mm, i think it can be three we'll see we'll see we'll see all right it's 11 o'clock perfect timing ready we've just finished the book we're gonna have a smoke and then we're going to uh, we're going to get a bed tomorrow. Let me push back down into the uh, to the police station there. Um, but we'll decide. Uh, we'll decide in the morning. We'll see you then. All right, day 19, 20, Well, ten to seven in the morning. Looking. Uh, we're looking bloody good. Let's. Uh, yeah. Let's push back down to that police station. See what we can see down there, and go from there. Really. All right. Looks like a few of them have come out. That's absolutely fine. That's better for us. I'd rather fight them outside. To be honest. Let's bloody have it. How are we looking short, Blunt? It's getting there, it's getting there. I do want a new uh, level 3 on it. Oh, we got a bunny, we got a bunny. Got a dead bunny. Okay, it looks fairly clear. We're going to dismantle these because these are good for electrical skill, I believe. Now, I do like the prepper gear. Um, prepper trousers, they are actually better and they come with a holster. So, we're going to wear them. Nice, nice, nice. And then that means we can actually get rid of the holster, which saves us weight. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Yeah, we've been quite lucky with the power so far, but I mean, it's not going to last forever, is it? And I, uh, yeah, then we're going to have to go and try and find some bloody generators in some industrial units. So that should be fun. Oh, I don't like this. Let's, uh, let's retreat a little bit. Oh, we'll take that key though. Thank you. Oh, we can actually wear the prepper helmet. I do like that better than the riot helmet. It'd probably keep us cooler as well. Can we put the uh, the welding mask on with this? No. Okay, that's fine. We got a prepper helmet. I like that. I like that. Yeah, the spawns on a undead survivor there. I mean, it's supposed to be set to I think 0 0.04. <laughs> Maybe I always look at uh, reducing that to 0 0.01. I think if we use it again. Right. Let's get out of this building for a little bit. Oh, actually, let's dismantle these phones all right well that is the police station definitely so this must be the hospital then is it cool we're in a right old spot here aren't we but at least if we clear it out before peak day that's that's pretty good let's have a little scope out a bit further up here up north oh we got a pawn shop here probably need a sledgy to get in or we burn the bastard down um, but that should have some guns. Not sure if I want to be using guns just yet, but we're going to have to sooner or later, I think. Mm, don't know that much in there. We will have to go in and inspect, I think, though. Well, you got it, haven't you, when you see a pawn shop? Oh, it looks like they've already smashed down some doors here. Mm, this actually helps us better bite protection, which I think I would rather have. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Oh, well, it looks like we're in the pawn shop. That's fine by me. <gasps> Machete. Yes, please. Splitting axe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got another pair of desert boots. That's what I like. We'll keep the stalkers, though, just in case. Not a lot in here. We did get a machete, to be fair, but it's uh, it's just uh, clothes mainly. It's not bad. We got a new uh, jacket. We got some new shoes. So, it's happy days. All right. Let's start heading back. I don't want to push my luck. Wait, 79, so we can probably eat something nice. You know, have, have some, uh, eat some jam. You deserve it, Peter. It's uh, definitely been a bit more eventful than uh, the mundane job behind a desk, hasn't it? That's for sure, buddy. All right, but it's 10 to 11. We're uh, nice and safe on our balcony. I do like it up here. No rain in our rain collectors, but, you know, yeah, we got a little bit in that one. We're going to go to bed in tomorrow. Oof, day 20. Day 20. We'll see you then. All right, day 20, 8 a.m. Let's have a little look at the old map because we're going to have to, uh, well, we need a generator and we need a sledgehammer. Ah, these over here, these could have them storage units. That's a bloody big old truck though, isn't it? Well, it's not too bad. It's all down a main road. That's a possibility. I think I try these ones up here first, you know. Maybe we drive up there over the next 10 just to tick these up because if there's a bloody generator up here and I go all the way over here, I'm going to be 
very annoyed. We got options. We got options. Um, but uh, yeah, I think we're just going to go dismantle a few beds today. Maybe try and get that next level. It'd be nice. Oh, a shotgun striker. Wow. We will take that. Thank you. Oh yeah, there we go. We got the cop. We got the cop. All right, so we got uh, we got some planks. We got everything like that. Let's go and try and put a better rain collector up there. Do we have garbage bags though? We do not. But that's fine. We can get them. All right, we got to get rid of that bit of water. It's not not the end of the world. Let's dismantle this. Can we get? No, we don't get any bags. That's fine. Let's go get some. It's quite nice being next to the bins. The smell's not too good, but we got plenty of garbage bags. Oh yes, there we go, there we go. Let's get these planks, let's do a little bit of something over here. Let's finish off this floor. Go, and then maybe actually put the fence in so we don't uh, don't fall off. All right, well there we are, 20 past six, the end of day 20. Wow, we're getting through them, we're getting through them. Okay guys, so we are back day 21. We have got a lot to do today. We're gonna go up here, because I believe there's some storage units up here. We're gonna hit. We're also going to go to the prepper store, which is around here. There's also a gun store, I think, and a hardware store along here. So we, we got a lot to do. We've got a lot to do over the next 10 days. So I think we're just going to crack on. We're going to grab some food because we are a little bit hungry. And I don't know if we're going to take the car up there. I just don't know. You know what? I think we are going to take the car. Let's take it for a test drive. It could be a really bad idea. I don't know, but we're going to give it a go anyway. Well, she started first time. <laughs> All right, so we made it up. There's a fair few zombies around, so let's deal with them. Whew, so we've broken our pipe, and they did manage to push us back quite a bit. But that's fine. We wanted to get rid of the pipe anyway. We got the old batons. Maybe we have a look in some of these cars as well, see if we can get a better one than our van while we're here. Something like this truck would be really nice if, uh, if we get lucky and get the keys. It does have the key in it. It doesn't have any fuel, but that's fine. Nah, it's not in the best condition anyway. We'll leave this one. Mm, no good there. Right, let's not push it. Let's just carry on with our mission. All right, okay, okay. Let's go, let's go. Oh, short blunt up a level. Thank you very much. That's what we like. That's what we like. All right, so we're in the storage unit. Hopefully we get lucky and get a generator. I don't know, though. God damn it. Okay, we got scratched. Jesus Christ. Ah, I knew he was there as well. Ah, all right, we should be fine, hopefully. My God. Oh, what the hell was happening to this guy in here, poor guy? Ah, oh, you bastard. You scratched our bloody... Jacket. Yeah, put a hole in our shirt. What about uh yeah, okay. Well we're gonna have to patch that up. Uh, we better find a bloody generator now, I'm telling you. Well at least it was our left arm as well, so we can still swing away. Oh, there's a generator in here. Oh look at this, amazing, yes! Thank you very much. It was worth it was worth the scratch to get the generator. Alright, we still got the rest of the day, so let's go in there. I hope we might find another generator or a sledgy or something like that. Do have some painkillers. I don't have any honours, but uh, we should be okay. Oh Lord Jesus! All right, so we've done them. Nothing really in these ones except a load of old bloody zombies. But that's fine. That's fine. Let's see if we can get inside here. Mm, I don't really uh, like it in here. It's a bit confined spaces, isn't it? Um, hmm. I mean. Phew. Oh, we got no generator. Okay. I think we take it and go. I mean, this is what we came for. Maybe the sledgehammer we can find at the hardware store. Let's bloody take this and get the hell out of here. Oh, oh, oh Jesus. Good Lord. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> very, very successful haul, though. All right, so I'm at the uh, the gas station here. I wanted to just come down and drop a generator off while we was here. There we go. That'll do. That'll do. Maybe we'll fill a gas tank up while we're here as well. All right, so we've got a gas can full of fuel. We've got this generator it has fuel in it. 30%, I mean, that'll do. We're only going to be filling up. And also our car is now full of fuel. But what I want to do very quickly, I saw some cars, I saw a fire engine, which may be uh, in, you know, good condition. And there's a few cars over here, actually. If we can get one of these, I'll be very happy. 
We are tired now, so it is a little bit risky. Oh, it's got an axe in it, so... Oh, and it's locked. Okay, let's, let's smash it open. Okay, so it does have the key in there, which is good. Let's see what condition it's in. Oh, very good condition. Okay, we're taking this, we're taking this. What storage we got in the back here? 130. Yeah, that is nice, that is nice. Okay, let's go. Oh, she purrs, she purrs. Right, she's refueled. Let's turn the generator off so uh, we don't waste it all. It's off anyway. Oh, yeah, we've bloody got electricity anyway, haven't we? Jesus. All right, okay. All right, we parked her up. We have drawn a bit of attention, which isn't good because, as I say, we are tired, but <laughs> I kind of forgot how to get in here. All right, we're home. Home, sweet home. Let's dump off this axe. Maybe we go axe. Oh, I do like the axe. I do like the axe. Let's, uh... No, no. Let's, let's stay with the metal bars for now. We'll see how we get on. All right, so we have pretty much done up here, which is nice. Well, we haven't done all of it, but let's put a little something on there just to show that... Oh, where was it? It was, it was here, wasn't it? Okay. That's fine. We might not need to go back up there, but, uh, yeah. We'll see, we'll see. All right, it's 20 to 12. We are very tired. We're going to go to bed. Tomorrow, I'm not too sure. Maybe we go and look at hardware stock, so I would like a sledgehammer and do a bit of base improvements. But uh, we'll uh, see you in the morning. All right, day 22. We have rain, which is good. It's going to be filling our rain collectors up. So the mission for today, as I said, I think we're going to go push up to the hardware store, which I believe is maybe up here somewhere, I think. Possibly. <laughs> um, we'll go have a look anyway. We need to go up here. So that's what we're going to do. To hell with it. Oh, I tell you what we will do actually first. We'll patch that bloody that bloody hole up that we've uh, sustained from that zombie scratch. All right, let's get out. I think we're going to walk up today because, yeah, we're not risking taking the motor. Oh, we got a bar with live music. Reavers. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, no, sorry. Beavers. <laughs> All right, so we've got a nice uh, one level in long blade, which is nice, nice, nice. We will take that. All right, Zach's hardware, so that's where we want to go. Once we've dealt with this rabble. Ah, oh, fish and chips. What's that? Fryer Tux. <laughs> I like that, I like that. <laughs> All right. Well, that's them dealt with by the looks of it. Can we get in here? Is it safe? Is it safe? Hmm, propane torch. We'll take it because it's got gas. No sledgehammer. That's a shame. That is a shame. All right, well, we've done this, so let's mark it off so we know. Now, I want to loop round. Ooh, look at all of these. Okay. Yeah, let's deal with them. Let's deal with them. Oh, wow, we've got them going as well now. Um, okay. Oh, well, we definitely took care of a few of them. Took care of a hell of a lot of them, actually. All right, we will get some food while we're here, I think. Um, maybe we could... Yeah, there's a pawn shop there. Uh, let's just clear it out a little bit and then maybe we drive up with the uh, with the motor in a couple of days Let's see someone with a splitting axe, which I wouldn't actually mind, you know, maybe maybe we go axes, you know Oh, we got the Louisville animal shelter. Maybe that's where the outbreak started. Who knows? Come on you bastards. Let's have ya. Oh, there's quite a few of them at the animal show. Let's uh, let's leave them for now. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. All right, home sweet home, nice and rested. You know what I just realised? We actually forgot the uh, the generator from the other car, so we're going to go get that quick. There we go. We got it. It's all in nice in the truck now. Now, while we are here, I will look for some high-calorie food, I think, because our weight is 78 and dropping, so it's not looking too good we should be fine and we got some uh you know black beans all that kind of stuff but if we can find some nice stuff while we're here all right so we got a few bits that'll do is we do have two of these giant water bottles as well which we're gonna fill up while um oh it stopped raining uh let's try and fill them up here then all right so we dropped the uh the generator there that might be a good place for it actually because it'll track the zombies but they'll be trapped behind that fence um that's interesting all right so we filled our uh, giant water bottles up a little bit we got you know four of them kicking around that's good i've also been uh, oh let's dump some of this stuff off i do hear a zombie outside 
Ah! Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Uh, we did eat some lentils, so we are a little bit depressed, so we're going to have to take some, uh, some of the magic pills. Oh, damn, we don't have any more antidepressants. That's... Am I just being blind here? No, we don't. Ah, damn it. All right, it's 20 per... Oh, no! No! Oh, god damn it! No, no, what are you doing, you fool? Peter, what are you doing? <laughs> don't end it, don't end it like this. My god. Right, well, as I was saying... We're going to go to bed because it's half past 11. Tomorrow it's a base day. We're going to uh, we're going to add some home improvements, make it a little bit more secure, I think. But uh, we'll see you then. All right, day 23. Today we are. We're going to go around, dismantle some stuff in the house, get some wood. We're going to get rid of this flooring, add a wall, and then put some ropes down. And the same outside as well. So then we will be secure until we can find a sledge. I'm going to get rid of these stairs. That is our mission. All right, so we've got an escape rope here, which is nice, so we can just go straight up. We may even barricade our doors up once we've got these uh, these entrances. Actually, don't know. Well, we could always, yeah, we could do, to be fair, because if a zombie pulls a rope down, we can just build a wall there. It won't take a lot. Um, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. But I do need more planks. Oh, no, no, no. We've done it again. We've got to be careful of that. <laughs> Keep an eye out for some antidepressants as well. All right, so we've got 10 planks. We've got some nails. Hopefully, this should do us, I think. All right, so if we take off here, this should. Um, can we do it? Can we do it? Oh, yeah, we've got to put a floor down, haven't we? So let's pop one down there and then disassemble. All right, all right. So let's add... Let's add the rope if we can. All right, there we are. We are secure. Where does this take us? Ah, oh, look at that. Right into our front room. That's bloody lovely. That is brilliant. Right, let's board some windows up because we have no protection. We've done the toilet. That's all secured now, which is good. Let's fill up from the old toilet. <laughs> uh, the umbrella. We didn't actually use that as a weapon, did we? <laughs> oh, and then another leveling carpet. Oh, oh, I nearly walked straight off of that then. <laughs> well, you got to take the rope now. All right, it's 10 to 12. Um, we're going to go to bed. I think tomorrow we're going to do a few more improvements. We're going to put some barricades on the windows. I think we're going to finish that off, but uh, we'll see you, uh, see you in the morning. All right, day 24. It looks like the power's actually gone out in the night, so that is fine. Don't really need the generator going just yet, I don't think. Uh, we don't have anything in the freezers or anything like that, so I think we'll be fine. We could do with a sack, couldn't we? And some dirt. Hmm. Can we create a sack? Let me have a look. Let me bring up the old crafting menu. Sack. Um, we can open sacks, um, but we can't craft sacks. Okay, that's fine. Keep an eye out for that. Not um, essential, but it would be nice to have it. But as I said today, we're going to go around, get some more planks, and um, hopefully secure the base a little bit more. Oh, there was a how to use generators across the road. Amazing. <laughs> all right, so we got 14 planks. That is a nice amount. That should do us, I think. All right, that's all the uh, windows barricade up. We've left the doors for the time being. Let's also put some more fences on here just to make it a little bit nicer. Lovely stuff. Look at that. All right, so tomorrow, I think we're going to go up here. We're going to go in the pawn shop, I think, see what we can get. Maybe check out the other buildings around here. I think there's a, a prepper shop somewhere. I can't... I don't know if it's that. It might be that. So we'll have a... We'll check that out as well. All right, it's 11 o'clock. We'll hit the hay tomorrow. Back up. Back up into town a little bit and see what, uh, see what we can find, really. We'll see you then. All right, day 25. We are just going to get up and at it today. Let's eat some chips. We've got to watch our weight run 81 with one Chevy. Hopefully this doesn't give us two. Nope. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's get out there. I think we're going to take the car. Oh, God, we just hit a, we just hit a trash can. Jesus, that's not good. Oh, okay. Well, we got to be careful of that trash can. Then let's see what damage it's done to our bloody car. Ah, uh, we're still okay. We're okay. We're okay. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, we got to watch that bastard. Jeez. Oh, okay. Well, we got a few more up here. Let's be having them. Oh, okay, okay. Hell of a lot of them dealt with. That was the animal shelter cleared. So happy days. All right, so we're at the pawn shop. Let's deal with these bastards and uh, see what we can get in there. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's get a machete. Right, I think that's the majority of them dealt with. We are in. We are in. <gasps> we found a sledgehammer and 
a machete. Thank you very much, Pawn Shop. Got an axe and also a crowbar, so pretty good haul, to be honest. I thought this was going to be a bit of a bust. We'll take that as well. What we got behind the counter here? Oh, a lot of axes. A lot of axes. Maybe, maybe we go axes. <laughs> I think we do once this metal bar breaks. So I want to use the metal bars to actually, uh, you know, work on our car, hopefully, as well. Only problem with our axes, they do tire you out. All right, well, let's get that marked off because that has been completed. Thank you. And we'll have a little walk over here and see what this building actually is. We'll see if it is the, uh, the prepper store. I think it might be. Oh, and there goes the pipe. Uh, that's good. Gives me an excuse now to use the axe. <laughs> lovely so happy we found a sledgehammer <laughs> okay so yeah this is the prepper store nice still with these zombos oh yeah we got a uh, we got them some stuff in here look at all the, well there's nothing here yet that's really jumping out on me but the main mother load is behind there and we actually have a sledgehammer now as well no we need a sledge okay well let's do that while we're up here with the sledge Oh, wow. I was just walking past this place. They've actually got an M60. Wow. Okay. Okay. All right. We are through. Look at this. Oh, we got to uh, work on our aiming, I think. Look at it all. Look at it. Oh, yes. Shotgun shells. Let's look for shotgun shells. Oh, there's a key there. We'll have that. Here we can find a good condition shotgun up here as well. That'd be nice. Double barrel. We could saw it off. Okay, I mean, we could have a little bit of shotgun fun up here. Or is that too crazy? Oh, have I just lost my head a little bit? No, let's let's go back. Let's not risk it. Let's not risk it. Where, what um key was that for? Crown Vic, wasn't it? I'm guessing it's over there. Let's not push it. Let's go back. All right, we made it home. We made it home. We got all of this good stuff. Is it going to fit in the backpack? I doubt it. Oh my god, it does. All right, let's get up. Let's get up and safe. Mm, we are running out of space. Um, okay. Well, uh, okay, okay. Oh, wow. I can put this bloody this shotgun in the prepper holster. Oh, we got the striker shotgun as well, haven't we? I forgot about that. All right, so we got a, we got a lot of sorting to do tomorrow. That is what we're going to do. We're also going to do some modifications as well because I want to get rid of, you know, some of this stuff. Well, we can get rid of these stairs now. There we go. Look at that. I'm going to also get rid of these as well. Can't get rid of that though, can we? That bloody floating bit. Ah, damn it. Okay. All right, it's half past 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're going to connect the generator. We're going to build us some crates for our guns, change the ropes around, the sheet ropes. We've got a lot to do. We've got a lot to do, but we're going to go to bed and we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 26. We got a lot to do. We got a lot to do. We're going to actually set the generator up. But what I want to do as well is just to make sure what it's not you wasting power on the other houses we're going to see what how far the radius goes and everything like that that's the first job yeah so see it's only going to last one day at 100 percent. that is not good let's go and see what we can do about that oh carpentry nice we'll uh we'll take that definitely all right so we've turned all the lights off at the nearby houses that was a bit of a mission actually let's see what difference that's made three days okay so that's better, I suppose. What we will need to do is go around and dismantle all the fridges and things like that, I think. But first, what we're going to do is actually build a weapons crate. There we go. And then we can put all of our firearms in there. Nicely done. And we'll put the sledgehammer on top, because why not, eh? Let's get the welding mask. Let's get our secondary blowtorch. We do need a propane tank as well, ideally. All right, so that's all the fridges in the adjacent houses. So let's see how that's done. Mm, not a lot, actually. Still a fair few fridges, isn't there? Mm, where is that? Oh, it's, it's heating in here. It's powering in here, I think, as well. Jesus. Mm, you know what? I think we actually try and move it away from this building. I think that's what we got to do here. Let's try and pop it down here. See if this helps. Ah, oh, yeah, loads better. Look at that. 14 days. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's good. Very, very successful day so far. All right, it's 10 past 11. We got some lovely rain in our lovely rain collectors here. But tomorrow, I think we're going to have some shotgun fun over in the industrial area. So uh, we'll go to sleep and we'll, uh, we'll see you then. Okay, day 27. Now, this could be a really bad idea, but we are going to go and try and do a little bit of shotgun fun, I think, over in the industrial area. Let's have a quick look at the map. Yeah, we're going to go over here. Not, I don't think, well, we'll, see, we'll have to see. Well, I don't think it's going to be too busy, but busy enough. We'll go over here, start blasting with a striker, <laughs> see how we get on. Oh, oh, God, that made me jump. Okay, yeah, we'll take 11 and sprinting. 192 shells. I think that's going to be a... Uh, 
Ah, uh, we can kind of manage that. Can we saw off the striker? No, we can't. Okay, that's fine. Weight is 81 and dropping, so we've got to be a little bit careful. I've got some sardines. I mean, we're on day 27. It's a good day to uh, to start getting some aiming skill. We are nearly at peak day. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's, that's going to be interesting when we get there, especially in the old Louisville, but I'm sure we'll be fine. All right, so we're here. This is where I want to go. It's hopefully not too crazy i don't let's get out in the open a little bit up here oh i don't know if this is a good idea you know ah the hell with it let's try it oh god the aiming on this thing is awful jesus christ oh god no we gotta get out of here this ain't this ain't good this ain't good we need a different shotgun jesus christ jeez yeah that was uh that's not a that's not the best to level uh aiming up it would seem Let's park here because we're going to uh, we're going to come back. Yeah, let's get rid of that trash. Where's our sword off? Um, here we go. And we can also put that in the holster, which is good because then we can put the machete back on our back. All right, let's uh, let's go back up there. Hmm, just thinking, is it better to? Uh, is it just better to walk over there? Let's have a look. Yeah, I think it is. There, we can just hop fences if we need to. All right, let's test this bad boy out. Come on, in, you bastards! Good God, these shotguns in this mod, they've got to be real close. Oh, and they're slow at getting the gun down as well. My God. All right, let's try the old fence trick then. Yeah, look how bloody close we got to be. Jesus. Oh, we got one level at least. Well, it looks like one level does help a lot. All right, now we've got a level. Let's try and uh, let's try and pull some of these bastards up. I expected there to be more, to be honest, but maybe the radius on this isn't that loud. Oh, we got a fair few over here. We, we should be able to get a good bit of XP from actually. Oh, they're coming. They're going to come down there and try and get me. But oh no, you bastards! Oh, aiming up again. It's taking its time, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Hopefully, we'll be a lot better now. Yeah, this shotgun, it ain't the best, to be honest. It's slow at reloading. It's slow at aiming. It, uh, yeah, it ain't the best. It ain't the best. It does have decent range, though. Not that we really want that from a shotgun, but... Come on, you bastards. Let's have ya. Come on. Come on. Well, looks like we got a lot of them. That's all our, uh, uh, we're nearly at level three. We might be able to get it. All right. What else we got going on down here? Doesn't look like there's actually that many zombies around here. Looks like we drew a lot of them out. That's good. That's really good, actually. All right. So we're back at the truck. I mean, it's safe. Let's head home, I think. It is getting a bit late in the day for us to be out. All right, home sweet home. Let's get rid of this bloody shotgun. <laughs> oh, we left our back door open as well. Brilliant. Do have an M1911. Let's take that. It takes 45s, doesn't it? Oh, level and reloading. Thank you. All right, it's 20 past 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. I think we're going to take the pistol and we're going to take it down on the high street. Oh, just over here. Just, just to stir it up a little bit. I know it's close to base, but I feel we are fairly safe. We do need to go back up there. And I believe there is a, a smaller gun shop maybe around here somewhere. Not too sure, but high street tomorrow. I think we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 28, we are, well, we're going to fill our water bottles up. We're okay for food. we got a bit of sardines. We need to lose a bit of weight. That's why we're starving old Peter for a few days. So we'll fill our water up, get in there, and then we're going to the high street with the 1911. We're just going to see how it does, because I think this mod actually changes how, you know, the firearms work and stuff, of course. Uh, and I want to see how good uh, a non-shotgun is with two levels in aiming. So let's let's get to it. Don't know how busy it's going to be up here. It could be a very bad, bad move, but, well, we'll just have to see, I suppose. Okay, we got some candidates right here. We've actually got a sheriff by the looks of it. Actually, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is good. We do need more magazines. Okay, we're a bit close to base. Let's get the machete out. Um, that's, it's good to know, though. It's good to know. Oh, wow. 
Wow, look at that. <laughs> Ooh, let's test the uh, Desert Eagle. I don't think I've ever tried the Desert Eagle. I imagine it's going to be loud. Brilliant, it's jammed. All right, we've tested it out. Let's uh, let's head home. We're going to need more guns. We're going to need more ammo. Luckily, we know where there is a lot of it. Yeah, we're just going to hang around base for the rest of the day, I think. Uh, no, don't jump over the bloody fence. Yeah, just going to hang around, chill out for a bit. Oh, what have we got in here? 45. Um, yeah, is that a box? Yes, it is. Okay, we'll have that. Perfect. God damn it. There's a zombie bloody trying to smash our door down. Get away from it, you bastard. Get the hell away from it. You bastard all right it's 10 to 12 we're gonna get a bed tomorrow we can turn these lights off that'll save us a bit of bloody electricity won't it jeez we don't need them on all right as i was saying um <laughs> it's 10 to 12 we're gonna get a bed tomorrow we're gonna go back up to the prepper store loot all of that good stuff and go from there but we'll see you in the morning all right day 29 we are we are getting through it. my god well today as i said we are heading back up to that gun so we're gonna loot it for all it's got uh, and go from there really so let's just crack on with it we are hungry we should probably take some food with us let's eat let's eat a plonky why not uh, we're down to 80 which is good so we could we'll probably lose a little bit more weight um let's let's get a bit more food in us come on let's have some canned peaches why the hell not oh we got fog we got fog this ain't good this ain't good but i think we'll be okay all right we're at the prepper store we've got a couple of zombies nothing we can't handle all right, let's get in there. Let's get looting. Oh, look at it all. Look at it all. Oh, look at that. The T-56. Hmm. Let's have a little look at this. I mean, it gives us better bite defense, but... Oh, wow. Okay, yep. I think we're going to wear that. <laughs> I like the look of that. <laughs> oh, we got some locals. Come on in, you bastards. Let's have ya. We nearly got a level in axe. Uh, oy, easy. We're getting to a first level in axe. Um... We probably should just use short blunt to be fair, but oh well. Oh, look, maybe we can wear a mask with uh, with this helmet. We should try. Oh God, look, look at that! Wow, let's get a bit of light on. Look at that! That is terrifying. <laughs> oh wow, we got more in here. All right, we are loaded right up. We have all of the guns from in here. Look at all this stuff. We're going to get back and we're going to go through it all at back at pace. Okay, so we've dropped all the guns off. Um, it's a bit of a mess. Look at this bad boy. We've got a bloody M60, the lot. What's this, an SR25? This is good. What I did want to look at, though, um, look at our range on that bad boy. The M40, the SKS. We, we have got guns for days. M1A, is that? An old school rifle let's have a look get it equipped yeah there are some good guns in this mod there are we got a tech nine but what i really wanted to look at was the carbine yeah let's have a look at this oh yes okay so we got we got plenty of options now for firearms we are going to have to do uh build some more crates that zombie that's banging around is really annoying me and we do have a uh a p226 which as a decent what, what clip does it take p226 clip do we have one of them no we do not so we may just use the m9 then instead but uh yeah we've uh we definitely got options now all right so we're gonna go out and just try and find some uh some planks we're running planks are really low really low this playthrough because there's no bloody trees around but we're gonna uh gonna go look for some planks uh, and then build some more crates i think all right so we got four planks we can make two crates hopefully that's gonna be enough oh what we got here then what we got here come on you bastards so these are going to be the gun crates. All right, so we're all packed away. <laughs> Thank God. That's all done. We got some 9mm. We'll keep this with us for now, this gun, and go from there. All right, it's 10 past 11. We're going to get a bed, and tomorrow, whew, day 30. Day f we are we're getting through it. We are getting through it. See you in the morning. All right, day 30. Day 30. As always, on the 10th day, we're probably not going to do a lot today. Just hang around base. It really isn't worth it. I'm just going to admire these uh lovely lovely guns what, what kind of oh my god look at the range on that jesus yeah maybe we uh we're gonna have to get some kind of rifle on the go the m14 is a good old workhorse and never fails probably not going to use the m60 to be fair but we definitely got our uh, plenty of bloody options now all right but it is 10 past four as i say we haven't done a lot today oh my god jesus christ that made me jump okay let's go deal with this zombie 
Get out of it, you bastard. Jesus. As I was saying, <laughs> yeah, it's half past four. We haven't done a lot. We're not going to do a lot. All right, day 31. We have got a lot to do over the next 10 days. I think our mission is going to be, it's going to be a risky one, but I want to get over to here. I believe this is a VHS store. So, and I think there's also a gun store down there. Um, and also here at this gun store here as well. So we've got a lot to do. I think maybe let's go and try and find this gun store first of all. And then we can assess how much uh, supplies and ammo we've got. Uh, and then we can try and tackle this. We're, we're all, we've gone past peak day. So there's going to be a hell of a lot of zombies. But it looks like it's going to be a fair, fairly straight route down. So that's the goal for these 10 days. Let's crack on. Let's just have a look how much 9 mil we do have. Got a couple of boxes. Okay, let's open them. Let's keep them on us. All right, so we've actually got the M1911 now because we do have three magazines for it. So it's going to be better. He didn't really hold it very well, to be fair. Um, but we're going to grab some food and then we're just going to crack right on. Oh, so it's got a little bit busy at the gas station. So let's deal with these absolute jokers. I don't know if the gun store is here. I probably should have brought the uh, sledgehammer as well, but oh well. All right, so just check the map. And the gun store is actually um, down here somewhere, I think. Down there. So we'll head on down to there. Oh, maintenance up. Nice. Thank you very much. Oh, and long blade. Get in. Now, we did kill a stalker down here, and it looked like... Uh, stalker knife. Nah, we're not, not too bothered about that. All the beer... Uh, nah, we'll leave that. Now let's check this police car. We may get lucky. There may be some nice uh, guns in there or something if we can get in there. Uh, absolutely nothing in there. All right, <laughs> keep on going. All right, so I think the gun store is just over that fence. So let's deal with these absolute jokers. It's very busy now down here. There is a lot of a. Oh, is that propane? If that's propane, we need to have that. Let's deal with all of these zombies. Do we actually have a level in axe yet? Uh, level one. Okay. Oh, okay. So one of these guys did actually have a splitting axe, I think. Uh, yeah, there we go. We will have that. We'll actually put that on our belt, I think. Oh, we can put it on our webbing slot. Yeah, put it there. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> All right, what condition is this bloody truck in? Mm, so it's not in the best uh, condition. Well, it's okay. It's got no fuel, though. Can't seem to figure out how to find out if it's got any, any gas in it. Hmm. Don't think it does. Okay, that's fine then. Let's uh, let's crack on over to this gun store. Hmm. So it is barred. Kind of knew it would be. Now, is there a back door? Yes, there is. Oh, but we can't get there. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna need a sledgehammer. We gotta go back. <laughs> All right, we are back with the sledgehammer. <laughs> it's actually very close to our base. We've been very lucky with this spawn, to be honest. Oh, we had like two gun stores now. The police station near the industrial area. It's, it's a good location. Thinking maybe I smash some of these gates off as well so we don't have to run out, uh, jump over it with all of our loot. There we go. It can let the zombies in, but I, I think it's fine. Or maybe we're going through the side here. Oh, Jesus. There's plenty of shelves in our way. Come on. All right. Looks like we're going the old-fashioned way through the front. All right. Let's go have a look. There's something banging around in here, but I think we'll be fine. All right, so we looted all the stuff. We got a lot of a lot of stuff, actually, to be fair. Got some shotguns. I don't know if we're really going to need them, but I picked them up anyway. We got some rifles, but we got ammo. That is the main thing. So let's head back. We're actually getting tired already today. Let's head back to the base. All right, home sweet home. Let's dump some of this stuff off. I'll park the car here, actually, to make it a little bit closer and easier. Well, I say that, but I didn't really park outside the house, did I? Yeah, I think we're going to need another crate, but we can do that tomorrow. We'll probably have a base day tomorrow going through all of our, again, ill-gotten gains. But uh, let's just dump all this jazz on the floor for now and get it out of the car. All right, that is everything off of the floor. As I said, tomorrow we're going to go through it all, see what we've got, and plan um, our plan of attack. I think we're going to have to take this mask off as well, just because it is making us really sweaty. So, I mean, it is an extreme, what is it, extreme winter Extreme cold weather, so yeah, probably uh, gonna have to take that off. We looked cool, 
But we got our beard to keep us safe anyway, haven't we? So we'll be fine. All right, but it is 12 o'clock. We are extremely, ridiculously tired. So we're going to go to bed and we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 32. We got a, we got a base there. We got a base there. We're going to build some more crates. We're going to sort our guns out. And then tomorrow, we're going to push up. We're going to push up. What the hell is this zombie doing here? Hey, lady, lady, come on. Get out of here. Jesus. We're also going to get rid of this axe as well. But we're going to use a splitting axe instead. Because it's lighter. And it probably does the same amount of damage. It does more damage, actually. Okay. And we can put it on our belt as well. Because we're going to put a gun on our back. Oh, yes. You hit it right. That's what we're doing. And we're going to need another crate for the guns as well. <laughs> All right, let's go get some wood. Okay, our weight is dropping, but I have found some butter. So we're going to eat it. It's going to make us unhappy, but we need to uh, we need to put some calories on, to be honest. We've also got enough cr uh, planks now to make another crate. So let's crack on. Boom, there we go. All right, so gun-wise, let's have a look. What are we going to take? Ideally, we want a 308 because we've got 21 boxes of ammo for that. Probably more in here, yeah. Okay, we need a gun that takes 308 then. So the M40 does, but it's only got five rounds in it. I believe the M14 might do. Oh, and the M1 does as well. Okay. Yeah, so the M14 does take 308. Okay, so it looks like we're going with the old faithful then, doesn't it? <laughs> also going to try and put maybe a sling and a scope on it. All right, we're good to go. We are good to go. We're a little bit overweight with it, but we're not going to be using melee, are we? So I think we should be fine. Uh, it's a bit of a shame attachments don't show with this mod, but oh well. We know for next time. I think I'm going to stick with the good old faithful vanilla firearms expanded. I, I like that. That seems to be the best. It's good to try this one out. Let's get rid of this cold weather mask as well. Maybe we have some maple syrup. Let's do it. We need the cows. There we go. One Chevy. One Chevy. All right, it's 10 past 12. We're going to get a bed in tomorrow. Well, tomorrow we push up. All right, day 33, we're going to grab some food and we're just going to crack right on. We want to get out there. We're going to stop blasting. Don't know how it's going to turn out. We shall see, I suppose. <laughs> we need to keep our eye out for antidepressants as well because if we can just have some black beans or some chickpeas, that would be ideal to pump our weight up. But, of course, it's going to make us sad. Okay, we'll park down here. We'll clear this area out. Then we'll push up on foot, I think, because it's risky. We need to be able to escape with a firing using firearms in bloody Louisville. All right, let's get the let's get the gun out. Ah, damn it! I didn't reload my mags. Oh, we got a lot. We got a lot. Okay, okay. All right, that's a lot of them uh, dealt with anyway. They pushed us back a little bit, but that's fine. At least we've cleared this area. This will probably be our staging point going forward. There's a lot, there's a lot, okay. Oh, well, we got through some of them. I think there's still a hell of a lot more up there. Oh, they keep coming. We keep killing. Oh, let's duck in this shop down here as well, actually, and see if we can get any high-calorie food. How is the cows looking? One Chevy. Not amazing. Oh, well, they've pushed us back again. There was a hell of a lot of them. All right, well, we've killed a hell of a lot of them. They're still coming, though, so we may have to retreat for the day. Maybe give it a day to despawn and let them spread out again. Well, it's good to know that level two is enough to use guns um, at a decent you know, accuracy. We're nearly at level three anyway, to be fair. Before we head home, can we get in this little shop down here just to get some calorie food? All right, we've made it down. Let's see if we can get some good stuff. Melted ice cream is fresh. Maybe we, uh, no, I don't want to risk that. All right, we got a fair few bits. That's enough to keep us going. Let's try and let's eat some tortilla chips and then we're going to head back, I think. 
Hmm, I don't know if trying to shoot them all is, is <laughs> maybe the best way. Maybe we just try and drive there. Because it's going to take us a while to get, get there if we're going guns blazing the whole way. All right, home sweet home. All right, it is half past 11. We're going to have this uh, lovely smoke. And we're going to have some food as well because we want them calorie. Yeah, see, we've uh, we've leveled off. Um, yeah, let's eat some cereal. Eat all of them. Get them in you, buddy. Get them in you, Peter. There we go. Two Chevys. That's what we like to see. Uh, we're going to go to bed tomorrow. Base day, I think. We'll, uh, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 34. As I say, we got a base day today. We're going to let them corpses despawn a little bit, hopefully. And then, you know what? I think we're just going to risk it. <laughs> we're going to drive down. It's risky. It is bloody risky. We're going to see how it is. We'll drive down to here. And if uh, if it's clear, maybe we go the top way. I think the top way is quite busy, though. Um, hmm. Yeah, we'll, uh, well, we'll, play. <laughs> we'll play it by ear, I think. But we're just going to chill around today. The calm before the storm. All right, it's 10 to 12. A bit worried about our weight. We should be fine after we sleep. We're going to go to bed now and tomorrow. Well, the day of reckoning. <laughs> we'll see you then. All right, day 35. We got rain, which is good because it's filling our rain collectors up again. Weight's fine. We're going to starve ourselves a little bit. We do need some more cigarettes. We only have one on us. What the hell? If we run out of cigarettes, what the hell is Peter going to do? It's only if you can keep him going at this point. But we're going to take a few of these. Maybe we wait a little bit to see if this rain passes. Okay, the rain is not passing, but that's fine. Let's um, let's go and have a look up there. Let's risk it. Let's do it. Bloody hell, this could be a bad idea. Well, the bodies haven't despawned. <laughs> Oh hell, there is a lot of zombies on this road. Okay, I think we've made it. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Let's get out, let's get out, let's deal with them. Let's get them a shade, let's not mess around here. Let's try and clear the area out. Okay, okay, we look good, we look good. We haven't drawn too many of them over to us. Okay, we could probably turn the car off now as well. Oh, I won't lie, that was uh, that was bloody nerve-wracking. <laughs> oh, we got a hardware store here as well. Should we have a little look in there quick? <laughs> propane tank we will take. All right, so only the bloody propane tank so far. What about through here? Another sledgy, but we don't need it. We don't need a couple of axes as well, we'll say. All right, let's get on to the uh, vi hit vids. I think there's a VHS store over here. Might be along the next row of shops, actually, over there. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. Okay. Oh, leveling axe. Thank you. All right, we are close. We are close. Nearly there. Nearly there. Oh, imagine if an alarm just went off. Jeez. Oh, we got one car zone. One car zone. Mm, that is a little bit annoying. We've only got... we got a few, but we've only got one mechanics VHS. So, I mean, it's probably going to get us to level two, so we can hotwire, but... Not really the result I wanted. Wasn't really worth the risk. But let's not hang around. Let's get the hell out of here. Well, weight's leveled off at 82. That's fine. So we will starve ourselves a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm not looking forward to the uh, to the drive back, to be honest. Well, we don't really have the energy to fight these zombies. So I think we're just going to leg it to the, to the car. Get in and hopefully get going. Come on. Not now. Oh, God, that was something out of a film, wasn't it? Third try it starts. Jeez, right, let's get back. Wish me luck. We all know what my driving's like at the best of times. Like that. Ooh, we nearly made it. We nearly made it. Oh, we are home. My God. God, that was uh, that was tense. That was very tense. Oh, and uh, we need a better TV. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Let's dump these off here for now. We probably will watch them all. Why the hell not? 
Uh, it's a bit disappointing that we couldn't get another Mechanics VHS, but, you know, it is what it is. What can you do? I'm just happy we bloody survived that madness. All right, it's 20 past 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're going to hunt around for a, a modern TV so we can watch the VHS. We're also going to look at metalworking, possibly. Um, what we at? Yeah, next time on metalworking. And then maybe doing our, fixing our car up and putting some um, protection on it, possibly. But we'll, uh, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 36. The storm is still raging outside. First order of business, find a modern TV. That's what we're doing. Let's go look. I would imagine one of these houses... Oh, straight away. Perfect. Yeah, we will have that. Thank you very much. All right, let's get this mechanics. Have we read the book? Yes. Uh, yes, we have. Okay, let's just crack on and get this mechanics book uh, video watched. All right, so we got to level two. There is a little bit left, so we are going to read the book before we watch the last little bit, if we have it. Yeah, so we're going to read that. Probably going to be very minimal, but it's it's worth it. All right, so it's 8 o'clock. We have finished reading Mechanics, which is good, 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 good. Let's go and finish the VHS. And let's see if we actually get a, any more XP from this. Uh, we got maybe like just under a quarter of a level, so it's probably worth it, to be honest. All right, let's do this bloody zombie banging around. Come on, lady, what are you messing around at? Get out of here, come on. All right, let's check how our car is looking. I don't think it's going to be in the best condition. Uh, we have no hood, and the engine is getting pretty battered. But we can now hotwire, which is good. Let's see what we need to add some bars and stuff. Just metalworking, so we can actually get it. We'll get a nice new car, and yeah, I think we might be able to get to metalworking. That's a job for tomorrow, though. All right, it's 10 past 12. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. Tomorrow we are, I believe, if I remember rightly, there was a laundrette down here. Wait, down... Yeah, over here. So we can take the propane torch and go dismantle. That is the plan. So we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 37, we are just going to crack on. We're probably going to drop our rifle off because I don't think we uh, we really need it right now. We'll put it by the door. <laughs> just, yep, just chuck it all down there. We will keep the pistol with us, though, the M9. All right, so that has lightened our load, which is good. Let's get our propane torches, our mask, and everything like that. All right, we are ready to get, uh, get dismantling, baby. Oh, yes. Look at this. We got loads in here. We got loads. We got loads. Let's crack on. Oh, yeah. Metal working too, baby. Let's get these because these will come in handy, these sheets. Um, we are going to have to go and read the other book, though. But it's still early in the day, so that's fine. All right. It's uh, past 11. We've finished reading Metal Working. Tomorrow, we're going back down there and hopefully get another two levels. Don't know if we're going to. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully. And then we can look again in a new car with some upgrading it with some sick sick protection so we go to sleep we'll see you in the morning all right day 38 we have been starving in the night which isn't good get some beef jerky in you come on peter get it in you we are dropping weight though which is good propane torches we're okay we're okay so yeah we're gonna go back down to that laundrette hopefully get a couple of levels let's just oh we'll drop these sheets off as well metal sheets yeah they can go on the floor for now that'll do that'll do pig right let's crack on Oh yeah, we got another level. We got a level. Only one level. But we have pretty much cleared this out. What I think we might have to do is how much propane torch uh, tank we Okay, we got a little bit. We got enough probably. What I think might be the best bet is going to do fridges and baths in the houses across from us. Let's have a quick look at this truck. Could this be a contender? Could be a fixer-upper. That engine quality is good. I like that. Hmm. Okay, that's a maybe, that's a maybe. Hmm, I'm just sort of thought actually. I know where uh, the best place to do this probably would be. Let's take a jerry can with us because we may find a car down there. The old warehouse, of course. Empty all of them. There's so many bloody things there to uh, dismantle shelves. I mean, we are getting there. I don't know if we're going to get there today. I mean, it is three o'clock already, but... Whoops. Oh, yes, there we go. There we go. We got it. We got it in the end. Amazing. We don't have a lot of propane left. Um, not a lot at all, really. Um, oh, we got a full one. So I don't even know if we're going to be able to do anything on, on a vehicle when we get a good one. All right, we are home. We are home. Safe and sound. So very successful. Uh, we're going to have to need, use... Uh, we're going to have to get a mechanics... Some kind of mechanics crate going, I think. But for now, that is a result. 
Yes, the house is a bit of a mess. I know, I know, I know. All right, it's 12 o'clock. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're going to look for some new wheels. So we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 39. We are up and at 8 o'clock in the morning. We're a little bit hungry. Looks like we got a bit of a storm out there. You know what? I'm not worried. I know where we're going to go. We're going to go over and look up where the pawn shop is. There's some cars up there. We'll take this wagon with us. Hopefully we can bring it back as well. Uh, we can tow it because then we'll... Uh, We'll do some mechanics work on the vehicles on this one as well. So let's just get on with it. Uh, the bodies have cleared up here, which is nice. I want to check this vehicle here. I don't, can't remember if we did check it or not. I cannot remember. Mm, no, not in the best condition. That's fine. Let's go to the prepper store. I know we got a key for a Crown Vic run there, didn't we? Okay, okay. We got a car park. We got a few. We got a few candidates here. Mm, let's check these here. They don't look amazing, but how about this in here. This looks pretty good actually. Pretty promising. Ah, no, not in good condition. Hmm. We do need a jack, though. You know, maybe we just don't have a truck because these look in fine condition. What's the boot space on that? I mean, this is in bloody good condition. Passy 26. Ah, it's not ideal, is it? Nah, let's keep looking. Well, maybe we go back down to uh, the gas station there. All right, so this one looks in okay condition. No, god damn it. We could have a contender. St. Olga's Flowers. Could this be the one? Ooh, I mean, it's not amazing, but 60%. Let's see what else we got down here. 64. Oh, yeah, we got one. We got one, baby. We got one. And there's gas in there as well. Perfect. Uh, I think we'll actually tow it, though. And it's got the key in there. We did have to smash the window, but at least we have a key in it now, which is nice. Jesus, where have all these come from? All right, we are towed. Let's get out of here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. That's it. Come on. Come on, fire truck. <laughs> wow. Right, I haven't hooked the fire truck. We will come and get that at a later stage. Let's get this back. I say, she ain't perfect, but she'll do. Okay, first thing we want to do is I want to repair the gas tank. Well, actually, the first thing I want to do is put some bars on the hood. So let's get some bars. Let's get our propane going. We haven't got a lot. We may need screws as well. Now, I have been picking screws up because I know we do use them for this mod. Yeah, i got four boxes. That should be enough. Oh, we need metal pipes. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we got some pipes. We got some pipes. Right, hopefully we can get some bars on now. Just want to get the bars on because then I know the engine's going to be safe. The engine is on 87, so we do want to keep that bad, but we're going to have to change these tyres. But that's fine. That's all that we can do, all of that. Oh, yes. Look at that. We have uh, we have done it. Can we put anything else on? No, we cannot, but that's fine. That will do us for now, pig. Pop all this stuff over here so we can see it. All of our car stuff. Can we repair the fuel tank while we're here? No, we cannot. What can we do? Uh, we can use fixer flat, actually, to repair the tyres. Ah, uh, no, we'll change them over. Now, hopefully now we can put bars on everything. We won't really need to worry about maintaining the car, which could work in, in our benefit. All right, it's 11 o'clock. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. As I say, we're going to just doss around base a bit. Um, I'm going to look at a different helmet because this is quite heavy, but that is a job for tomorrow. We will see you then. All right, day 40. Yes, let's go and have a look at this helmet because it weighs, where is it, 0.75 when we've got it on. That seems quite heavy to me. What about the, whatever stuff do we have? Whatever helmets, do we even have any other helmets? Uh, I swear we did. Oh, we got the prepper one, haven't we? Yes, and that's actually a lot lighter, so we will wear that. <laughs> um, sorry, um, what are you? What was, what was that helmet? Sorry, T56, but... You're too bloody heavy. All right, let's pump these tires up, get the mechanic skill in while we can. And also we will go and grab the old, our, uh, our old faithful, the, uh, the fire truck. All right, so we've managed to get that back, which is good. We will salvage some, uh, some parts from that eventually. God damn zombie banging on my bloody door. You bastard. They've also turned my rope down as well. Um, that's fine because we don't park out there anyway, so we can we can live without that. But as always, on the uh, on a tenth day, uh, we don't really leave the base. We don't really do a lot. So that's probably going to be it for today.
All right, guys, day 41. We are getting through it. We've got a fair few things to do over the next 10 days. Let me just give that a pause. What I want to do is go down to these houses, maybe make a little outpost. Off. I want to go to this one. I think this is one with a double garage there. Also want to check out this. I, don't, I can't remember what it is. So we're going to go down here. We also need to do work on our car. And also I want to get a farm going at the main base. So hopefully we can find a sack down here. I don't know. But yeah, we've got a lot to do. A lot to do. We're going to stay around the outskirts. We'll probably go in here at some point. But yeah, that's there. the goals for the for the next 10 days. All right, so we got the old motor here. Let's... Um, wait a minute. Why is that? Oh, <laughs> I thought I left our door open then. Ah, yes. We needed to change the tires, didn't we? God damn it. What the hell are they bang? You bastard. You broke our window. All right, so let's get this all changed over today, I think. That is the plan. So I believe, yeah, we got good tires in here. Well, good enough, I suppose. All right, so we got good tires. That's good. That's good. I feel a little bit better now. We have got a smash window. That doesn't matter. I do want to get bars on our window for protection. But I think the rest of the day, we might actually try and see if we can get to the next level. I want to try and take some brake pads off of here and just mess around with a fire truck. We'll also pump our tires up before I forget as well. <laughs> All right, there we go. She's looking good. She's looking good. We could take this window as well. Let's do that. All right, so we got a window in there. She's looking very good, actually. Didn't really want to do mechanics today, but I'm kind of uh, committed to it now. <laughs> oh, that's another brake pad uh, killed, but <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We are actually getting to uh, the next level of mechanics, which is nice. Hey, 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 take a wrench. All right, there we go. There we go. Level three mechanics. Okay, okay. Taking us all day, but we got there. We got there. Can actually repair quite a bit of our uh, car now as well. Ah, it's the propane that's going to be the issue, I think. Mm, yeah, we have none. Um, okay, I've got a plan. I've got a plan. It's a plan for tomorrow, but I've got a plan. <laughs> Just thinking, this propane uh, truck down here somewhere, down here, wasn't it? Maybe we bring it up just in case it does have fuel in it. I'll be able to tell if we get the propane torch uh, tank near it. Um, it's worth a go, I reckon. All right, but it is 10 past 11. We're going to go to bed. A, a fairly productive day. Not really much zombie killing, but we were working on the car, which I think is a very, very important part of a zombie playthrough. So we're going to crack on with that again tomorrow, hopefully, but we'll, uh, we'll see you then. Okay, day 42. We are back on it. Let's um, let's get down. So we need to drop this jack and this wrench off. Do we have fuel in any of these? No. Okay. Right. Let's let's not worry about that for now. Let's drop this wrench and things off. Let's take this empty gas can because we're actually going to walk down there. Yep. We're walking down in the gas station. We'll get some gas. We'll also bring that propane tank, uh, propane truck back up here. Oh, yeah. I forgot about our minivan. Look at this. Look at this guy just parked up here. Nice. Well, we know we've got a backup vehicle if we need it. All right, we've got our gas, so let's head on down to the propane truck and hopefully we can get it home in one piece. Oh, that last episode, driving to uh, driving to the hit viz, that was very nerve-wracking. That's why this one's going to be a, uh, a little bit calmer, I think. I don't know if my heart can take it. Oh, I've just realised we don't even have electrical one. What the hell? Oh my god, right, okay. Oh, we'll take them beta blockers, sir. Right, okay, we're gonna have to do a bit of dismantling some uh, electricals. That is, I'm sure we got there. Oh, right, we're gonna have to go and dismantle some TVs, I think. Bloody hell. Nah, we wouldn't, we probably need one more TV, so it's not horrendous. It's a little bit annoying, but. Come on, come on, one more TV, one more TV. Is this gonna be the one? Yes, okay, we got there, we got there. All right, let's hop wire this bad boy. There we go, come on. So what my thinking is, this may not work because I know there is a separate mod with filibusters that allows like the fuel and the propane truck to actually hold and dispense the uh, the fuel. So we, I may not have activated that. I think I have, but I'm not too sure. But I know it's a little bit fiddly how do you actually get the uh, propane? So, well, let's park it up here. <laughs> so a good way to test would be to actually get the propane tank and see if we can fill that up. It is actually in bloody good condition. See, I'm not seeing any any percentage of or any option for the fuel. 
It's just the trunk. Mm, maybe it just doesn't have any in it. That's annoying. Well, it looks like this was a, was a bust, unfortunately. It's a shame. It's a shame. So we're going to need more propane either way. So, I mean, we could probably look at in these... We may stay down here a night and then look at these the next day, possibly. I don't know how busy it's going to be down here, but that is the job for tomorrow. What I want to do for the rest of the day is I'm looking at older Peter's hair and, well, it's looking a bit unruly. Can we do something about it? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Look at them luscious, glorious locks. We can actually shave his hair. Shall we do it? Let's do it. <laughs> We're doing it. Oh, wow. Okay, I like that. I like that. I do like that. <laughs> we look very uh, menacing, very hardened to the apocalypse, I'd say. Why have we got loads of aluminium on us? Probably, well, it's from the TVs, isn't it? Aluminum or aluminium? Aluminium. Let me know in the comments. Mm, you know what we'll do for the rest of the day, actually? What we will do, we'll go and get, from the petrol station, we'll go and get one of the uh, big freezers, because I want to get a farm going, or at least some kind of sustainable food like fishing or something like that so we will go down and grab that in the new car with the uh with the hood protection we gotta watch out for this bloody trash can i might see if i can move that actually yeah get out of it you bastard you're not crashing my nice new car i like the car i mean i'm not too keen on the color but we've got a good working car which is you know an absolute win in my book all right, we got the goods. We got the goods. Let's get the hell out of here. We'll leave the car here because we're going out on it again tomorrow. So let's not risk banging it in these narrow hallways, this narrow uh, alley even. Um, where are we going to put it? Let's put it. Uh, yeah, let's put it there. I don't like it being that way, but it's fine. It's fine. Oh yeah, it's going to use electricity, but we we got. I mean, we got plenty, so. All right, it's half past 11. We're going to have a smoke and we're going to go to bed. And then tomorrow we're pushing down south. So we'll see you then. All right, day 43. We are up and Adam. Peter, you got a busy day. You got a busy day. We're going to go down to them houses just to have a little look around. Could be busy down there. We could be making a mistake. Let's have a quick look at our, our route. Let's plan our route out. So if we go all the way down here to our what third right and then go all the way to the end and then we're pretty much there um hmm, yeah okay let's uh i think it's it's, it's gonna be busy down here shouldn't be too bad so we kind of drew some of them or do we just go straight down that road i think we go straight down the main road there that's probably better um yeah so take a right at a gas station yeah okay yeah we're gonna do that we're gonna do that we need propane and we need a sack they are our goals and also potentially a little outpost down there if we need a little vacation from the city life we go to our outpost but i feel confident now that we have our uh our wagon with our nice protection on there um let's actually eat some food calories are dropping but we're okay oh okay okay we're here we're here but it's busy um i think maybe let's reverse it let's reverse it let's get out of here a little bit let's get back let's get back and then work our way down all right let's go to town baby Oh, okay. The machete has taken a bit of a beating. <laughs> probably should have... Oh, look at all these. Okay. Let's get the axe out. We probably should have brought us back at machete with us, but oh well. Maybe we check out the gas station as well, because it could have propane in there. I know in the UK, we do actually sell propane at gas stations, so maybe. Oh, a laundrette, though, for possibly dismantling stuff. No propane, unfortunately. Oh, well. Okay. Keep on going. Yeah, let's start heading down on foot. All right, this looks like a, uh, a nice house. It's got good protection. It's got the uh, boathouse out the back. We're going to have a quick look in the garage as well. Oh, yes, I forgot about... I bloody forgot about barbecues. That is nice. Got a nice little greenhouse out back here. Very nice. Nothing really worth uh, worth taking. We will take this propane torch, though. Happy days. All right, let's pop that in there so we got the space. Probably drive down a little bit now as well, I think. All right, let's see what uh, let's see what else we got here. We got a flamingo house. Nice, nice, nice. All 
All right, let's eat some chocolate. There's a little bit of a celebratory snack. Okay, so this is the building here. This is the one, I think. Mm, not the one I was thinking of, but we shall go and have a look in the garage. Both garages. Mm, nothing really in there. Mm, brilliant. Oh, God, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Oh, hell, oh, hell. God damn it. <laughs> oh, I really wanted that as an outpost. Of course, my look is gonna set an alarm off. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go back to base. All right, we are home. Not the most successful uh, endeavor, but at least we got a propane torch. We're gonna, a uh, propane tank. We're gonna refill both of these. There we go. Um, cause I think what we're going to do, how much is left in that now? Uh, quite a bit. Okay. So we've got enough. Um, we still also have, what are these? Are these pipes we have? What do we need to do more armor? Uh, so it's pipes and bars and screws. Okay. Mm. So we only really need stuff on our driver's side in case things get a little bit, uh, oh, actually I wouldn't mind. Oh, it's chains, isn't it? For, uh, for the tires. I remember from last time. Okay. Well, my plan is now, because we still need a sack. So I want to get a garden going. We will go back down there. Um, let's little, put a little, uh, we got a little zombie. Yeah, let's do, let's do this. There we go. Um, to say that is danger down there. Um, but I think, yeah, we need a sack. So I think maybe the, the place we go is going to work for two things. We go to this warehouse. There's got to be a sack in there, surely surely and also we can dismantle stuff which is going to increase our metal working then also give us pipes and bars to put on our car but that is a job for tomorrow i think we also need a new machete can we repair this yes we can let's get some duct tape all right so we actually put our pistol in the webbing until we need it maybe we keep all of that in there just till we need it so it saves us on our weight how are our calories 79 dropping okay we need antidepressants as well uh let's eat some cereal Having this plugged in, but we're not actually using it. Um, let's, there we go. We don't We don't need it plugged in yet. Let's check off your, we may as well fill it up with the rest of this gas while we're here. Oh, 7%, wow. What I think we'll do while we're down that way is maybe fill up all of our uh, jerry cans anyway. Let's pop them all in the trunk. All right, it's 20 past 11. We're gonna have this smoke. We're gonna get a burn tomorrow. We are going down to the warehouse. So we'll uh, see you then. Okay, day 44, we are Going down to the factory, hopefully find what we need, hopefully do some dismantling. What is our metal working? Do we need to read the book? Um, oh, we do, we do, okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to read the book, you know. It's, yeah, because we're gonna be doing a lot of dismantling down there. Ah, back upstairs, back to our balcony. That's what we're doing. And maybe I might look at putting a door in here as well on the balcony. Make it a little bit easier, wouldn't it? Instead of climbing through bloody windows. Yeah, we got sledgy. That's what we're gonna do at some point as well. We're gonna expand this. It looks like we're reading today. Base day. Oh, yes. All right. So we just finished metal working. That's good. That's all taken care of for tomorrow. See, it's 20 to 8 now. So, yeah, I don't think we'll be doing anything for the rest of the day. What is... Oh, God, we've got bloody guns here. Let's take them. <laughs> uh, oh, and more. <laughs> Brilliant. All right. It is 10 past 11. We're going to go to bed. And then tomorrow we will actually get down to that factory. We'll uh, see you in the morning. All right, day 45, up and Adam straight to business today. We're worried about our calories. We need antidepressants. Hmm, pharmacy. Yeah, we're going to have to go to a... I think I saw one somewhere. Oh, it was on the death road. I don't really fancy going down there. Maybe we could actually get away with eating these. Let's do it, and then we'll uh, we'll just hang around outside. Yeah, we're a little bit sad. Uh, we could always drink, I suppose. <laughs> drink the pain away. Calories are going up, which is fine, so let's let's uh let's get down to that factory yeah antidepressants have uh, been hard to come by haven't they this run all right let's get to it oh we have found a load of uh sweets that take our unhappiness away <laughs> yeah we'll uh, we'll take them there we go look at that who needs antidepressants when you got sweets it's actually quite a viable uh viable option we'll take them yeah that could work even pop does it as well yeah we'll have them right let's look for a sack there was i think a gardening um one around here somewhere okay so it's metal bars we get from this ideally we need pipes but we can dismantle baths for that so that's fine we're out of propane already have we not got a spare in our no okay well 
There we go. Looks like that's all the dismantling we're doing. Ah, gravel bag. Gravel bag. Get rid of the sandbags and give me the sacks. Oh, and a shovel. Look at that. Then we can get our, uh, we can get our dirt while we're here. Okay, we got two dirt bags. <laughs> Amazing. Let's, um, mm, yeah, let's keep the shovel. All right, what we're going to do is actually leave the car here because we do, we are going to need a bit more wood. So that's the plan, and we'll come back tomorrow and grab the wood, I think. All right, home sweet home. We'll drop the, uh, drop the dirt off. Let's actually fill these propane torches up while we are here. Probably not going to uh, need them on us. Um, oh, and also all these bars and stuff. Now oh, bars, there you go. Oh, yeah, no, because we want pipes, don't we? We want pipes, so we're going to have to... Uh, Go and do a little bit of dismantling in the uh, in the houses here. Where the hell's the mask? Sure, I'm sure I took that off. I might just be. Oh, there it is. Uh -huh. All right, let's dump the old uh, dirt bags off there. That's fine. We could actually dismantle the. Uh, no, no, no. I want to keep that. Ah, uh, or do I? Do I want to make it wider so I don't? Yeah, I do. I want to make it wider. Oh, I can't dismantle that because we have to be around the other side. That's fine. So we'll go out one, so we don't risk jumping over the fence when we go in and out the door. And then we'll also go around as well. So that's fine. That's fine. Axes are coming on. Two and a half. Nearly as long uh, as good as short blunt. Do we get an XP boost for short blunt? I can't remember. No, we don't. Okay. I knew you was there, you bastard. We didn't fill the gas cans, did we? Okay, that's a job for tomorrow. All right, it is 10 to 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We need to fill up them gas cans and get the wood and hopefully do some improvements. But uh, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 46. Oh, we got rain. We got rain. It's a shame our crops aren't ready to go now. Right, let's... Uh, hopefully this storm lasts. Let's crack right on. Let's go get some wood, I think. We're not going too far from base today, so we don't really need to worry about food or canteens or anything like that. God, this is an awful storm. Look at it. Look how dark it is. Jeez. All right, we got 10 logs. I think that'll be okay. But we can probably have space to go and fill our jerry cans up as well. All right, we got them all filled. I think we'll be okay just carrying them. We are very overweight, but... Oh, let's turn the, uh, the old Jenny off. God damn, this storm is bad. All right, we are home. Sweet home. We're going to build a crate for that as well now that we've got plenty of wood. Let's get all these down. There we go. We got all of our fuel tanks there. Nice, nice, nice. Right, let's go get rid of some of this stuff. We're going to have some, uh, we're going to eat something like, um, black beans as well or something. Just to bump our weight up and then we're going to finish it off with some, uh, with some pop. And we don't really, oh, pasta. Yeah, pasta will do. Get a pasta in your boy. This will be our, our happy food place. To get rid of the propane torch and that for now. All right, so we've done our floor. It has stopped raining. Let's just see how much dirt bag we got, shall we? Mm, pour dirt on the floor. So you want them separated. So if we start here, yeah, let's see how we get on. We may have to expand out here a little bit as well. Yeah, we're going to have to go one more along, aren't we? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We're doing improvements. We're doing improvements. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right, so we got rain again, which is bloody good. All right, that'll do for now. Let's get the old dirt bag. Yeah, I think six will probably do it, you know. All right, let's go grab a drink. Uh, we can actually drop the shovel here. We will keep it here. Let's go get a drink, um, have a smoke, and... Oh, we got a worm. We'll get our seeds while we're down here. Oh, God damn it! we got gasoline in one of them. Jesus Christ. Oh, refill the lighters and then refill it with water. Jesus Christ. Now, I think we do have cap... Yes, here we go. Here we go. This is it. We've entered the end game, boys. And this time, we're not going to eat Horace. Maybe this is Horace's brother. Where can we put him? Where can we put him? Let's put you on the sofa there, buddy. With, uh, with your friend now. There we go. Let me know in the comments what we're going to call him. Horace's brother and Horace's brother too, maybe. All right, let's get these seeds sowing. Maybe Peter just lives out the rest of his days as a, a rooftop farmer or the balcony farmer of Louisville. Yeah, it's doable. It's not a bad life, to be honest. Right, let's build some uh, some safety gear as well. Just over here. That'll, that'll do us. Right. No rest for the wicked. We need some happy food. Ah, oh, look how much better that looks. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Okay, let's get our doorknob and door handle there. We may need more wood. Um, do we have... We have more in there. Yeah, there we go. That should be just be perfect. All right, so let's drop these down here. We'll also uh, where the hell are all our logs? There we go. 
Oh, I do like our little area out here. Now, look at it. We're going to move these uh, dirt bags, though. Let's just place them down here. Yeah, there we go. Like that. Let's make it look a little bit uh, aesthetically pleasing. Maybe we put the shovel on top. Uh, or underneath. <laughs> that that works, too. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, we got a... We're nearly self-sustaining. We just got to... Oh, maybe we go on the... No, we don't. Well, we could go on the roof, you know. Get another rain collector. But I think this is going to be fine. Oh, the storm is raging. Oh, we don't have a lighter. What? I swear I filled up my lighters with that gas. Oh, I didn't bloody throw them on the... Oh, I, don't, I hope I haven't thrown them on the floor. I know I did go over to a house over here. There they are. Come on, you bastards, to drop some wood scraps. Jesus, nearly. Let's favourite them. All right, so it's 20 past 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We are going to fix our door. Uh, maybe smash open this area a little bit. Um, yeah, fix the door and then also get some pipes. So busy, busy day. We'll see you in the morning. All right, day 47. It's still storming outside, which is good. It's good for the old crops. Very good indeed, actually. Right, let's get on. We're going to build this door, aren't we? We need the sledgehammer. Now, I do tend to get a little bit sledge-happy <laughs> when I'm uh, sledging around, but uh, we'll we'll see. We'll see. There we go. There we go. Hmm. Let's look at <laughs> let's look at smashing through here, shall we? Ah, uh, we do have a light there, but we can definitely smash through here. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. All right, let's actually put the sledgehammer back in the car before I forget. Good to keep the sledge in the car. You never know when you're going to need it. When you're going to find a gun saw or something like that. Right, so let's build. Uh, where are doors? Doors, let's build. No, we want a door frame. Thank you very much. And a wooden door. There we go. Look at that. Ah, oh, no climbing. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I do not like that. Mm. Oh, no, that is that is hideous. Right, let's let's get the sledgehammer back. Right, let's destroy. Destroy. Yep, destroy that. Okay, that's, uh, how is that looking? Yeah, that's, that's better. That is better. Maybe we destroy all of it. No, I destroyed my window. No, no. Ah, oh, no, not the rain collector. Jesus. God. God. All right. Well, mm, okay. We, we need a new window. <laughs> um, right. Okay. Well, what we'll do is the rest of the day, I'm going to go around looking for pipes anyway. Um, dismantling bathtubs. And I think we do have a crowbar. So I should be able to jimmy a window out. Maybe. Do think you need a certain skill level, but I'm not entirely sure what it is. Let's try it on this window here. Um, can we pick this pick up, isn't it? Yeah, window, crowbar. Oh, carpentry. Okay, we should be able to uh, easily get this then. Yep, there we go. Lovely, lovely stuff. Let's go pop it in quick. Yeah, always be careful when crowbar. And I can't believe we nearly destroyed our rain collector. There we go. There we go. We don't really need a... Uh, we should probably put a sheet on. Do we block this wall off or... No, we're coming in out here. Maybe put a door there at some point. Right, let's go get some pipes for the rest of today. Hopefully. Also going to increase our metal working as well. I mean, we're at, well, a quarter through, so can you get pipes from toilets? Maybe, but we wasn't lucky that time. Oh, we, what we will do, actually. How many bandages do we have? To, oh, we got two. That's fine. That's fine. We do have our bandage still on us, but that's fine. We'll keep it on. Adds to, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a badge of honor. Oh, we do have some antidepressants. Amazing. All right, so we're out of propane. We have got, well, probably another quarter of a level, but we do have now nine pipes. So we should, oh, if I can get out of here, we should be able to put some more protection on the car. See, one more level in metalwork, and we can put um, sheets on there, but I think bars are going to be okay. So I want trunk and window. That's what I want. So we're going to need screws. All right, so we've got the protection on the window. Do we have enough to get it on the trunk? Enough resources? Yes, we do. Perfect. Perfect. All right. We are good. We are good. We are good. How is the car looking in general? Can we repair anything? Maybe these brake pads? Ah, oh, we can do. Mm, do we need to? Hmm. Yeah, probably, uh, I'm gonna say yeah. 
And also do the suspension as well. We may as well. Oh, look at that. Look at that. She is good. 60%. She's a good older. She's a good runner now. Well, right, let's go and have a look at our, uh, our new farm slash balcony slash power plant. Oh, so much easier with the door. All right. It is 10 to 12. We're going to get a bed. Do we need food? Mm, probably okay. We're on two Chevys. Right. Well, oh, I keep forgetting we got the little... Uh, the little entrance here. Right, we're going to go to bed tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to go and try and push back on down to here for our potential new outpost. Um, but we'll uh, see you in the morning. All right, day 48. Right back into it. We're going to eat some. Oh, we got all these metal pipes we need to get rid of. Um, we're going to have have a cigarette, have some uh, have some food, and then we're going to go. We're going to go down to the uh, to where the alarm went. The potential outpost. It's going to be a. Uh, Probably going to be busy down there because of the alarm from a few days ago. Um, let's take some more smokes. We are chaining through these cigarettes. We do have a hell of a lot of them, though, so it doesn't really matter. Right, let's let's crack on. Mm, I'm sure we did fill this up, and it's a half a tank, so I'm guessing the fuel does leak if the uh, fuel tank isn't in the best condition. I had read somewhere that's a thing, but I never knew if it was. But, uh, yeah, so maybe we look at repairing that next. Oh, Lord, there is a lot of them now. Look at them all now. Oh, it's safe down here by the looks. All right, let's get him a shave. Let's deal with these bastards. Okay, I think we uh, we got a lot of them. Let's have a little peek. Um, yeah, okay. Well, let's have a look around the house. Yeah, we got some out of the back. Come on then, let's have ya. Oh, look at this. Look at this lovely bench we've got. Nice fishing spot, actually. Look at that. Oh, what a view. What a view. <laughs> this is a fancy house. We're, uh, we're clearing upstairs out. We've done half, but it seems fairly clear. I know, I know, famous uh, last words in Zomboid, but it does. Uh, oh, he had some, uh, some shotguns here. Mm, we'll take the 308s. Yeah, so the house is uh, is clear. Nice, nice. All right, so it's 20 to 11. We are actually going to stay the night here. And we're also going to mark it uh, on the map. -ish. Let's just have a look. Can we erase some of these? Yes, we can. Okay, so let's get rid of them. Um, because what we want to do is actually put this down as... A little house. There we go. So we got a little backup base, a little outpost. I like it. I like it. Could it even be? Oh, where's the military checkpoint here? Ah, I mean, it's possible we could end up down there. Maybe we check out this building as well. Uh, but we're going to get a bed. To, what food we got in the in the old gaff here? Anyway, anything good? A lot of rotten stuff. Mm. Um, can peaches. All right. Well, let's get a bed. Um, tomorrow we're gonna just we're gonna stay around here, but we're gonna push up north and try and clear that road out. I think, but uh, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day forty nine in the outpost. Wow, and I've realised uh, we still have all of these bars on us, so we're gonna drop them off in the car. Let's fill up our water. Yeah, so today we're just gonna clear, I suppose, around the outpost. Oh, we got a uh, we got a visitor already. Get out of here! Oh, it's foggy as well. That's not good. That's not good. But. We're not going too far. We're just going to have go, uh, go up north a little bit. God, we are an animal with the axe now. Whew, okay, okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right, so we've made it back up to the uh, gas station. We have been fighting most of the day. We're probably going to get tired soon. So we're going to see how many we can uh, take out and then probably head back to the outpost. Doesn't actually look like there's that many, to be fair. All right, it's 20 to 5. Let's head back to the outpost. We don't want to push it. All right, home. Well, home sweet home, I suppose. It's an outpost. It's... It's not the most secure, but it'll do, it'll do. All right, it is 11 o'clock. We're going to have a smoke, maybe have a little bite to eat, and then, actually, how are our calories? 81, hmm. Let's eat the spag ball, I think. There we go, but off to bed, and we'll uh, see you in the morning. Day 50, wow. Oh, gun case, what we got in there? 
Uh, 45s, we'll take them. But yeah, off to bed. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 50. We are halfway through the 100 days. Wow. Not going to do a lot today. Probably just secure the area a little bit more. See if uh, any have drifted on over like these bastards. Uh, we're going to stay here today as well, I think. Oh, we got a few down here we should probably deal with. All right, but it's uh, it's 20 to 11. We don't really do anything on a 10th day anyway, do we? So that'll probably be all for today. All right, it is day 51. We are at the outpost. We've got a few things to do over the next 10 days. The first thing I want to do is actually, I want to go down and find, let me just pause that quick. I want to go down and find the house that's got the big double garage because there may be some propane in there. I think I want to grab and then and then I think we're probably going to head back to base so that's the mission for today let's push down this main street so let's just crack up right on with it our weapons are looking a bit worse for wear we do have the baton so that should be fine oh no the axe the axe is gone not the splitting axe do we have anything no let's use the baton Oh, there's a few of them down here. Might have to be machete, actually. <laughs> All right, so there's the building we're trying to get to. All right, so I think we've cleared a lot of it out. This is a nice place. Maybe we're going to use this as the outpost. <laughs> this is where I originally wanted to come. I mean, this building alone would be a nice little, uh, nice little base, wouldn't it? Maybe we look at, uh, ah, it's got all them doors though, which could be quite, uh, well, more, do more harm than good. Even got a pool table and a bloody jukebox up here. Nice. All right, well, we've cleared it out. Let's, uh, let's head back to the car, I think, and head home for the day. Yeah, it's a nice little location, this, but I think we're going to have the double garage one when we do actually have a house post. And also, that's going to be closer. To the military checkpoint so if we decide to go down there it's a lot closer all right we are home but we have uh, a guest waiting for us hello there sir not today thank you no loiterers all right so let's get inside let's sort our weapons out because this axe well we need a good axe do we have any wood glue yes we do let's repair it and i think we're actually going to take another splitting axe on our belt these aren't in the best condition but we'll get rid of the nightstick I also take another machete as well. All right, we are kitted. I can hear a zombie. Oh, yeah, there we go. Get out of it, you bastard. Let's have a little look at our crops. Oh, they're coming on. They're coming on. Nice, nice. All right, but it's uh, half past 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. I think we're going to go back down and look at the police station on the uh, on the high street there and in, in the town. Maybe even take the rifle down there, but we'll see. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 52. We are, we're looking good. We're looking good. We're probably going to need to uh, eat a quarter of this cereal. Right, let's take the rifle. Let's let's take it with us. I don't know if we are actually going to use it. We don't have a lot of rounds, but that's fine. I think we got some in a bag somewhere, haven't we? Yeah, 308. Also got the 9 mil as well. But yeah, let's uh, let's push on down into that police station. We may be able to get some more. Oh, the fog, the fog. Hmm. Don't really want to go shooting guns down on the high street with fog. Let's see if it passes. All right, so it has passed a little bit later in the day, so we're probably not going to get all that we wanted to do today done, but we don't have to waste the whole day. All right, let's get the rifle. Let's, um, yeah, let's get shooting. Oh god, they're coming from behind. Oh, we don't have our mags filled. Oh, and we got our pay name in. Nice. Oh, Jesus. Let's retreat, let's retreat. Oh god, oh god, oh god. It's not get tired because we're going to have to hop the fence. Oh my god, they're, they're attacking the base. Oh god, oh god. Oh, and we're tired, and we're tired. This is not a good idea, this is not a good idea. Get in the car, get in the car. We're going to the outpost. 
We gotta go to the outpost. Good God. <laughs> abort, abort. God damn it, it's too late in the day. We shouldn't have shot too close to our base. Ah, oh dear, okay. Let's get to the outpost, we'll rest for the night, and then we'll come back and just melee, I think. That was a bad idea. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. All right, we're at the outpost. <laughs> Let's sort our mags out, shall we? Oh, you know what it was? We only picked up one M14 magazine. <laughs> Amateur. Well, at least we got a level in aiming from it all. <laughs> all right, it's 10 past 11. We're going to see if there's any kind of... Uh, we got peaches. That'll be fine. Just seeing if there's any kind of food kicking around. And then tomorrow... Well, we got to take back our... we got to take back the base. But we're going to hit the hay and we will see you in the morning. Right, day 53. Let's get some food in us so we're a little bit stronger. Um, hasn't really done a lot, a quarter of a box of cereal, but let's eat these peaches as well. Right, let's push on up. <laughs> let's, let's reclaim our base. All right, we are just outside our base. We're going to park up here, so I want to go on foot and slowly, slowly take them out. Um, yeah, this is going to be fun. Okay, okay, there's a few, there's a few. Oh, they're all in that house as well. Let's open the door for him. Come on, then. Get away from my base, you bastards. Oh, there's a few of them around here. Oh, God, there's some loads. Come on, you bastards. Ah, they smashed my door down. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Oh, hey, lady. Come on, lady, stop messing around. We might be able to put a metal door in. Oh, what's it like in here? Oh, nimble up. I'll take that. Okay, we're all right inside. That's good, that's good. Just our door. I can hear him banging around at some door. Oh, God, I didn't even see this guy. Well, that was, uh, that was something all right. <laughs> My lord, okay. Well, they've smashed a plank off of my window. <sighs> All right, we're gonna need some planks to, uh, I think we've we've raided the places for planks. Let's get some planks, try to, and then we can fit a door. Whoa, Jesus. Okay, lady, come on, outside, outside, come on. Oh, there we go, we have a door. <laughs> I don't know how, um, have we got any more planks? No. Hmm. Oh, we actually, we got one around here, aren't we? Let's get another plank on our window. All right, we're a little bit safer, which is good, 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 good. Oh, what a bloody day. Jeez. That just shows you're never safe in Louisville. Well, to be fair, you shouldn't really be shooting guns off on the high street at Louisville near your base. So that'll uh, serve me right, to be honest. God damn it. Oh, not even on our door. This, this lady over here. Hey. Oh my god. Did you see that? That could have been... Oh god. I'm being too risky. I'm being too risky. My lord. Let's get that close. See you later. Oh, now you want to come. Alright, so we got a problem. We're a little bit low on 9mm ammo. Um, so we're probably going to... Yeah, we're going to need to change to a different gun, don't we? It's going to have to be the 1911. The only problem is they don't have a high... They're so low, the magazine count on them. You need to have like 10 magazines of you. All right, let's actually take these upstairs as when we go, because we are going to have to fill the Jenny up soon. There are our bloody mags for our M14. All right, there we go. The Jenny's full. The, the plants are, the cabbage is coming on. It is. It's getting there. It's getting there. All right, it's 20 past 11. Probably going to get to bed soon. We're, uh, yeah, we've, what a day we've had. Look at all of these bloody zombies. Wow. Good job we had the outpost, it really is. So, yeah, I'm happy we did end up going down that way. But we're going to go to bed tomorrow. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We do need a bowl for when the cabbage is done for our lovely, lovely cabbage salad. And we also want to get in that police station. But uh, I'll decide in the morning. So we'll see you then. All right. Day 54. Wow, what a day yesterday. Wow. I think what we're going to do... We're going to go hunting for a bowl today. <laughs> Nothing too crazy after yesterday. I need a little uh, need a little rest from that. Um, but, yeah, we're going to look for a bowl. Do we have one in our... 
at home. I don't think we do. We'll find a bowl for when our cabbage is ready. Oh, we got a bit of rotten ham. Mmm, tasty. Um, yeah, so we'll look for a uh, we'll look for a bowl. Bit of a chilled one today. If you remember, oh, straight away an empty bowl. Amazing. Okay, well that's that done. Um, if you, yeah, I was going to say if you remember back the very very early series of mine, the uh, Rosewood to Louisville, we was hunting around for a bowl. Ah, oh, for me, maybe for about three days. Uh, back then, that would have been three episodes. Jeez. Let's go and have a little look around the area. Just secure it, being as we found a bowl straight away. Now, uh, we got a few kicking around. Nothing, nothing, uh, El Peter can't handle. Ah, oh, leveling axe. Thank you. Level three. Get in. Still a fair few of the bastards hanging around. Oh, is that a pipe? Oh, it's probably a broken one, isn't it? Okay, there's a few more up here. Let's uh, deal with these bastards. Ah, oh, the axe. The axe is gone. Right, we'll go get our car, because what we'll do is when we do go to the police station, we'll drive down in case we find some lovely, lovely loot. Oh, the gas tank is repaired. Or oh, it is full. Maybe, oh, is the fire engine at low gas? Oh, we do need to fill this up then. Um, also, our tyres are not looking too good. But what can we actually repair them with? Uh, okay. Hmm. Probably best to just change it. Hmm, just thinking. Do we put a... Oh, we need welding rods. I was going to say, do we put a... Uh, a uh, metal fence on our back door, but we don't have welding rods. All right, it's 12 o'clock. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We push into the police station and see what lovely, lovely loot we can get in there. So we'll see you in the morning. All right, it's day 55. We're looking good. Our weight is dropping, so we're going to have to try and find something with a good amount of calories in. Um... We're not that looking that good on food, really, are we? Not at all. We don't even have any si Uh what the hell? Get out of Oh my god. Whoa, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Gee, I thought we was done. I thought we was over. I thought we was over. That's why you shouldn't bloody do stupid things like that. Oh, god. Bloody hell. I, I, I thought we was gone. I thought we were gone. Oh, my heart, my heart. Can't take this. It can't take this. I'm thinking maybe we build some kind of security wall. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, as I was saying, we, we don't really have a lot of food. Um, No, we don't. Uh, let's have a granola bar. Let's have two granola bars. Yeah, let's eat some dried chickpeas. All right, let's head down to the police station then. Let's do it before we end up dying at our base. A little bit busy down here. Nothing we can't handle though. God, there is still a lot of them in this bloody police station. Right, is that all of them? No. We got a lady here with no top on. Oh, God, here they come, here they come. Ah, oh, Spiffo! Spiffo! But also take that splitting axe. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, the Spitfire suit. Isn't that like one of the rarest um, rarest items in the game? Let's take it. What condition is it in? Not in the best. Okay. Tell me where the tail. Um, yes, but it doesn't actually show up. Okay, well, this is coming back to our base. Absolutely. I think we may have just completed the game. Oh, and this is the, uh, the nude reporter outfit, isn't it, actually? I think that's pretty rare as well, but that's the second one we've seen in the police station, so I don't know. Well, what we're going to do, I think... Well, I know what I do want to do. We're going to get this spiffo out. Um, so I'm going to actually take a mannequin, which is quite good because there's a bog of clothes here. Get rid of all of that. Oh, maybe we put the aviators on. Get them on. Get them on, Peter. Ah, oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Let's take the mannequin. Yeah, we're very overweight. But let's get back to the car. Let's go home. Let's go home. Actually, I was going to say we'll leave the car here, but not when we're carrying this, the mannequin with us. 
Uh, so Spiffo is going to be our watchman. So any problems, Spiffy, and you let us know. Let's, uh, how does this work then? Oh, oh. Um, the axe wasn't, wasn't too good to Spiffo. <laughs> um, okay, well, there's someone, I suppose. He's also got no hat. But that's fine, that's fine. We got a, we got a friend, we got a friend. Pro crops are looking pretty good as well. Yeah, another fairly productive day. We're making our way through that police station. I, I bet there'll be no guns in there, but it's it's worth a go. What magazines we got? Uh, okay, let's finish these off for the rest of the day. All right, but it is uh, 20 to 12, so we're going to go to bed, and uh, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 57. I did actually forget to hit record on day 56. So what we did... Ah, that's a bit annoying, but we didn't do a lot. We stayed around base. I built up an escape rope here to uh because what seems to be happening this door is broken through so the zombies are coming and smashing this door so what i did is i metal sheeted that up now with that they've already broken one metal sheet so we've added this escape rope to get out we've had some added some bunny ears to spiffo but they're just coming they ki keep coming we've got sh emergency sheets up here we've also metaled metal sheeted the inside but what i'm thinking we're gonna have to do um hmm. yeah so secure this side what we're gonna have to do is probably build a little uh a little wall i think oh come on climb up the bloody rope well yeah what we're gonna have to do is build a wall to block them coming in that's another line of defense but maybe we just go and kill some and also our cabbage is it looks like it's ready to be uh ready to be harvested but where's she going but we like to wait till it's seed bearing mm, what i think we do we we go and see where all these zombies are coming from it's obviously the generator that's attracting them oh look there's some on the main high street okay let's deal with them oh and through over here as well Yeah, I think... I thought there was a zombie on our balcony then. <laughs> oh, Spiffo. Um, yeah, I don't don't know what the plan is here. Do we build a wall? I'd like to build metal fences, but we don't have welding rods. Um, hmm. Okay, let's leave it how it is for now. If they break the door down again, we'll build fences. Uh, we'll build a wall. Okay, but what we are going to do, we are a bit low on food and also calories. So, we're going to head into town with the car. Look at this. Look at this lady. Come on, what are you doing? Come on. Not enough for you zombies now coming around my base. Um, yeah, what we're going to do is go and... Oh, I've got bloody free planks on me here. Why? Why have I got free planks? I don't even know what that's for. Uh, let's put them down there. Let's, yeah, as I said, let's go and hunt for some food. I mean, we could look in these houses, maybe. Oh, that's nice. Peanut butter and jam. They are, well, peanut butter is a high-calorie food, so that's good. And it doesn't make you sad. <gasps> more more peanut butter, yes, please. Yeah, look at that, 2,660 calorie, yes, please. And we're actually going to eat the other one as well, because why the hell not? Oh god, look at all of these zombies. Uh, I wanted to go a little bit further away from base, down here to see these shots, but there's so many zombies around. Well, that's Louisville for you, isn't it, I suppose? Right, let's go back to our uh, original plan of clearing this road, and then we can hopefully get a little bit down. But this is all government buildings, the blue, so... But then, to be fair, the, our cabbage is nearly done, and then we're going to be fine for food. Oh no, the axe, the axe. Oh, we got a headhunter here. Do we want her rifle? Um, four to twelve times. Uh, what does her rifle take? M14. Oh, okay. Mm. Now we will take that bread though. All right, let's try and push down a little bit and clear out as we go. Hmm, what have we got down here? Not a lot by the looks of it. This looks like it's going to be a church. Not really what we wanted. Guessing this is the court, yeah. 
Okay, so this is the front of the police station. It's a big old building. We have a hell of a lot of zombies. I can't remember what this, this building down to the east is. Hmm. Oh, so we've nearly done a loop of it. We've killing we're killing quite a few. God, there is a lot around. A hell of a lot. Jesus. And now we're tired. And our axe is broke. Brilliant. Okay, let's uh let's head back. All right, let's go back to base, I think. We're probably going to start getting tired. We will have a quick look in this uh, little off-light in the convenience store. Oh, there's quite a few bits in here. I thought we'd done this. I uh, guess not. A lot of junk food. That's what we need. That's what we need. Also, two freezers if we wanted them as well. That's interesting. Uh, let's leave the car here. It's fine. We're only down the... We're only at the road here. Okay, our rope's still there. Let's see if our back door's still there. There's another zombie coming in now. Oh, so we got one Chevy gaining weight. Let's, uh, oh, we can't eat anything else. That's fine. Let's dump this food off. Hopefully the cabbage. I mean, the cabbage is ready if we completely run out, but I do want to um, wait till it's seed bearing. Also repair some of these bloody axes as well. Do we have any more wood glue? Yes, we do. Don't have to use duct tape. We've run out of wood glue. That's fine, though. Oh, it's not ideal. We all well, let's have a look at whatever weapons we're looking like. Um, hmm, not not amazing. I we got a couple of hatches. Oh, we got some machetes. We got some big old axes if we need to. Uh, maybe we actually put one of them on our weapon slot just in case. Ah, it just put us over weight though. Now we should be fine without it. All right, it's twenty past one. There is a zombie banging on our door down there, but we're too tired. We're going to bed. We'll deal with that tomorrow. We'll see you then. Ah, we've woken up on day fifty-eight and ten past two because that bloody zombie. Um, okay, let's. We are still tired. Let's go down, try and kill him, and then hopefully we can go back to sleep. Is there one in here? No. Where is he? Where the hell is he? Ah, is there? Jesus Christ. My God. When will it end? All right, looks like we can go back to sleep. We'll see you uh, back in the morning. All right, we've woken back up at half past eight on day 58. Um, hmm. Cabbage still isn't there yet. What do we do? What do we do? Oh, thinking. Do we build... Do we build a fence, a wall around? Well, they're only going to break that down, aren't they? So, what's the point, really? Um, no, we'll leave it, we'll leave it. Let's keep on pushing down to the uh, police station, I think. Alright, so that looks like the, uh, the police station there. Do we have this fence, but... We got a couple of zombies coming down. We should be fine. There's another headhunter in there. Brilliant. Oh, that is a gate that they can break. What is that? That's just like a little field, isn't it? All right, let's uh, let's keep pushing. Okay, so we're pretty much to where we got to yesterday, but from the other side. Oh, okay. Well, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, hmm. Oh, what do we have here? Um, like maybe a VHS store? I kind of want to go in there. It's either going to be a TV store or a VHS store. It's got these, which makes me think, think it's a VHS, but then there's another VHS shelf. So I think it's an electrical store. Ah, oh, the axe has gone again. They're not lasting long, are they? And our maintenance is nearly level four. Five. Just want to see what's in here. Yeah, it's an electronic store. Okay, let's get out. Oh, that's enough excitement for me for one day. Let's uh, let's head back. Maybe, just maybe, our cabbage will be seed bearing. Yeah, I feel he's going to get tired soon because he woke up in the night. He went back to sleep. Oh, Peter, he's uh, you know, we should have packed some coffee. Ah, it's not seed bearing. That's annoying. That is annoying. 
Our door's still intact though, by the looks of it. For now, at least, anyway. Look at this. Look at this. We got another Joker coming over. Come on, you bastard. Let's have you. Where are you? Where are you? Where have you gone? Come on. Get over here. Jesus. All right, it's a little bit later than normal today. It's uh, 20 to 10 to 1. Jesus, you better get a bed, Peter. All right, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 59. Wow, we are. We're really getting through them, aren't we? Jeez. Oh, and we have seed bearing. We have seed. Oh, God, I can hear a scream. Um, we have seed bearing. Nice, nice. So let's harvest these. That sells it. It's going to be a base day today. We've got to fix our freezer up. We've got to replant the crops. We've got a lot to do. We got to Oh, I'm farming up. Nice. You stay away from my rope, you bastard. Right, let's dig some furrows while we're here. All right, seeds are sown. Let's drop this back there. Oh, it looks like we're keeping our seeds on the floor. Okay, that's uh, fine by me. Jesus, we have a lot of them. Uh, and we have 53 cabbage. Brilliant. Actually, let's see how many we can get in our freezer by our fridge. Let's get rid of this ham as well. Oh, we can actually put all 53 in there. Brilliant. Okay, that's fine. Let's chuck a couple in there. Where is our bowl? We have it. Let's create a salad. Look at that. Look at that. Hunger 36, first 15. A fresh cabbage salad. Get it in you. Oh, that's, that's what it's all about. We've also got another Horace. Let's uh, maybe Maurice. We can have there. We got all three of them. Nice. Um, let's go and see what that bastard zombie was doing out here, shall we? Let's move that. Oh, no. Here he is. Here he is. Come on in. Yeah, maybe if we just block... They seem to be coming from up here. Maybe if we just block this off. Maybe we block it off with... Can we pick these up? Let's have a look. Uh, we need a crowbar. Could we... That? Shall we try it? Let's try it. Okay. Okay. That's worked. Let's do it with the other one. Don't know if they can break down these uh, big dustbins. These, uh... oh yeah, big dustbins. <laughs> All right, okay. Well, it looks like that that has worked. We've blocked it off. <laughs> nice. Hopefully that'll stop so many of the bastards coming through now. All right, it's ten past twelve. Well, twenty past twelve now. We're gonna go to bed tomorrow. Whew, day sixty. Well, uh, we'll see you then. All right, day sixty. As always on the tenth day, we're not gonna do a lot. Oh, especially with this fog. What I do want to do is just go down and have a look, see if, uh, how the, uh, our new, uh, oh, actually, wait a minute. They can just get in through here, can't they? Uh, they don't, well, actually, no, we just need to stop them getting the door. We could actually block this off as well. With, um, with these trash, bag, uh, garbage, with these bins. Oh, yeah, we need a crowbar. Okay, that's the job for another day, I think. Could block that off and block, well, we could block here off. Or maybe even along there. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see how the uh, the zombie situation pans out. Oh yeah, another cabbage salad. Oh, that's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Oh yeah, look at that. Um, yeah, amazing. So we're probably not going to do anything for the rest of the day. To be fair. Okay, guys. Day is sixty-one. We got a uh, we got a lot to do. We got a lot to do. We haven't really explored a lot of Louisville, but you know what? That's fine. We're getting in this police station over the next ten days. That is, that's my goal. We're clearing it out. If that's the only thing we do, that's what we're doing. So, I suppose we'll just crack on. We are going to get some cabbage salad. Now, I do also think there are zombies. Uh, oh, we need to check on our uh, on our dustbin barricade as well. We're actually going to go around the back way because I saw some zombies coming in the fence area there. So, let's go have a look. Well, it looks like the bin, the bin strat is working, which is good. We'll probably block this off as well. Just to stop them coming around, which I think that lady did there. But, uh, yeah, let's let's get out of the police station. Let's scope it out again. All right, so we're back at, well, not the main entrance, but the entrance we've been clearing. There's a couple of zombies around. Let's, uh, let's deal with them. Oh, here they come. we got a boxer in here as well. <laughs> what? All right, looks like we got a few of them. Let's try and push in a little bit. Alright, well, there's the prison. Don't look too busy in there. Hmm, do we go upstairs? Ah, oh, let's do it. Let's have a look anyway. Okay, okay. More cells. We seem to have got a lot of the zombies by the looks of it. So I'm guessing this side is like the prison block then. Um, so I don't think they'd actually keep the guns over here. I don't know, to be honest with you. 
But maybe we try out the east side now as well. Jesus Christ, I gotta be careful and we got tired as well. I think we go around the other entrance to get in there, you know, draw them out in the open. Oh god, yeah, because there is a lot of them. God, this place really is massive. You know what, I think we actually get the gun out because then it'll attract them, draw them all to where, uh, where we are. We don't have a lot of ammo. Oh, to hell with it. Oh, God, look at them. Look at them all. Oh, no, we're not going to be able to get to the car. Ah, run, run, run. Okay, we've got a plan. I've got a plan. I've got a plan. We'll go home. Get in the car, get in the car, get in the car. Right, we're going to go home. Tomorrow, we're going to come down equipped with quite a few firearms and just stop blasting. The safest... Well, is it the safest? I don't know, but it's going to be the easiest way. Oh, nice. Reloading up. We'll take that. We could. <laughs> we could take the M60 down. Hmm. I don't know. It's going to have to be the M14. Is that in the truck? I don't actually know where it is. All right. So we're kitted. We got the M14. It was in the back of the car. We're going to take that down tomorrow. We got 418 rounds. This is probably our best bet. Our best weapon with the ammo we've got. Hopefully we can get some more in the police station. But yeah, we're, uh, I'm feeling pretty pretty positive. All right, but it's 20, 20 past 10. We're going to get about a little bit earlier today, so we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 62. We, uh, we've got to get some food. We've got to... Uh, what else we got to get? we got to have something else. Oh, cigarettes. We need cigarettes. And then we're just going to push straight on down there, I think. Oh my god, we've only got nine cabbage in the fridge. Oh lord, get some of that in there. Come on, you bastard. So our weight is dropping, so maybe we just have something with a... Yeah, let's let's uh, let's have some cereal. There we go, we're leveled, we've leveled. Right, let's uh, let's crack on. How many kills are we on? 2,596. Pretty, uh, pretty good game. Well, not really to say we're on day 62 in Louisville, to be honest. Um, that's, that's pretty poor. <laughs> But, I mean, you know, it's not always about killing zombies. It's about, you know, the friends you make along the way. And we, of course, have Spiffo. God post Spiffo. And it was all worth it just for that, I think. You know what? Let's get let's get the rifle out now. To hell with it. Hopefully from the last time we used the rifle, we've, we've drawn them all out from our rear. Okay, we're gonna have to <laughs> we're gonna have to retreat. Maybe we can get the axe actually. Oh lord, there is a uh... yeah. We've stirred the hornet's nest here, I think, haven't we? Ah, we're tired again. Jeez. Yeah, it's because we're carrying so much weight on us with all these bloody, with all the magazines and everything. What's in here? Are we safe in here? Oh, let's see some ketchup. Good for calories, actually. Maybe we shoot and then loop round. Maybe we try and trick them. Oh, Jesus, behind us. All right. Oy, oh, maybe not, maybe not. Oh, okay. Wow. Let's get over our... Uh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I think there's a hole. There's a gap there. No, oh, they've broken it. They've broken half of it. You bastards. No. Well, we've given the old slipperoo. Hmm. That is annoying. So I think we're probably going to hang around base for the rest of the day. And then maybe... Maybe go through with the melee just so we don't attract any more, possibly, along that high street. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll assess tomorrow. There are zombies banging around somewhere. I don't know where they are. Oh, well, there's a SWAT guy here. Hey, buddy. <laughs> ah, they're banging on our bloody... Oh, no, it's not our door. That's fine. All right, it's half past 11. We're going to hit the hay tomorrow. We're pushing back on the high street. We'll, uh, we'll see you then. All right, day 63. We are hungry. Um, we're going to need some calories. I think. Yeah, let's go eat some calorie stuff. We'll also get our lovely cabbage salad. There's a bloody zombie banging around somewhere, and he's winding me up, so we got to find him. 
Whoa, Jesus Christ. God damn it. Ah, what are we going to do about this door? I don't know. We're going to... Mm, I don't know. I don't want to go out there, to be honest. Let's get some cereal and then we'll go around the other side. Hmm. I'm thinking... Do we try and drive a car up there? <laughs> do we drive the fire truck up there? Could be done. Could be done. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. I mean, it's got no wheels, but um, hopefully we can get it to work. No, it needs the wheels. Okay, we can put wheels on. Oh, it doesn't have a brake pad. Oh, no. <laughs> can we put a broken brake pad on? Actually, let's put the propane truck up there. That works. That'll work. That'll work. I hope. Oh, well, we might not be able to get it up there. Doesn't actually fit, but maybe we can find something else to put up there. Alright, we've hot wired this. We've moved a bit of fuel over. We've got this old bloody ripper. Let's see if we can get that up there. Oh, oh, oh. We can, but we can't. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, we can get out there. That's good. That's good. Well, that's our. Uh, that's a Whoa! Jeez! Whoa! Bloody hell! Ah! Get back! Jesus Christ! Right, we need a doorknob and some more planks. Oh God! What a what a bloody it! What a day! Oh, there with the brake pad. The pad's brilliant. Cool, it is all going on today. Oh God! They can still get through. How? Oh, they'll be crawling, wouldn't they? Probably. And I can't put a door. Why can't I put a door there? So get rid of the hinge, maybe? Oh, it's because the car's there. Ah! Um, hmm. I don't really know what to do here. We don't really want an open door, do we? But then the car is safety. There's all this banging going on. Jesus Christ. Right, I've had enough of this. I've had enough. You know, let this smash all of our bloody barricade off. All right, so we've positioned the propane trick through the wall by the looks of it. Can you get through there? No. Okay, so let's block that off a little bit. We'll move the car up and then reapply a door, I think. I'm not even... I'm scared to go in my own house. All right, hopefully that'll hold a little bit. Jesus. All right, we have a door. Good. All right, let's see if these idiots can get through here. Oh, God, yeah, they can. Look. Ah, jeez. God, they crawl quite a lot now, don't they? Look at that. They're all crawling. wonder if they can crawl under two cars. Oh, God almighty. Jeez. Yeah, we're not using guns around the base anymore. <laughs> Yeah, it ain't safe around here no more. They're gonna go under? Mm, no, okay. Maybe it's just a, a chance I'll go under. Alright, so I've been watching these zombies all day, and it doesn't look like they're going under, so I'm guessing it's just a zombie has a chance, and then if it doesn't hit the chance, they can't go under? Maybe that's how it is? I don't know, I don't know, that's what we're going with anyway. But uh, anyway, it's 10 to 11, we're gonna go to bed tomorrow. <sighs> Well, we'll see how see what kind of condition downstairs is in. All right, it's ten to eight. We're uh, looking good. I've cleared a few out um, around here, but we're looking okay, you know. To be fair, looks like they've even moved on, or we've killed them. Let's have a little look downstairs. I mean, the door's held, which is good. We got these rotting corpses, which uh, is is never good. Outside is fine. I've dropped off our weapons here, just because. It's weighing us down, and that's why we're getting out of breath. Let's actually put um, them in the webbing as well. Just because I don't think it's a real a smart idea to be... Um, no, we can't fill them. Um, yeah, I don't think it's a, a smart idea to be using the gun around base. Um, yeah, it's it's, it's it's caused nothing but trouble so far. We need some ketchup to try and get our... Oh, we're on two Chevys. That's good, that's good. A little bit of depression for weight gain. Ah, oh, that's that's a fair trade. Okay, so the high street looks okay as well. 
Let's go down here. Oh, we got a bride down there. Let's, yeah, let's push down, see how we're looking down here. They just bloody come from everywhere. All right, let's start, yeah, let's start heading back up home, I think. We've, we've done a lap of the police station. What's this building here? Maybe we have a little peek in here. Mm, looks like some kind of court uh, courtroom as, as well. All right, we've done a loop. Yeah, it's, it's fairly clear. I mean, they're, they're just going to keep coming and coming, aren't they? Let's be honest. Now, it does look fairly clear around our base, which is uh, a positive. Absolutely. Ah, dear. What a what a mess. What a mess. All right, it's 11 o'clock. We're uh, well, we're gonna have a smoke. There's a zombie banging around somewhere. I just can't find him. I think he might be upstairs here. So we'll we'll do that tomorrow. But I think tomorrow, uh, as a generator, 13 days. Okay. So I think tomorrow is gonna be a base day. Yep. We need a we need a little break after all this excitement. But uh, yeah, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you then. All right. Day 65. We woke up a bit late today. 20 to nine. But we're gonna go clear that zombie. We're also gonna put some more barricades up on our. Uh, window let's go down is this gonna be risky uh we're okay have they smashed through here no okay okay we're making progress we're making progress hey buddy stop all the banging in there jesus christ you bastard all right so barricaded the door barricaded the window that should hold them for well i don't know a day or two maybe all right it's 10 past 12 we're gonna get a bed i'd say just a little bit of base work to that I can hear a zombie out there again um or is it just the generator i don't know but yeah a little bit of base work happy days happy days tomorrow i'm not too sure but we'll uh, we'll see you in the morning all right day 66 we're uh yeah we're uh we're getting through them we're getting through them i don't know what's uh waiting for us downstairs there is fog so we might not be doing anything today let's i can't hear any banging let's try the old uh door push oh yeah we barricaded it up didn't we <laughs> brilliant okay okay let's get some cabbage in us we're hungry we're hungry come on peter you deserve it after all this all this carnage the last few days oh no oh no we got stale cabbage this ain't good this ain't good yeah we got we got bad fog we got bad fog how is our weight 80 okay okay um yeah we might just wait around today to be honest, it's not a bad thing. We've had a hectic few days. Yeah, look at this. I ain't going out in this. I ain't going out in this. Oh, no. All right, so the fog's just cleared. Mm, yeah, and it's a bit late in the day. It's up early, so we're not going to uh, we're not gonna go out today. We're going to have a little sort out. I mean, I've got a machete that I keep meaning to get rid of, and also these magazines I've been picking up as well. All right, it is 10 past 12. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We are pushing back into the police station. We will get in there. See you in the morning. All right, day 67. Let's get ourselves some cabbage. Do we take the car down there? I feel today we're getting in there. We may, Maybe we take the car. Maybe we take the car, yeah. All right, we're full on cabbage. Let's just crack on and get down there, I think. All right, we are here. It looks fairly quiet, to be honest, which is good. We've done uh, we've done good work down here, clearing it out. There's still a couple of stragglers, but oh well. Okay, it's a lot quieter than it was. Oh, it doesn't look like there's anything in this building here. This is what looks like just the holding cell. So we'll try the one next door. Hopefully we can get uh, some good old loot in there. Well, this one looks more like a police station, doesn't it? With the desks and everything. It's just how busy is it in here? Well, we're in. Right, let's go upstairs. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're safe, we're safe, we're safe. Well, we got the locker, changing rooms. A um, hmm. few little bits in there, nothing we really need. We, we're pretty good on armor, to be honest. Oh, there's some out there. Let's, 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 let's crouch. Let's take it easy. Let's take it easy. Oh, my God, we found Santa. It ain't Christmas yet, Santa. Oh, no, we killed Santa. We killed Santa. No, Christmas is cancelled. You bastards. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. We got some in here. We got some in here. Mm, not really anything we need. We need 556 five, or a gun that shoots 762. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Alright, so we've looted it. We got, well, we got a carbine. Um, we don't have any 556, five, but I do now have 23 boxes of 9mm, which 
is pretty I'm pretty happy with that because now we can actually use a pistol with more than 37 bullets in a magazine so that's good that's good well we finally got in the police station <laughs> all right let's get out of here it was a successful successful run let's go let's go let's not risk it let's not risk it all right we're back home and let's put our 308 I've grabbed that from outside let's put it inside so we don't lose it or something ridiculous like that okay so the gun we went with is the good old glock i do like the glock we're going to use that we've got five magazines for it so that should be enough and we've got a lot of nine millimeter now as well so we'll see just realize you know what i think it is we're shooting the gun and we're shooting it over here still and then that's attract the generators then attracting the zombies that's what's happening so we are going to use the gun the glock but we're going to go a little bit further and maybe maybe over here just so and then we'll walk that road all right it's 10 to 11 we're gonna go to bed tomorrow we're pushing back down see you in the morning all right day 68 let's go get ourselves some cabbage salad and yeah we're going we're going to town we're literally going into town <laughs> we're gonna kill some zombies with a good old glock test it out see how uh, see how we get on with her all right let's go let's go okay here are our candidates we're not gonna shoot on that road if we retreat to that road we're not shooting that's the plan if it works, I don't know. We'll soon, uh, we'll soon find out. Okay, so far so good. Ah, oh, jams, Jesus. Whew, that was a, uh, that was a successful shooting. <laughs> Alright, okay, that was uh that was very successful. Wow, we didn't even really have to retreat that much on that one. We're making progress, we're making progress. Alright, we can kind of push on down a little bit more to see what these uh to see what these shops are along this high street now. Progress, baby, we're making it, we're making it. Okay, we got the city hall. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Now, do you know where there is another gun store? Let's have a quick look now. Um, so there is a gun store uh, here, I think, and there's also one here, but... Ah, you know what? We could do the old slingshot manoeuvre. Yeah, maybe, maybe we do. Maybe we do. We could base up at the motel. Yeah, we could slingshot around. Hmm. Maybe, yeah, that's that's the play, I think. That's the play. I don't know if there's any more on the high street here. We're going to need more guns, though. Oh, let's, let's, uh, let's ride them up, shall we? Sound? Oh, yeah, I was going to say the sound radius isn't really that, that uh, wide on this, but uh, it has drawn these over. That's fine, that's fine. What is our aiming skill? Yeah, we're probably not going to get to level 4, are we? And we're out of mag, so we're probably going to head back. See, we can axe a few of these bastards. Alright, so we're back at base. Home, sweet home. Um, we know what we're dealing with down there. It looks like the Glock is the way forward, so 9mm is key. And it's also a 17 round magazine, which is bloody amazing. Compared to like 7 on the 1911. <laughs> Cabbage is getting there. It's getting there. Let's have a, have a look. What's the uh, flourishing? Lovely, lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. All right, it's 20 past 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. It's probably going to be a base day. Probably is, but we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 69. Nice. Let's uh, go have some salad, some cabbage. Probably get some more 9 mil for when we do attempt to go to the other gun store. Oh, the cabbage is ready. Not seed bearing, but it is ready, which is nice. Let's give ourselves, let's give Peter a good old wash, shall we? Ah, oh, lovely. Look at that. Look at that. The backpack's still dirty for some reason. I don't know. We can actually see our uh, desert camo poots now as well. All right, it's ten past one. We're up a little bit later today. Time just flies when you're having fun. But we're going to hit the hay and we'll, uh, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 70. Day 70, yes. Yeah. So the reason I've had a couple of base days is I want to go to that gun store um, around here. The slingshot maneuver. That's what it's going to be. We're going to slingshot down here. I believe that's the motel. 
So let's pop that on. Uh, yeah, let's put that there. Um, and then we're going to go push up to here as well to this gun store. So we've got a bit of preparation to do. Let's get some cabbage in us because we are a little bit hungry. Just going to double check we've got the sledgehammer in the car as well. Because we're going to have to sledge. Imagine getting all the way down there and uh, we have no sledgehammer. Yeah, we got it. Let's get these pipes out of there. Oh, the bastards have broke my bloody crate down as well. You bastards. God damn it. Ugh. Probably the next 10 days we'll push down to that gun store. But as always, on a on a 10th day... Oh, cigarettes I want as well. But yeah, as always, on a 10th day, we don't really do a lot. We're kind of just prepping for... Well, to go down to that bloody gun store. I'm not looking forward to it. It should be worth it. Why is there an axe in with my um, tools? I don't know. Well, we'll move that. Where are you? Get in there, you bastard. All right. But yeah, we're probably not going to do anything for the rest of the day. All right, we are on day 71. Wow. So the mission for the next 10 days, we are going to get down to this gun store. So we're going to do the slingshot maneuver around here. It's, uh, yeah, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be interesting. I'm not looking forward to it. I won't lie. But I think first, though, these are probably nearly seed bearing. So I want to harvest these before we go because I feel we may be a few days down there. Um, so, yeah, I don't want them to die. So we're going to wait around for them. We're going to go around the uh, the area and secure it today. See what see what's, see what's going on. We will, of course, have some lovely, lovely cabbage salad. I think we're going to have to have some uh, high calorie stuff because we are on 77 and dropping. So, yeah, let's eat it. It's going to make us sad, but oh well, we'll have some, uh, we'll have some antidepressants. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Well, we're going to sort out a new crate, what the zombies destroyed. And also, we've got fog today. So, I'm not too bothered about not going down there today because I don't really want to be driving in the fog. There we go. Look at that. Back to normal. And we've got a plank spare as well. All right. So, it looks like the fog's cleared at around half past 12. So, we probably could have made it down there. But, as I say, I want to wait till these are seed bearing. And then, hopefully, we get some replanted as well while we are away. All right, so not a very eventful day. It's 20 past 12. We'll probably hang around again tomorrow. Just to see if, if, they, don't, if they don't go seed bearing by the end of uh, not tomorrow, the day after, then we'll, we'll just leave them and we'll get going. But we'll, uh, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 72. Let's go have a look. Doesn't look like the seed bearing just yet. That's fine. Let's have a little wander around. There's no fog today, so we'll, we'll have a little head on to the high streets. See if we can kill a couple of zombies. Being as we are just hanging around the base here. No, there is no zombies at all, really, is there? Finally, we got a bit of peace from the bastards. See if we can get some high calorie stuff from this uh this shop here, maybe. All right, so we got a bit. We got a few boxes of cereal. We got some lentils, some stuff like that. So that is good. That's what we wanted. We could always eat some sugar as well. Yeah, get it, in. get it in you, Peter. Oh, hello there. You know what? Actually, I'm thinking about it, and we've got bloody so many seeds anyway. We don't really need them to be. So we got 110 seeds. Let's just harvest them. The hell with it. Oh yes, 59 of the bad boys. All right, so we've got them in there. That's good. We've got we've got a hell of a lot of cabbage now, actually. Weight has leveled off, so let's eat some cereal. All right, we've re-sown the seeds. There's no rain, but a cabbage should probably be all right. Actually, let's go and see if we can have a look at the emergency broadcast to see what the weather is like tomorrow. All right, so we've got average temperatures. Yeah, maximum 21, maximum... Okay, clear skies. Hmm. Not really what we wanted. Well, it is for when we're driving. But, oh, tomorrow, here we go. This is the one. Let's have a look here. Mild wind. Clear skies. Okay. Oh, severe weather warning. Thunderstorms in three days. Wow, okay. Don't really want to be having to drive around. So we've got three days to get down there, get back up. <laughs> or we just wait it out down there. I don't know. All right, it is 12 o'clock. We're going to have a smoke and then we're going to go to bed. And then tomorrow, <laughs> yeah, we're pushing down there. We're pushing down there. We'll see you in the morning. All right, day 73, the day of reckoning. Let's grab some food, and then we're just going to crack straight on with it. Let's have a little bit of a... I'm thinking we may as well... Let's make some salads, and then we'll put the rest of it in the freezer, I think. Okay, let's put that in the freezer. That'll do. That'll do, pig. We've had one salad, and we've got a salad with us. Now, let's just double-check the map here. Okay, so... Yeah, yeah, we're going to go down here. Hmm... That's that's the first goal there, the motel. We've got to clear that out. Hopefully, it's not going to be too busy around there. But we will see. We will see. <laughs> oh, let's fill our water up as well, actually. 
All right, let's do it. Let's do it. We may need to get petrol as well. I'm not too sure. Let's have a look. Yeah, we'll fill her up before we go down there on the uh, on the excursion. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Keep forgetting our, uh, our old vans there as well. All right, she is full. And we have uh, stopped her putting it off. And let's just get on with it. Well, so far, so good. We've just gone past our outpost. So we're doing okay. It's starting to get a little bit busier now, though. Okay, we're going into the uh, into the slingshot manoeuvre. We've got to be careful of these... Uh, tr uh, like that. Trees on the side there. Got to be careful. Maybe slow down a little bit. Okay, we've got some wrecks here. Let's, let's be careful. Okay, we have nearly made it. Oh, there's that trailer there. Mm, I think that's a death sentence, to be honest. Let's go and see what the Zeds are like around here. Okay, okay, this could work, this could work. Let's turn the engine off. Let's get out, let's deal with them. All right, we got a lot of them. There's a couple of them left, a few stragglers. We can deal with them. Well, we got some new gloves, some nice green ones. I'll take them. Well, it's fairly clear. Again, there's a slight little horde up there I want to deal with so we don't get any uh, unex uh, unexpected surprises in the night. And we just got a level in Long Blade, which, where are you? Where are you? There we go. I will take that. Thank you very much. All right, let's go about clearing these rooms. I did see a zombie in one of them somewhere. I always like this little room here. It's a nice bit of, uh, you know, storytelling. Is there any zombies in there? Uh, oh, there's one coming up behind us, though. Um, yeah, there's blood in here. I really like that. Yeah, look at all this blood. It really is. Uh, let's close them curtains. Um, yeah, I like that. We will not be staying in there, though. All right, we have made it up. It looks fairly clear. There's a zombie banging on a door somewhere. All right, so I think we'll be staying in this room tonight. Let's have a look at the map very quickly. So we're here, and here are... Here's the gun store around here. Now, I feel this is going to be fairly busy, so it may take us a couple of days, but at least we have the motel fairly secured. All right, it's 12 o'clock. We're going to have a little cigarette before we go to bed. Uh, we're not going to eat, and tomorrow we will push up onto the gun store. Hopefully we're safe in here. We'll, uh, well, we'll soon find out. All right, day 74. Looks like we've got fog, so I'm going to hang around and let the fog clear. I don't really want to be going up there in the fog. Hopefully, because it's still early. What is it, 10 past 7? Hopefully the fog will clear as the day goes on. Let's have some of this uh, lovely cabbage salad while we're, while we're hanging around. There is a couple of zombies down there as well, by the looks. Oh, there's a few zombies down there. Okay, let's go deal with them. Mm, that looks like it. Okay. All right, so it's 20, 10 past 11. The fog is clearing, so that's good. We could probably go and at least scout it out, even if we don't get in there today, but I think we might be able to, you know. Car's taking a little bit of a beating, but that's what we got the, uh, the protection for. Okay, so we're on the road. It looks pretty busy. Gonna leave the car running because we may have to make a quick getaway here. Okay, looks like we secured this little area. This could be our stage point. I don't like all of these in this field here. Looks like there is a few of them. Let's uh, let's turn the van off and we'll go up on foot. What the hell is that? Look at that. That's some kind of glitch. I've not seen that before. What the hell is it? That is strange. Class as this this zombie here. Oh. Okay. Okay, so there is the gun store. Well, the hunting supplies, which I believe is the gun store. Yeah, it's got to be if it's got the bars on it. Um, so pretty, pretty successful so far. Let's not uh, get overconfident, but... Okay, so there it is. There is the, uh, hopefully, the mother load. And there was some zombies behind here. Let's try and, uh... Let's try and get them out, of, out in the open over here. Looks okay. I think we may be able to bring the car up, and then at least that'll draw them from this field to us. Um, yeah, let's do that. Doesn't look like it's drawn any to us. Bloody hell, we, we've been lucky with this. I was expecting this to be a hell of a lot busier. 
All right, we are in. Let's go drop the old sledgy off. Oh, we got another another Maurice Horace. Who who's this one? Who is this one? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> AK seventy four. Mmm, that is. Uh, yes, we will have that. Oh, the L eighty five. Okay, okay, we got some. Uh, we got some uh, good ones here. Oh my god, is that? I think that's a suppressed MP five. Uh, yes, we will take that. Oh, and it's got an MP five clip. Yes, and it takes nine millimeter. Uh, this is a game changer. SVD, yeah. Okay, we got a zombie somewhere. Hopefully it's just the one. Oh, it's a few of them. Okay, let's let's go deal with these jokers. Oh, Jesus. Okay, okay. We're pushing through. Right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Okay, okay. Is this suppressed? I think it is. We're going to test it out, though. Not just yet, though. We're going to clear off it. Look, 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 what are these things? Why are the zombies glitching out over here? What is this? I've never seen this before. So we got a we got a fair few guns in here. We got a pretty successful haul. Uh, there is more nine mm If we got a suppressed MP5, then nine mil is going to be the one. We'll take the seven six two as well. All right, I think that's pretty uh pretty successful. Let's get that in the main. All right, let's uh let's fire the car up. We've got all we need from here. Let's fire the car up and test out uh test out the shooter. Oh my god, it is suppressed. Look at that. I don't know how well it's... Well, then they haven't heard anything. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Let's get back to the axe. Um, oh, yes. I do love an MP5. Right, let's get back to the motel for the day, I think. It was definitely worth coming down here. we just got to be careful now. And make sure we can uh, we can get back. Look, look. They're, they're doing it everywhere. The zombies. What the hell is this? Let me know. I've never seen this glitch before. All right, we have made it back. Let's have a quick little look in the uh, in the back here. Yeah, we got a good old uh, a good old haul really. Got the AK, got a lot of ammo, got a lot of ammo. But the star of the show is going to be, of course, the MP5, because yeah, wow. <laughs> uh, we don't really need the Glock anymore. We don't need that. Get out of it. We got an MP5 suppressed. Now, what I do is I don't actually have a mod for suppressors because they are a little bit overpowered. But if we find a gun with a suppressor um, from one of the mods that we play with, I'll take it. Uh, is that attracting them? I don't know. We should probably save the ammo, though, and just axe them, to be honest. Uh, I mean, it's not a bad little base here. you got water, which I believe you can fish from, and also, you know, get tainted water out, sterilize it. It's fairly secure. You should get like some kind of, you need to fence it off a little bit, but all right, it's 10 to 11. We're going to go to bed early tonight just so we can get the hell out of here because uh, I'm a bit uneasy here, but we'll go to sleep and we'll, uh, we'll see you in the morning and head back to base. All right, day 75, mission accomplished. Let's have, we are a little bit hungry. Wait, is it eight you want to drop in? So I think we'll just have some peaches. Yes, we will get them in us. Let's uh, munch on them. We got we got plenty of nine mil. That's good. That's good. We are, yeah, we're looking good. Now, is it going to be safe out here? It is, I think. Okay, okay. All right. Well, thank you, Motel. You've been uh, you've been a pleasure. <laughs> um, yeah, we probably won't be coming back down here. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. And actually, we're going to get back before the bloody storm, which is uh, which is a bonus in my book. All right, we do have to get home now. Uh, I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, Jesus, God, we got stuck then. Oh, my God. Oh, my heart skipped a beat then. There's a big old ball of them as well. Jeez. That's the thing. Now that it's starting to get a bit overgrown, if you go off the road, poof, well, yeah, you just got to hope you can uh, get the hell back on the road, really. Oh, look at all of these. we got to be careful here. we got to be careful. Oh, what's the best way to go? Yeah, we'll go this way. <sighs> yeah, we got to... Oh, jeez, this ain't good. This ain't good. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. There is a hell of a lot of them around here. Okay, okay. Okay, looks like we've uh, 
we got through the bulk of them. Run them bastards over. <laughs> See you later, suckers. Ooh, so we're at the uh, check or uh, outposts. Um, and it looks like, yeah, we cleared it out pretty well around here. So the zombies are... Oh, we're going, are we going? We are going a little bit fast, though. Calm down, calm down. And we are home. Look at that. Oh, yes. Let's have a look how badly damaged the car is. Now, it should be okay because of the uh, protection we put on here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Them tires ain't too good, are they? You're going to have to do something about them. What are these tyres like? Are these any good? Maybe the ones on this truck are okay, actually. Can't actually remember. Uh, well, it only has one. So. Uh, maybe we'll take them off for the uh, the propane tank. Uh, the propane truck, sorry. Let's get all of our... Uh, all of our swag inside. Oh, and also put Horace uh, 3.0. Oh no, we nearly at him. No, not again. Not again. Let's pop him there on the sofa. Look at this. We got a nice little. Uh, we got some friends going there. And I think we we deserve some chocolate after that. Get some chocolate in you. Come on, Peter. Well, oh, actually, let's have a look at the condition of our bars. 88. So we did kill a fair few zombies, and we're still at 88. So that's good. I think we'll probably be all right with that, you know. Ah, very, very successful few days. We did it. We did it. I was, uh, I didn't know if he was gonna, you know. Uh, I didn't know. It was very risky, but we, we managed to pull it off. How is this? This is going to be, like, dying, isn't it? Oh, healthy. Just parched. Okay, well, we should have a storm in a day or two anyway. Let's get some cabbage in the uh, in the fridge there. Um, this stuff is stale, which isn't ideal, but um, it'll uh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, bloody hell, what a what a few days. Not didn't go as bad as I thought it was going to be. It actually, went quite smoothly to be honest. I was expecting a hell of a lot worse, but this oh, it's all worth it for this. Although, actually, let's see if we can get a scope on it. So, has it got any attachments on it? No, let's see if we can get some scopes or something on there. Maybe a two times or a four times, maybe. Maybe a sling as well we can get on there. Oh, we can't put a two times on it. Oh, fair enough. Didn't we have a sling somewhere? I'm sure we did. I might have just been blind. Nope, can't find it. Okay, well, fair enough. Oh, we got rain. We got rain. Yes, that's what we like. That's what we like. Good for the old croppage. Oh, the storm's coming. All right, it's 12 o'clock. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. Maybe we go down on the high street and test out the MP5 a little bit more. We'll see. We'll see. But we'll, uh, we'll see you then. All right, day 76. We're looking good. We're very hungry. Let's go and have some stale cabbage. Ah, what a, what, a, what a waste. Stale cabbage. Jeez. Oh, well. I guess can't be choose. We'll eat that. Get that rid of. Maybe if I put it in a salad, it'll uh, be okay. Yeah, it looks like it, actually. Yeah, nice fresh cabbage. So stale doesn't matter when you put it in a salad. Oh, well, there you go. All right, what I want to do today, being as the weather is not that great, let's go get the wheels off of the uh, propane tank, uh, propane truck, and uh, put them on our uh, on our car. I think that, oh, are we going to even be able to get to the bonnet? Oh, God, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. We'll have to take them from this side, though. Hopefully on the left side. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at this. 88. Oh, lovely, lovely. What is our mechanic skill, actually? Oh, level three. <laughs> well, it'll do, it'll do. Right, we've repaired the tyres. Let's get rid of them old ones. We don't need them no more. Let's get rid of the uh, the jack and the lug wrench. Get out of it. We are, we could do with one on the back there, but for now, that'll do. Storm's still raging, but that's fine. That's fine. We've got plenty of, uh, plenty of nine mil. Let's get another cabbage salad on the go, because why the hell no? Oh, we're low on cabbage. Let's get some, uh... Let's get some in the fridge, defrosting. All right, so we just got a two cabbage salad. That'll do us, that'll do. Maybe I also look at getting another crate just to separate the ammo from the magazines and the attachments. That could be a good idea. All right, we got a crate. Let's move, um, yeah, let's move the attachments over to it. All right, so we moved it over. We got ammo in these two, which is nice, uh, except for that magazine. Get the hell out of there, get out of there. And then we got our mags and all that other stuff in there. Nice, nice. Also found another MP5 mag in there, which is good. So we got three of them now. All right, it's 20 past 12. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're going to push onto the high street, I think, with the MP5. That's the plan. We'll see you then. All right, day 77. Let's grab ourselves some lovely cabbage salad and, uh, yeah, get straight on into that high street, I think. Never did need that freezer, did we? Oh, well. Oh, and it stopped raining as well. Brilliant. All right, so we're down here. Let's give it a shout. Let's use the axe for a little bit. We only use the gun if we need to. Oh, there's a 
fair few of them down here, actually. You know what, let's just get the MP5 out to the hell with it. I just noticed as well, I think our hair's grown back. Let's, uh, let's have a look. Yeah. <laughs> love it, love it. What we got down here then? A lot of beauty places by the looks of it. Hmm, interesting. Looks like we have dealt with a lot of them. I mean, I'm sure there'll be loads hidden in the buildings. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty quiet. We're in the heart of it as well. Let's give it a shout. Hey, buddy, you got a bit of red on you. Mm, there's a few in there, by the looks. I don't know what this building is. Offices? Oh, maybe this is Peter's old office. Of course it is. Uh, we will take your M16 uh, magazine, though, lady. Quite a few zombies with M16s around here. Oh, look at them all coming down the stairs. Go on, you bastards. Well, it looks like they broke through one of the doors. Come on. Oh, my God. Look at all of them. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Let's go full auto on these. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, yes. Not really very efficient on the ammo, but <laughs> hell of a lot of fun. Oh, there's a few of them. There's a few. Retreat, retreat. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. All right, we'll take your matches, actually, sir. All right, home sweet home. Ooh, 11 hours left on the Jenny. Let's uh, let's fill her up, shall we? There we go, 24 days. We'll probably do a little uh, fuel run for these, I think, as well. Tomorrow, maybe. Calories are dropping again. Let's eat some... Uh, uh, yeah, let's go for some cereal. Why not? All right, it's 11 o'clock. Let's get rid of this bloody dance card again. We're, uh, we got, oh, we've got an M16 mag with us as well. Let's uh, have a smoke. We'll go to bed tomorrow. We'll go... Uh, we're not going to do nothing too crazy for the next few days, I don't think. Uh, we'll go and refill our jerry cans. That's that's the goal. See you in the morning. All right, day seventy-eight. Let's uh, yeah, let's just crack on, f refill the uh, the jerry cans, head down there. And that's uh, that's probably going to be it for the day, I think. After that uh, trip, the slingshot maneuver, I kind of just want to chill for a few days because, yeah, that was uh, that was nerve-wracking. I won't lie. No zombies down here, which is nice. All right, we are refueled. Let's turn this off so we don't uh, don't waste it. All right, fuel cans have uh, been restocked. Happy days. Crops are coming on. Okay, I suppose. What is our what's our farming? Maybe we should ah, uh, maybe we should have read. Maybe we should be reading farming. You know what? I think we should. Let's go to the bookstore. Let's go have a look. Not that the farming school really does anything, but you know if we are, I hear a zombie. I mean, if we are farming, then I suppose we may as well be reading the books. Ah, farming one. We got one, two, and three. That'll probably, uh, that'll probably do us. All right, we're reading uh, farming one. We're probably going to go to bed soon. Let's go in and get some. Uh, let's have some lentils. Um. Oh, looks like I can still read my book while I'm uh going down. Okay, fair enough. Let's get rid of that. See some lentils. Have some antidepressants. Boom. But it is eleven o'clock, so we're going to go to bed, and we will see you in the morning. All right, day 79 again. It's just going to be a base day. We're going to finish off reading the uh, the farming book. Uh, go from there, really. All right, we finished reading farming one. Let's get rid of it in these trash cans. Oh, the ham, the ham, the rotten ham. Mmm, needs to be sliced. Um, there ain't no uh, slicing ain't going to help that. Probably have read cooking as well, you know. Oh, well, don't matter. We're not, we're not really going to push them skills anyway, so. All right, we're going to have a, uh, have a smoke. It's 20 past 11. So not really any too exciting the last couple of days, but I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. But we'll get to bed and uh, we'll see you, uh, see you in the morning.
All right, day 80. Wow, 20 days left. We're very hungry. Let's go grab some food. It's 20 to, uh, 20 to 6 in the morning. Get me some cabbage salad. Oh, no. No, it's rotten. What? Oh, no, no. We got rotten. We got rotten cabbage. We got rotten cabbage. This ain't good. This ain't good. Let's put it on the street there as a reminder. Don't waste cabbage. Yeah, I know if we got a high enough cooking skill, we could put rotten food in with fresh and it'd be fine. But, nah, we don't need to. We don't need to. But, uh, as always, we don't really do a lot on a 10th day. As you know by now, we haven't really done a lot for the last couple of days. But I'm okay with that. I'm okay. The next... Next 10? Oof, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this big old bastard over here is kind of calling my name. Kind of got to do it, haven't we? Being as we're in, uh, being as we are in Louisville. Hmm. Possibly. Possibly. We shall see. What's, what's this place? The Expo Center, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But I think, um, yeah, that's all for the day, I think. Okay, guys, day 81. We are getting through. I think what we're going to do, let's give that a little pause a second. We are going to try and get in the mall over the last 20 days. So I think we're going to base up down here somewhere just as a little, you know, outpost. And there is a gun store there. So that is the plan. I don't know what the population's like. So we're going to go along this death road and down here, which I'm not really looking forward to. But it's something that's got to be done. So the next day or maybe two days, we're just going to be preparing, moving all of our guns over and everything like that. But first, we need a little bit of food. And we do have some lovely cabbage ready to go in a salad. <laughs> all right, so what we need to do, we need to start moving all of our guns over. So we've got to be smart with this. What do we have a lot of ammo for? 308s so we got a lot of um so probably probably an m14 is going to be the best bet i think <laughs> oh we do have quite a bit of 556 five, actually so let's take them as well and the nine mil we do also have six or five m16 clips now as well now we got a couple of carbines that take m16s and they're in good condition so we'll take both of them a couple of glock magazines maybe because we do like a glock don't we so all right so we dumped a load of stuff off we've got 286 nine mil rounds on us that should be enough to get us started we do have all of these guns here as well is it enough for them all uh it's a tough one it's a tough one but you know, we're, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Also want to move uh, some food over and possibly some water as well. I mean, we do have three giant water bottles that we can fill up. How much do these bastards weigh? They're quite heavy, aren't they? Um, 20. Um, maybe we don't need three of them. <laughs> also take a, a good amount of food over there. Not a load, but uh, enough to do is we'll take a bit of cabbage with us as well. And of course, there is a gun store over there. So we will, of course, get more weaponry. Also grabbed a couple more weapons. We got a hand hatchet, a couple of hand hatchets and a machete and some duct tape for some uh, infield repairing if, if needs be. So we're getting we're getting there we're getting there it's uh yeah i'm not looking forward to the drive that's the only thing i'm worried about oh leveling cooking we will take that all right it is 12 well half past 11 we're gonna go to bed tomorrow tomorrow we're pushing them all we're doing it we're doing it boys we'll see you then all right day 82 let's get this cabbage salad in us we'll make up another one and then oh, it's raining but we're gonna we're gonna do it we're gonna push we're gonna push to hell with it, you know? Okay, so we only managed to get two in the cabal salad, but that's okay. Um, Let's wait a little bit just to see if the rain does pass an hour or two. Okay, the rain is not passing. Um, Let's let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Let's get over that. Okay, so far, so good. We are having a little bit of lag, which is never... I oh, God, here we go. Here we go. Okay, okay, we're getting there. The lag is actually helping me, so it means I don't drive so fast <laughs> and crash. Okay, we're going to go the same route we did last time through here. Okay, okay, we're, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. It's not horrendously busy, to be honest. Okay, there's the mall. We see the mall. There is the goal. Okay, okay, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Okay, okay, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Okay, we're here. We're here. We're here. 
Um, I don't know what it's like here. Let's let's turn the engine off. Let's get out. Let's start machete in. Okay, we're not in too bad of a position here. It's okay. Let's get the gun. Let's get the gun. Oh, Jesus, where the hell did all they come from? Okay, the car park looks fairly clear, so... MP5 comes in clutch. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like we've de dealt with the initial horde. Let's try and clear out these buildings. Actually, let's reload the... Uh, reload our mags. All right, so this is the gun saw down here. Yeah, look at that. It looks, I reckon we can get some good old, uh, some good old loot from in there. We probably, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know if you saw my uh, John Wick uh, Rosewood to Louisville, but we're actually based in here to push into the mall as well. It's a good location. We'll probably stay in this furniture shop, like I did on that series. Let's probably just go around the area and clear that. I think though, before we do stay the night. All right, so it looks fairly clear around uh, around this area now. Let's see if we can get some chips from in these vending machines. Nope, not even any pop, you bastards. All right, let's go in and secure our little uh, our little base. May actually board some of these windows up, you know. Yeah, this is normally where I'll uh, I'll camp out. I'll probably mm, no, I'm, I think I'm going to board that up. All right, that's one window done. Let's do the other. There we go. We'll keep the other windows there. They're fine for the time being, you know. I'll tell you what, though. That MP5, God, that saved us there. That really did save us. <laughs> right, let's go and have a look in this gun store. See if we can get anything good in there. All right, we're in, we're in. Let's dump the old sledgy back off in the van. In the truck, sorry. Let's go check this gas station just around here, actually, first. We don't want any uh, nasty surprises, do we? Oh, looks okay. Also got some food in here as well. Okay, let's have a look then. We got some 308s. Um, unless something jumps out at me like the 9mm, we'll probably leave the stuff in here because we're only over the road. So, oh my god, we got another suppressed MP5. Yes, please. Um, that's good. That is very good because now if ours breaks, we have a backup. It's actually a really good gun store. Oh my god, and another one. Another one and another one. Brilliant. Okay, well there we go. It's just nine millimeter. That's gonna be uh, gonna be the issue now. Then I think. Okay, so we got a fair bit of ammo, which is good. Could have done with some MP5 magazines, but you know beggars can't be choosers. We got we got three MP5. Actually, they got magazines in them. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Oh my god, they can go in the truck. And now we have a lot of uh, a lot of magazines. All right. Well, I think we're uh, we're looking good. Let's have a smoke. Get some food for the night. Maybe a vegetable soup. Yeah, that'll do. All right. So it's eleven o'clock. I was hanging around outside, so we do have a little bit of corpse sickness, which isn't good. <laughs> um, we need a mask. That's what we need. I probably should have brought one with me. Yeah, it's a bit annoying, actually. Of course, we should have done because we're going in the bloody mall where it's going to be carnage. We had masks at home. Ah. Hopefully, we can. Uh, we'll be able to find one somewhere. But we're going to go to bed uh, on this uh, wooden chair here. Yeah, look, I barricaded these in as well. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go to bed and we'll uh, see you in the morning. All right, day 83. Let's get some of this soup in us. Ah, we're in pain because we slept on a bloody chair. Maybe we take one of these sofas in. Is there any beds in here? No. Okay. Well, we need to find a mask somewhere. Hopefully we find, I don't know, a soldier or a fireman or something with it. But we're going to push into the entrance and see how we're looking up there. Ah, I did reverse a little bit, so it's going to have brought them over to us. Um, that's fine. Let's get the axe. All right, nothing too bad to start off with, which is nice. Uh, maybe the police... Police can't have a mask in it, maybe? It's worth a shot. All right, let's get up and have a look in there. Maybe some 9mm, actually. Uh, yeah, we got some 9mm and some 308, which we will take. More 9mm, but no mask. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus, I did not mean to run through that window. We didn't cut ourselves either, and it was broken. Jesus Christ, it was surely we scratched something. No, my God. Wow, okay. Oh, maybe I'll shirt, but... Alright, we are technically in the mall. <laughs> Get a bit of flashlightage on the go. Oh yeah, we got a lot of them. We got a lot of them. Let's push on. Give it a shout. Why the hell not? Let's bring all them bastards out to us. I'd prefer to fight them in the open. Let's make sure they haven't brought any others around to us. No, we're fine. we got to be careful for crawlers that uh, come back to life. <laughs> that could be uh, an issue because they are on. The settings are on. Yeah, I'm worried about our uh, melee weapon and uh, durability. I feel this is definitely going to be a war of attrition. Look at them all. Oh, and we are tired. Um, okay, let's walk out of here. Let's get back in there. All right, let's get the let's get the gun out. Why the hell not? Let's put it a single fire. How are our uh, how is our aiming skill looking? Ah, we're, we're getting to number four, maybe level four. Uh, we do have to be careful of them dropping from the uh, the balcony here. I see some coming up behind us as well. I mean, we got the guns. Let's bloody use them, you know. Maybe we even go full auto. Do we? Do we do it? Yeah, let's do it. If we do short control bursts, maybe we'll, uh... Alright, we're, uh... It's a good technique. Full auto all the way. Let's give another shout. We, I see you there. It's a lot easier with, us, uh, with a suppressed weapon. <laughs> Alright, well, that's got a few of them taken care of. Right, I think we're going to uh, head back for the day because we're probably going to start getting tired soon. Restock on the ammo, etc., etc. And uh, yeah, what a successful day taking the Grand Ohio Mall. All right, it's 20 past 11. We're going to get a bed. Tomorrow, we're going to do some improvements to our temporary base. I'm going to finish boarding these windows up and then also move a bed uh, or a sofa into our, into our room here. And it also gives time for the corpses to despawn, but uh, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 84. We've woken up very late today. Oh, we've got bloody sofas in here anyway. What am I doing? Okay, well, let's start by, um, you know, improving, boarding these up, boarding stuff up. That's what we're going to do. All right, that's them doors done. I feel a little bit safe. I'm pretty sure there isn't doors in here. No, we got, we got a little bit of water, though, so we may as well fill up. All right, we are barricaded right up here. Let's, uh, we are running a little bit low on our moodles, so let's have some soup. We are hungry, we need a cigarette. It's been a busy day, busy day for Peter. It really has. Okay, so we are bored because we've been inside all day, but only doing the barricades. Yeah, we're not going to do a lot today. Again, we've, I mean, it's 20 to 4, so yeah, let's, what are we going to need? Hmm, I feel we're going to need high calorie food, so I think tomorrow we're going to go into that gas station just to scope it out, hopefully get some high cal food as well. Alright, it's 12 o'clock. Let's have a smoke. Well, it's actually 20 past 12. Let's have a smoke and then we'll probably get a bed, I think. Yeah, we'll go on one of our nice uh, our nice beds here. <laughs> our nice sofa. I don't know why we sleep on that chair. I do not know, but we'll see you in the morning. Alright, day 85. Today, today we are going to the gas station. Hopefully some corpse have despawned. Not quite yet, but we'll go to the gas station. We'll see what, we, uh, see what high calorie food we can get down there. And then probably... Maybe have a little scout around the area as well, see if we can get any gas masks or anything. But we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, it's fairly, uh, what the hell's this building? Um, I don't know. I don't want to know, to be honest with you. Here's some, oh yeah, look at these, look at these. Oh, okay, okay. Well, you got a hatchet, lady, I want that. Now, we got a dentist over there, I don't really know what, uh... What use of dent? Oh, they may have little masks, actually. Where was that guy with the M16? And we'll also take your hand at you, lady. Let's give this a whirl, you know. 
faster. And, I mean, our axe skill is what? Um, mm, nearly four. Actually, a decent-sized uh, gas station. Okay, we got some good good culinary food. Let's get some inners, actually. Hell of a lot of chips. Seven packets of chips or crisps. Can we have a look in the dentistry for a mask? I don't know if the little face mask things or the dust masks work. I would have thought so. Oh, imagine if an alarm went off then. Oh, medical mask. Let's try it. We'll put it on. Uh, I think that'll do us, to be honest. Let's uh, let's get out of here. Let's uh, test this little axe out on these uh, locals. It does the job. It does the job quite well, actually. <laughs> Just got to watch that range. It's not the, uh, not the longest. All right, it's 12 o'clock. I've been outside all day, and it looks like some of the courts have someone. We didn't get corpse sickness, so it looks like this mask is actually working. Uh, weight is still looking good. Let me get a couple of Chevys on there. Doesn't look like it. But anyway, let's uh, let's go to bed. Tomorrow we're pushing back up into that bastard in mall. All right, day 86. Let's get back into the mall. Let's do it. Let's do it, boys. Let's go. Weight's still going up. On one Chevy, that's fine, that's good, that's good. You know what, this is probably the quietest I've seen this bloody mall. Oh, and we got aiming up the level, nice. That's what we want. Right, we're fully reloaded, we've actually gained a level, which is nice. And so let's push, push back in. Oh, we got a few of them over here. Let's go, let's go. We are jamming quite a lot now, so we may have to change this. Ah, it's a hand axe. We'll take it. We'll take the key for the wall as well. Yeah! God, oh, we are jamming all the time now. All right, let's uh, let's get out of here for the day. I think we've uh, we've killed a fair few. Let's get this uh, straggler over here. We're gonna have to change the MP5. I think that's fine. No, not a problem. Oh Jesus! Where the hell did you come from, you bastard? Jeez. Okay, we'll pop that back in there. That's fine. How is our weight looking? Ah, uh, still going up. So that's good. That's good. Do we take the uh, the carbine? Kind of wanna, you know. I don't know what the sound's gonna be like, if it's gonna attract them. Well, it'll attract them in the mall, but I don't know if it's gonna. I don't really have that many rounds either. It only gives you 30, I think, per box. So what's that? It's only five mags. Yeah, we do have, what, a few mags with us somewhere? We got five mags with us. Some with ammo. Uh, a lot of them with ammo. Yeah, it could be, could be done. Let's keep the MP5 for now, though. Let's head home. All right, it's 10 or 12 in the evening. We are going to go to bed tomorrow, back into the mall. So we'll see you then. All right, day 87. We are, we need to uh, restock. I don't think, we, why have we got an empty mag? Let's sort all this jazz out. All right, okay, okay, okay. Oh, we got fog, we got fog. Um, We're going to wait inside a little bit, see if it passes, I think. Okay, so it's half past 12. The fog is starting to clear, so that's good. And I've been thinking... And you know what? We are going to use the carbine. Why the hell not? You know, let's try it. Let's do it. You really do only live once. Oh, wow. We don't have a lot of uh, nine mil left. Uh, mm, okay. Well, uh, right. Yeah, let's uh, let's use the other guns. Uh, yeah, let's put the uh, let's drop the MP5 there just for now. Because it is oh, making us overweight. Let's drop the mags. Now, my only worry with this is... Oh, look at it. It does look pretty good, to be fair. Let's reload the mags. My only worry is that it's going to draw them... Oh, we got a propane tank there. It's going to draw them... I think once we're inside the mall, we should be okay. But I don't want to draw any zombies from around the uh, surrounding area here. Why are we so overweight? All these... All these bullets on us? No, surely not. There we go. Just get some food in us. We're fine. We're fine. All right, let's get in there. We're fully reloaded. We got, we've actually got 416 rounds, so it's uh, it's going to be viable. We're going to need it. If if being inside suppresses the sound from outside, it's a better tactic to use a loud gun inside and save our 9mm 
for if we get into a bit of trouble outside. That's my uh, my thinking. Let's wait till we get a little bit further in before we do start shooting it, though. Just think it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get a bloody weapon. Okay, let's let's give it a go. Man, why the hell not? Not actually that loud. Or is it? It doesn't sound that loud, but... It sounds very nice, actually. Let's just go outside and see if it has drawn any to us. Let's be safe. Safety first. Uh, yes, it has. Uh, that's not good. That's not good. Well, maybe it is a good thing, bringing them to us. Okay, it's not bringing any from down south, which is fine. We can deal with these few. To hell with them. Look at them all pouring out. Oh, there's a hell of a lot of them coming. Right, let's try and grab this. Right, let's drop the carbine and everything just here. Ah, uh, we got a few coming over. We can deal with these bastards. Oh, I'm tired. Okay. Let's get the gun. Let's get the gun. We're going to have to. Okay, we gotta rest, we gotta rest. All right, we're rested, it's half past four, so it's not the uh, best time of the day. Let's just go and scope it out. We could have just handicapped ourselves there. I think we uh, we do use a gun. Oh, Jesus. Without a suppressor, it's gonna have to be a pistol, maybe. Don't think we brought any 45s for the 1911. We'll, uh, we'll see. Okay, yeah, that brought a, that brought a lot of them. All right, I think we're going to start getting tired, so let's go back and we'll clear, <laughs> clear the car park out tomorrow. All right, it's 12 o'clock. Yep, we're going to get a bed. We are very tired. Let's actually look at our calories. Uh, holding steady. Uh, let's eat some gummy bears. Why the hell not? Let's uh, eat some chips. Let's see some... Oh, this gave us a Chevy. That's good. Oh, God, I can't even see where the hell we're going. Get a torch on. Right, we're going to go to bed tomorrow. We'll clear the car park. We'll see you then. All right, day 88. We got fog, which is never good. Uh, we're out of water there. Um, let's fill up what we can. Ah, that's okay. Maybe we'll go. Let's actually, did we put water in? No, we didn't. Okay. Let's go and just fill these up next door in the kitchen. God, look at this fog. Yeah, we're not, we're not going out anywhere in this. Okay, canteen's full. We'll just hang around in here till the fog clears a little. Okay, it looks like it's starting to... Oh, God, no, it isn't. My God, get back inside, Peter. Get back inside. All right, so it's 20 to 2, and the fog's finally starting to clear. Zombies are coming over here for some reason. Maybe a meta event, possibly. Uh, they've kind of cleared themselves out by the looks. I'm not complaining. All right, let's deal with them. Let's deal with them. That's a nice little uh, little line there we got going. A nice little conga line for the bastards. All right, we are back in the mall. Okay, I'm hoping maybe a lot of them were drawn outside. Put a supermarket down there. That could be good for some calorie food. Hey, hey, lady, what are you doing? Dropping down there, bastard. Hey, buddy, stop trying to bloody fall on me here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah! You sneaky bastards. All right, let's walk down here a little bit just to see, uh, just to scope the, uh, the situation out. It looks fairly quiet. Well, we're in the super... Oh, there's a few of them down there. There's a fair few of the bastards. Oh, we cleared a lot of them out. Um, there is some food in here, but not a lot. We're going to have to watch our calories now, I think. So we will take some food like this, some low-calorie stuff. All right, we are getting exhausted, and it's 5 o'clock, so we're probably going to start getting tired soon as well. So let's head back. Okay, so we've got 323 rounds left for the MP5, which isn't ideal. Is there a gun store in the Louisville Mall? I think there is. It's the that's the mall that has the gun store, I believe. 
think it's on the bottom floor toward the, on the north side there. All right, it is 10 to 12. We're going to go to bed, uh, have this smoke. Go to bed, maybe have a little bit of a snack as well. Uh, how is the old weightage? 81 level, so I think we'll be fine. Yeah, let's get to bed and uh, we'll see you, uh, see you in the morning. All right, day 89. Let's go and see how we are looking outside. We have rain. Um, not mm, not too uh, bothered about that, to be honest. We will not be using that carbine again. Maybe I think we're not going to do anything a lot anyway for the next couple of days. Let's just go and clear the car park today, I think. Yeah, look at this. We don't want this coming over to us, do we, while we're sleeping? Hell no. Let's actually look through this entrance, see what's, uh, what's going on. Can we get in here? The door's open. Yeah, okay. Let's. Oh, yeah, we got the key, haven't we? All right, let's just go in here. Not too far today, just to see how we're looking. Oh, Jesus, they're falling down. Hey, hey, I'm over here, you bloody idiot. Give it a shout. Come on, you bastards. Scam from upstairs. Oh, oh, yeah, we got some falling down here. It's the upstairs that scares me. We've got some trying to break through here, so yeah, we gotta watch out for that. I think it's just one behind here. Yeah. Oh, yes! He's got a splitting axe. Thank you very much, sir. That is much appreciated. What a hero. The true hero. Glasses guy. All right, I think that's enough excitement for one day. Let's get the head out of here. All right, it is 10 past 11. Uh, we're going to have to change the battery on our torch by the looks of it. Um, let's... Uh, oh, wait a minute. Okay, well, we can't do it easily um, until it runs out, but that's fine. So, how are we looking then? How are we looking? We, uh... Mm, is it the... Yeah, it definitely is this, uh, this mall that has... A gun store. So we're, we're getting there. We are getting there. Let's put a, a star. Um, no, not a star. Let's put... Uh, let's put some fish. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why, but that is... Uh, that's the goal. That's the goal. So I'm going to go to bed. Tomorrow, as always, it's uh, a 10th day. So we're probably not going to do a lot. But we'll go to bed and we'll see you, uh, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 90. I actually slept with the flashlight on to rinse the battery because there's only like, what, five left in it? Let's pop that on there. So, yeah, we're uh, we're good. We'll have a little uh, survey of the area. Actually, let's get some food in us. Let's get some food in us. All right, yeah, let's go have a little look around the uh, our perimeter. Looks uh, pretty clear, to be honest. Look pretty, pretty clear. Let's have a quick look in these uh this trailer, see if there's anything worth uh, stealing. Oh, I do see a zombie there. Uh, top and a tote bag. Brilliant. All right, but it is uh, it's 10 to uh, 11. As I say, we don't really do a lot in the 10th day, so that'll probably be all full today. All right, guys, we are on day 91. We have awoken with, well, we've got a little bit of minor pain. That's probably coming, yeah, from our neck. Got old pain in the neck. That's from sleeping on these sofas. They're not really that comfy, but it is what it is. What are you going to do about it? You know, we ain't going to have a choice, but... The mission for the final 10 days. We're going to get this mall. We're going to claim the mall. Uh, I don't know if that's going to take 10 days, to be honest with you. Once we do, we'll see how long it takes and then maybe finish off back at base there. See how the old, uh, the old place is getting on. So we've been away from it. Well, we'll have been away for about 10 days when we do finally get back there. But that's the goal. They, um, yeah, let's, how are we looking for water? Well, we could probably do with some. So let's go get some from... Our neighbours, uh, very nice of them, very kind of them to let us uh, use their facilities. All right, we're stocked up. We uh, we could do with some food and some more. Oh, I don't know if we've got any more nine mil. Let's go back to the car and let's see how we're looking. Ah, we got some unruly bastards come on and over while we've been away. Come on, then let's say hello to the axe, you bastards. Get out of it. Okay, do we have any nine mil in here? I don't think we do. I mean, we've got some in the Glock magazine, so it might be worth... Uh, yeah, I think it is going to be worth unloading these mags, I think. All right, so that's actually got us an extra 68 rounds, which uh, I'll take, I'll take. Ah, uh, the Grand Ohio Mall. What a... Uh, yeah, what a place, what a place. Not been too busy, actually, to tell you the truth. Probably go in here and see if they 
have got more food for us as well, actually. Let's do that. Oh, we got a few more bits. So that should do us. That should do us. Well, here we go. Oh, a leveling axe. Thank you very much. What's that, level four now? Oh, I see a zombie with another splitting axe. Yes, please, sir. Oh, ma'am. Now, I'm actually using melee weapons because the ammo, as we as we saw um, previously, the guns in here, unless they're suppressed, probably aren't a good idea. Um, so that's why I'm using the axe because on 9 mil, we are actually, how many rounds do we have? 391. So we got a few, but, you know, there's probably more than 300 odd zombies in, the, in here, especially if we're going full auto. Uh, we do tend to waste a few. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Oh, there goes the axe. And do you know what I've just realised as well? Let's pop that there. Doesn't look like we've got gloves on. Now, I know we got gloves that were... Yes, that's what we lost when we... We're going to get rid of that axe. That's what we lost when we climbed through the window. Because we did have gloves, but they were like tan skin colour. Uh, and they're now gone. So that's... Yeah, so we did lose something. But that's fine, because I did keep our tactical gloves in the car for just this situation. Okay, we are in the uh, the foyer, I suppose. Um, fairly busy. Let's give him a shout. Let's rile these bastards up. Come on. Uh, maybe we use the uh, the MP5 for this. Oh god, they're coming from behind us. That's what you got to be careful of. Always protect your rear. All right, okay, we're getting through him, we're getting through him. We're probably going to start getting tired soon, though. There is the gun store. I think you can actually climb through the windows on, on that one. You don't really need a sledgehammer. All right, we're getting uh, exhausted. Let's deal with these two, and then I think we'll probably head, out, head back home for the day because it's 20 past four. We're going to start getting tired soon, so... All right, beans are back of the truck. We will take the tactical gloves. Yes, thank you very much. All right, it's half past 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. Keep pushing up into the mall. So we'll see you then. All right, day 92. Let's, I think we're going to use a bit more uh, firepower up there today just to, uh, you know, speed things up a little bit. We can see the gun store. It's in sight. So hopefully there's going to be a fair few boxes of 9mm in there. So that's the plan. Let's, uh, let's get on with it. All right, MP5 time, baby. All right, well, we have cleared out a hell of a lot of them. Ammo is... Oh, God, they're, they're, they are dropping from up above, but we're getting there, we're getting there. Yeah, the MP5 has been a godsend, really. Oh, Jesus, they're falling, they're falling. And this guy does have a better mask, but I, oh, God. But I think the, uh, this blue one's actually doing the job for us, really, isn't it? Let's be honest. Don't want to go in there until I know the area's safe. Let's give it a little shout around here. Is it safe? Uh, I think it probably is, you know. Let's 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 risk it. Let's go. All we really need is uh nine millimeters, so that's what we're gonna be in and out for, I think. God damn, no nine millimeter yet. Hopefully back here. We got some zombies uh trying to break through here. We'll leave them to it. Let's reload our mag. God damn it, there's no nine millimeter. There's not a lot of anything in here to be honest. Let's get the hell out of here because we was a bit trapped in there. All right, we've uh, we've cleared a fair few of them out. We are very low on ammo, and the gun keeps jamming. But it'll probably do us. We're gonna head back for the day because I feel we're gonna get tired soon. But we're uh, yeah, we're t we're taking them all, <laughs> slowly but surely. All right, home sweet home. Carbine could be a contender. Could be. It could be. We'll see. We'll see. But it's twenty to twelve. We're gonna go to bed, and tomorrow, <laughs> keep pushing. Keep on pushing, baby. We'll see you then. All right, day 93, we are back on that grind. 
back on it let's get some food in as well looking a little bit hungry calories are dropping but we're still at 80 so i'm happy with that let's have a bit of spag bol let's open both of these up in fact let's eat them both what the hell not all right so it looks like it's gonna be melee in there as we are very very low on ammo what we got two mags not ideal not ideal but you know it is what it is all right i think we're actually gonna go through this door today just to um you know avoid all them corpses and also we haven't cleared well this is the side that we need to clear so let's let's go check it out who the hell needs a machete when you got a splitting axe oh the lovely art gallery maybe we take a little souvenir back to the base that might not be a bad idea you know oh here they come here they come Maybe we duck in here, see if they got any. Oh, it's a, it's a beer, it's, a, it's an alcohol shop. Nah, not really what we need. <gasps> we could, we could burn them all down, you know. Do I want to burn them all down? I kind of do, you know. Oh, maintenance up a level. We will take that. It's level five, thank you. All right, what's going on in the food court? Ah, uh, there's a few down there by the looks. Not a load, though. Oh, no, the axe, the axe. We haven't repaired it yet, so we will keep that. Oh, Jesus Christ, where the hell did you come from? My God. Ooh. Right, what did he have a bite out of? Uh, well, not us. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God, what the hell did he have? God, we was bloody lucky there. My God, that's you can't let your guard down. Overconfidence, you see, that's that's what happens. Oh, sneaky bastard! Good God, it must have been our formal shirt. But I'm sure we. Oh no, we didn't have anything out of that, did we? Because it was the stalker jacket we ripped before. Okay, well, formal. Thank God we worked in an office. <laughs> oh my God, what the hell? These sneaky bastards hiding down here. <laughs> there we go. That's how we deal with hordes. Well, you know what? I think we've pretty much cleared this bastard in wall. Let's um, let's rest up on this bench and then we'll have a little look upstairs and see see how we're looking up there. Oh, oh God, I hate going upstairs. Um, looks like we actually shot some up here. <laughs> yeah, looks like we pretty much cleared it, you know. We'll do a loop. We'll see. Yeah, there is uh, no Zeds up here. Oh, mate, let's let's see if we can get a, a new machete or something from in here. Uh, I will take that duct tape and repair that axe while we're here. Nope, nothing uh, nothing useful in there. That's a shame. That's a shame, really. All right, well, let's get out of here for the day. And we're going to see if we can get some ball. But if we can, kind of... Uh, we'll take the matches. Kind of uh, decides uh, the fate of them all, really. <gasps> Three bourbon. Okay. <laughs> uh, four bourbon. <laughs> I think we know what we got to do. Okay, we have four Molotovs. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to burn this bastard to the ground. We conquered it. We, I mean, we pretty much cleared it. So there's only the odd few straggler around. And we'll actually be able to see how many we kill with fire when uh, on our kill counter here. So we haven't killed any by fire yet. So it'll be interesting to see how many were in here. But that is a job for tomorrow. Today, we're going to go back and just rest up and prepare ourselves for the, to unleash hell tomorrow. Oh, we got some visitors. Okay, where the hell did you guys come from? All right, it's 20 past 11. We are tired. We're going to get a bed. We need to drop off these magazines uh, tomorrow because they're empty, most of them. But we're going to bed tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're burning down a mall. We'll see you then. All right, day 94. I've just realized we need to do something about our magazines here. Let's put a full one in at least. Oh, God, we ain't got a lot of ammo, have we? um let's let's empty the ones that i've got odd bits in uh we got 27 rounds okay that'll do but anyway it doesn't matter because today is the day of reckoning first i do want to try and fill up my canteen somewhere all right there we go right let's 
Let's get up to that mall. We got four. I feel four's enough. Let's actually drive the car up a little bit, I think, because we wanna we wanna watch the world burn. And what's safer the place to do it than in our armored car? If it starts. There we go. There we go. Come on, baby. Okay, so my plan of attack is to throw one in each corner. Now, is this a good idea? I don't know. I don't really use fire. <laughs> I have recently in a couple of playthroughs. I know we burnt down. Uh, I think we burnt down the Sims playthrough, didn't we? We burnt down Simville, which, uh, yeah, rip in peace to them. Um, but I, I think I'll, I think we'll be okay. I think we're going to be okay. I think if we do a loop, we'll bomb down here. We'll bomb the top right. We'll bomb. We'll go round. Yeah, yeah. That's a. Uh, that's the plan. Do we do we take a souvenir? I think you know what? I think we do. Let's let's grab this bloody this bust. Get it in the back of the truck there. Yep, happy days, right? We're ready to go. We're ready to go. Alright, being as we've got our swag from the museum, it seems Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Hey. As I was saying, being as we've got our swag from the museum. Uh, I feel that's probably going to be the best place to but actually we want something that's going to burn maybe next door okay here goes nothing oh she's off she's off right let's get out of here are we all tired though that's not good um okay we gotta be careful here let's bomb the the jewelry store oh god okay and the hairdressers yeah that'll do get over there and then maybe, maybe, yeah, the, this this camping store or whatever the hell this place is. Let's get it, let's get it going in there. Oh no, we're out of, we're out of bloody, we're out of fuel in our lighter. That's not good. Oh god, we, we need fuel in our lighter. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's retreat, let's retreat for now. We can fill our lighter up with the, from the gas from the car. All right, we've refilled our lighter. Let's kind of go in and have a look how, how it's burning, if it's burning at all. It doesn't look like it, so this could have been an absolute failure. But we'll uh, we'll soon find out. Oh no, she's burning. She is uh, she is burning. All right. What about a bit further up? Yeah, yeah, she's burning. Okay, let's do the middle then. I think. Oh, there we go. Right, let's get the hell out of here. Burn you bastard. Ah, oh, we have some other spectators that wanted to watch. Well, sorry guys, this is a private show. Unless you want to get in there and burn. <laughs> all right. So it's a bit later in the day. I'm not too sure what's going on in there. Let's... Well, I see some peanut butter I picked up from in there. Um, one of the last pieces of loot that we got from them all. Uh, let's go and have a little look. Hopefully it is spreading. Hopefully. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, yes. All right, it's ten past seven. We've been sat in the car. It hasn't spread to out here yet. We're going to go back for the day. We're all getting bored because we've just been sat in the car. Um, oh, let's unequip that lighter, actually. Ah, uh, it's empty. We've used all the fuel. Brilliant. Okay, well, we got matches, so... Just thinking for cigarettes, that's all. Alright, it's 20 past 11. We are extremely tired. A little bit hungry, but that's fine. But we're going to go to bed tomorrow. Hopefully, the fire would have spread. I'm not too sure how the fire works. I think... Does it spread if it's not within the loading distance of the tiles? I can't actually remember, but we will see. All right, day 95. We uh, Hopefully the mall has burnt down. Let's have a little bit of fruit jam in us. You know, have a little treat. Have a little treat, Peter. Yes, I mean, Peter, you know, he saw his office burn down, so why the hell not see the mall burn down? That's what I say. Okay, well, there's nothing... Doesn't look like anything out here. Let's go have a look inside. Oh, yeah, she's spreading. She is spreading. Not so much over this side, but hopefully it will all spread to over and burn it all down oh yeah we can start to see it through the windows there which is good oh yes oh yes the fire is started and zombies are coming in which is good because they're going to spread it why does why the hell is the engine on i don't know let's have a smoke as we watch it burn to the ground now that is a good fire. This seems to be spreading quite a lot outside so we're going to move a little bit okay so it's half past ten it looks like it may have gone out so how much of how how successful we were, I don't know. We'll go and have a little look in there tomorrow. But as I say, it's half past ten and we are still out, which is unheard of uh, for for myself and Peter. So let's get back, rest up, and we'll go and uh, investigate. Okay, we're back at base. We're gonna go to bed. We'll see you in the morning.
All right, day 96. We've woken up at 10 to 5, so it is a bit early. We're going to have um, we're gonna have some evaporated milk. Have a sip on that, Peter. Then we're going to wait till it gets a little bit lighter, and then we're going to go and have a look at them all. All right, it's half six. It is a little bit lighter. It's probably light enough. Um, so let's... Oh, I keep forgetting to turn my bloody flashlight off. But anyway, let's get let's get back to the mall uh, and go and investigate. Did we do a good enough job? That is the question. I don't know. I don't know. Looks like it has stopped. Definitely took out the uh, old gigamart. Oh lord! Oh wait, yeah, 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 yeah. Easy there, easy there, buddy. Oh wow! Oh wow! Uh, yeah, we're gonna need the flashlight for this. Just look at it. Uh, we definitely got the uh, the south side of the mall anyway. Still going there. Our job isn't done yet. Oh, and there as well. It's still going. Oh, there goes the gun store. We didn't take anything from it. Oh God, look, is is going there? All right, let's get out of here. We don't get we don't get trapped. Jeez. Well, it's ten past seven. It's burning the upstairs. I think our job here is done. You know, let's have a little look inside. We gotta be careful because we are tired. Oh wow, yeah, yeah. This bastard's getting burnt down. <laughs> it's burned the walls out as well here. I think. Wow. There we go. We did it. We we did it. But let's head back to the base, and tomorrow, well, I think we are heading back home. I think that is, uh, we've done all we can at the mall. We've burnt the bastard down. I'd say that was a pretty successful mission. Don't know why we even came over here. Not for the guns, just to clear the mall. And, well, that fire has well and truly cleared it. But it's 10 or 12. It's time to go to bed. We're extremely tired. We'll have a little smoke before we do go to bed. Get that in you, Peter. Get that sweet, sweet nicotine in you. We'll go to bed and tomorrow well let's have a look at the map quick let's give that a little pause we've got to go down death alley here should be okay i'm hoping we'll see the roads oh we've probably been away what 10 days so the roads are probably a little bit more overgrown but that's that's a problem for tomorrow we'll see you then all right day 97 my god we have slept in late today but that's fine because if there is any bad weather hopefully it would have cleared because because today going home baby peter's going home thank you better furnishings you've been a pleasure but we're gonna get some food because if we're gonna die um i'd rather die on a full belly and uh, we don't really have a lot of dog food oh or lentils uh we could probably do with the calories get the lentils in you peter come on uh, we will have the some antidepressants as well we'll swing past them all before we go on the deaf uh deaf alley well there we go again the grand ohio mall you've been a blast you've really uh ignited my passion for louisville shall we say it's still going still burning in there <laughs> see it up there um but we're on a bigger and better things now we're off we're out of here see you later uh, and i just want to say i am not looking forward to this drive at all Kind of going off road is a death sentence, so we have to stay on the road. Um, it's not been too bad so far, to be honest. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. <gasps> Spiffo! We hit Spiffo! No! No, Spiffo, no. Oh my god, this is busy. This is busy. We've got to cut away through. Oh my god, we've nearly done it. We've nearly done it. Oh my god, we've only gone and bloody done it. Oh my god, look at look at these roads, look how overgrown they are. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. But we are pretty much home. Oh my god, can you imagine if the uh, the generator's blown up? <laughs> I didn't go the wrong way, I always wanted to park here. We're home. We did have to murder... Oh no, the crops, the crops. Um, we did have to murder a Spiffo... Uh, I mean, uh, sorry, uh, no, no, sorry Spiffo, sorry. Um, how is the generator? Can, it's, it's okay. It's okay, you know. These crops, mm, not not so good. Not so good. Yeah, we've got to remove it. It makes me sad that we've uh, wasted all this cabbage. But you know, we was on an important mission to burn down the mall. <laughs> Wasn't my original intention, but you know, that's just how it how it turned out. All right. Well, the crops are ready to go. If it does rain again, we can pop some. But we only have a few days left, so we're probably probably not going to need it. Um, we are depressed. Oh, we got some more horrors. Let's have some antidepressants. Ah, home sweet home. Let's, uh, let's have some more antidepressants. Oh, and look at all this. Look at all this lovely cabbage. Look at it all. Let's get it in the fridge. We're going to have a feast tonight.
Let's put the uh, Horaces down here. We got a little family game. What we got? We got six of them. Yeah, we're uh, we're rebuilding society. All right, but it's half past twelve. We're gonna go to bed tomorrow. Probably go around the area and clear out any stragglers that may have wandered over while we've been away. But uh, we'll see you uh, see in the morning. All right, day ninety-eight. We've woken up very very early. Let's go get ourselves some lovely lovely the cabbage salad. Also fill up our water can uh, canteens, and then we are off. Ah, fresh cabbage salad. This this is what it's all about. Really is. All right, let's go and see if any bastards have wandered on over to our turf. I just noticed it is, uh, well, not even a degree. So we are probably going to get a little bit cold. But we got outdoors when, and what is our temperature? Um, mm, normal. That's fine. Uh, well, actually, a lot of it is fighting cold. But that's still fine. And we only killed 11 zombies with fire. Well, there you go. All right, let's uh, let's head home for the day. I'm happy that this area is secured. Oh, we got a few down here. We got a few down here. All right, it's eleven o'clock. The temperature is definitely dropping. We may get snow, maybe before the end of days. I don't know, but we'll uh, we'll see in the morning. All right, day ninety nine. We have rain outside. Let's and fog. I mean, we may as well plant the cabbage. We're not going to need it, but you know, being as uh. Being as it's raining, we may as well. There we go. All done. What we'll do as well. Oh, we only got two seeds. We'll repair the generator because I believe... Yeah, 38%. Let's get some uh, scrap uh, scrap electronics and get repairing. And we'll also have a cabbage salad. We eat like kings now we're back home. Mm, looks like we may have a storm coming. Yeah, the weather is raging out here. It's not a tropical storm or anything like that, but it is definitely uh, not the nicest weather. Temperature is 6 degrees. But time for bed tomorrow. Well... Day 100. Day 100, baby. Let's do it. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 100. Wow, we have made it. We have made it. Let's celebrate with, of course, some cabbage salad. And we'll see if we got any... Maybe we drink some bourbon as well. Um, let's, let's grab that. But as... Why can't I grab that? But as always... Why the hell won't you let me grab the bloody... Why, where's the bourbon? Where's the bourbon? What's going on? Ah, oh, we must have some somewhere. We must have some. Uh, we got some white wine. Ah, we're sophisticated. Pete is sophisticated. Uh, but as always, we're on day 100, but we haven't actually technically survived 100 days. We've got to get to day 101, as always. So let's have some salad. We'll kick around base, and then tomorrow we're going to neck this wine. Oh, I've realized why we can't get it, because it's actually it's got water in it. <laughs> um, yeah, there we go. I remember that. That was our first uh, water um, container, I think, actually. Well, the storm has stopped. It'll be interesting to see if it makes the temperature... Oh, no, the temperature is still warming up. Okay. And the storm has started again. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, it is half past 11 on day 100. We're going to go to bed, and tomorrow we'll have completed it. It's, uh, it's bittersweet, really. I've enjoyed playing as Peter. We haven't really got massively skilled, um, you know, massive skill increases. But, you know, he's been fun to play. But we'll go over all the kills and everything tomorrow over a bottle of wine. We'll, uh, we'll see you then. All right, day 101. We got an hour left before we have survived for a full 100 days. So in the meantime, while we wait for that, let's go get ourselves some lovely, lovely cabbage salad. We've got our wine on us. We'll go over all of our skills and everything like that up on our lovely balcony that never really did get the love it deserved. Um, it served the purpose, but we never really did do anything else with it did we let's actually eat this salad now we'll have another one for the roof and there we go three months 10 days we have survived for so pz month here is 30 days so 369 90 and then the 10 that's 100 we have survived 100 days let's celebrate with the salad lovely and let's just drink the whole bottle of wine go on peter you deserve it you deserve it you bastard that's it. Get it in here. Get it in here. While he's sipping on that, let's go over our kills. So, bare hands. Yep. Yeah, short blunt. Uh, we was using short blunt quite a lot, actually, wasn't we? To start with. It's all we really had. The metal pipes and stuff. Nightstick come in quite useful. Um, so, yeah. Short blunt was good on this one. Long blade. Yeah. Okay. Machete. Yep. Yeah, again. Came in quite useful. But the axe. The axe was one. 1991. Uh, when was the Nox event? Is it 1992? I don't know. Are we... 
or inebriated. Um, hand at you, uh, yeah, splitting axe, that was the real one. Firearms, God, firearms are contender as well. Got to be, the shotguns were terrible in this mod. We're definitely going to go back to vanilla firearms expanded, the one I normally use. 706 with the MP5, 127 with the Glock, fair enough. 233 with the uh, M16, sorry, M14. 171 with the uh, shotgun uh, vehicle. 103, that's quite a lot. It was all the trips we went. We've, we've been, let's bring the map up. We've been, uh, well, we didn't really go in the middle of Louisville, did we? As I said at the beginning there, the, the, there was no real goal for this playthrough. It was just to survive. What the hell? Look at all these errors. Look, get rid of that kill counter. That seems to be doing it. <laughs> um, let's bring the map back up. Um, yeah, we've been around the outside. We didn't do the checkpoint, but you know, did we really need to? We went to the gun store down here. Let's just add add that on there like that. Um, is there a fire icon somewhere? Is there? F yes, there is. Okay. Well, that that is a load of burnt fish. That is burnt. There we go. <laughs> I got the emergency broadcast there. The outposts again, we never really used. We did use it. Well, we did. Well, when we had to escape here, when we got overrun, that was quite useful. So I'm glad we did do that. So definitely outposts or FOBs are definitely useful. Let's go over our skills. Again, nothing too crazy. Sprinting. Yeah, like that. We didn't really do a lot of sneaking. Never do. Axe to four. Maintenance of five is good. Short blunt, long blade, carpentry, yeah. Metal working, we kind of got up there, didn't we? That was the next best one, really. Aiming, mm, we probably could have got to level 5 aiming, to be honest. No fishing, trapping, or foraging. Maybe we do some kind of survivalist playthrough at some point. Not quite sure, not quite sure. I don't know if we could make 100 days out of that. Possibly, but I think it would get uh, boring soon. But we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, that concludes Peter's Peter's journey wow what a hero oh total kills 5048 yeah again 100 days in Louisville uh, not really very high kill count to be honest but we didn't need it we didn't need it we managed just fine but as always thank you for watching it really does mean a lot if you've watched the whole series thank you for sticking through it all um yeah thank you look forward to seeing you in the next one we'll see you then cheers just want to thank all our channel members, but a big shout out to John Smith on the Shambler tier. Thank you very much. Really do appreciate it.